what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to bed and try and sleep. And this is a weird thing that happens whenever whenever I take a day off stream. And I definitely think it was worth it because it actually helped a whole bunch. I think that whenever I don't stream and I have nothing to do, my fatigue just catches up to me. And like, I don't count Sunday as having been taken off stream because obviously I was on GDQ for a good couple of hours. Um, so I was obviously a bit more on than I usually am for, you know, normal streams. Um... For normal streams, for normal streams, I would usually, you know, for normal streams, I'd usually be a little, you know, a bit looser with my, you know, commentary and stuff like that. Um, but for GDQ, I have a very, like, you know, professional marathon mode, no swearing, blah, 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 you know, the drill. Uh, which, boy, <laughs> with the uh, fight spawns I had in, uh, in bloody Kira and Saijima's part, that was hard. <laughs> Just, yeah, because if I... Go fuck yourself. <laughs> fuck you, Yakuza 5, you piece of shit. You tried to fuck me over multiple times. How dare you? Um, I was being, like, more... Like, I was being, like, actually, like... With the, we'll talk about the GDQ stuff when we get into this, because we're going to have a long time. Uh, but Fire's fight spawns tried to fuck me over, even with me playing a bit more, like, passively and cautiously. Like, holy shit. Um... So, what I did was I took yesterday off, because I'd, I'd been essentially streaming for two weeks in a row. No breaks at all. Um, be it like, you know, smaller side stuff like Fate Samurai Remnant or like actual speedrun stuff. This thing has been eating me up for the last, like, month. Like, just the whole planning, the whole routing. Do I think my route is the best route that there will ever be for this? No. Do I want to spend more time routing that? No. Do I want this out of my life for good? Yes. <laughs> Am I ever going to redo this category ever again? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I fucking vehemently refuse. Um, I, I will not come back to this ever again. Uh, as far as the main game goes, I might, but it's going to be a very, very, very long time. Uh, before we start, here's my notes. Uh, I have not fully cleaned these up, uh, as you will see. And some of my notes are actually missing that I've noticed. Um... Fun fact! The first four chapters are exactly the fucking same! Um, you only get one sub-story in the first four chapters, and that's during chapter four, and it gives you access to the buggy. You can't skip it. So, all sub-stories actually is going to start in about an hour's time. <sighs> so, there's a couple of things that I'm missing from my notes. Uh, mostly the rest of my leveling up stuff that I do. Uh, I've got, like, some, like generalized places like i know like it says here do big level up pre -fouser. i'm actually gonna do it at the start of the chapter um this extra seven star time is super necessary as well for amon uh funnily enough uh the strats that i've got for amon actually really work out if i have extra seven star time i actually really like it I like it a lot uh but it is also for this one at this one i also want to go down the bottom part of the green tree because you actually get a little bit of extra damage on perfect channeling which fuck me how did i not even discover that uh like in the years that I've been running this normally, because holy shit, it's so good. Um, but you'll see that, you'll notice that we're at chapter 8 here, and I'm not even halfway down the scroll bar for the notes yet, by the way. <sighs> so, first four chapters is exactly the same. Uh, we do need to get the Ancient Rubber still. Uh, and we do actually need a couple of other random drops as well, so unfortunately, unlike the Any% percent, which is a... A little less RNG. There is a lot of RNG shite that I need to try and get during the drive. Uh, so, unfortunately, we don't get that kind of reprise. However, uh, we do, thankfully, a bit later on, uh, get this lovely fella that I actually somehow found when routing this fucking category. That, God, I wish I knew about him fucking five years ago when I first started route running this game. Uh, this guy right here can get us the five steel wire that we need for the buggy. So at this point, even though it's not like completely RNG free, any percent now just needs the two ancient rubber. So holy shit, that's such a that's such a weight off is just this bit. That's so nice. Uh, in all sub stories, it's bad. It's worse. It's even it's, it's even worse. Like I I need some bunch of other things, and I haven't fully listed down what they are because I'm just gonna pray I get them. So you'll see in chapter five. After Bounty Hunter, we go back in and we accept the Street Killer. Uh, this first bounty is a pain in the fucking ass. Uh, he only exists at night and in the top left corner of the city, and we don't go there very often. 
So we're going to go and get him in this chapter, and we're just gonna we're just gonna sort him out there. Uh, we we'll leave, and we're gonna start the first round of bartender Ken. Bartender Ken is a thing that we have to do first, uh, and it is also something that does need to be split up over two rounds. Uh, because you get half the Bartender Ken in Chapter 5, and you get half the Bartender Ch Ken in Chapter 6. But we're not going to do the second half until Chapter 8. And you'll see why. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually uh, matter too much, which is nice. Uh, this is my list of the people that I want to come in order. Uh, but this order can get slightly mixed up a little bit, other than the sub-stories. Weirdly enough, weirdly enough, this sub-story doesn't appear until Rank D. And then there's one sub-story here, 54. This one is supposed to turn up at any time once you're, once you're doing this and once you've done, I think it's 57 in full. But for some reason, this one seemed to take me until rank B. So we might have to do a little extra. But the nice thing about the little extra is that there are some important people in here that we very desperately need to finish. Uh, Rimey Seed Shop and uh, Imori. Uh, these are important. These three are the most important because they will unlock the items that we need for Lin Shop in about 10 hours after the point where we do this. So these three are the most important to finish now because when we come back to, to Bartender Ken, we're going to just finish it, which just requires us to go in and out to get a couple of substories. So there's also two more substories that we want to do. Rob and more importantly, Alan. Alan here is going to become our best friend. But after that, we're then going to go and do a whole bunch of sub-stories. This is the one that interrupts us during normal 90% runs. Uh, we finally get to like finish this one off, but it's a three-part sub-story. So we kind of have to move this one along. Um, and then, as you see, ahead to the bounty, it's going to be at night. Uh, we, accept, we then get teleported back to the bounty. And at that point, we head left to the bazaar. And this is where we go and get this sub-story, and we go and trade over the incense for the steel wire at that point. Then we go and do the bizarre stuff, and we go and speak to the skull guy, and then do the sub-story. Uh, we head to the casino with a large enemy, five-story, and we just basically wrap, wrap around with the rest of these sub-stories that are un unlocked in Chapter 5. Weirdly enough, there are three sub-stories we can get in Chapter 5 that we can't finish in Chapter 5. Two of them come out of Bartender Ken, and we also need to get rid of these two to be able to progress Bartender Ken. That's the reason why we keep Bartender Ken until Chapter 8, because we're going to do some of them in Chapter 6, and then some in Chapter 8 when we're ready. A whole bunch of sub-stories here. Uh, the pick this up from Save 9 stuff is just my personal practice save stuff. Um, the vase, you know the drill. That's the 100 million yen. This is where it starts. Uh, so at this point, you're supposed to go back to the uh, cabaret, but you'll see that we're obviously doing a whole bunch of other stuff. This is important. We need the Supreme Whiskey. We very much need the Supreme Whiskey. Uh, there's a good couple of places where we can get the Supreme Whiskey, but right here, with the seed shop maxed out, this is the place where we need it right here. Um, shoulder pad substory, blah, 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 blah. Once we finish raised substory, we actually get raised shoulder pads, which we're going to be keeping on for the entirety of the run, which is nice. Uh, we want to get, we're going to go with Jagra, and we have to make sure we get this fuel point for the bridge. This is hyper important. This is like the most important fucking thing of this entire journey is that this needs to be done. There is a sub-story at this one fuel point that is not on the map that does not get unlocked until we tell Jagra to go fuck himself in the next chapter. But we can't because it's the Thousand chapter, so we have to do it in chapter 8. And that's Disaster. the reason why leaving Bartender Ken all the way till here isn't actually that much of a problem because chapter 7 is a literal big uh, set piece. We can't do anything. It is literally just a thousand chapter. Which I'm looking forward to because I love thousand. Um, this is when we get Destiny Talisman, uh, Toki and Lin's. Toki and Lin's what we're going to need. Uh, Lin is hyper important because Amon, Amon can kill me in three hits with this route. So, <laughs> good. Um, then we do a whole bunch of driving. This is the driving stuff. This is where we get to our driving segment. Uh, we also need to purchase a couple of things, like junk chips. Uh, we need this stuff. Uh, the, the, uh, the, what do you recall that we got earlier? The, uh, whiskey, uh, and also these junk chips are important for an NPC in the Highland Village. Uh, which is just this bit right here. Uh, this is the bit where I was like, hey, this is why I need to drive around and get stuff. Pray we have stuff. If not, get it. I have no plan. Just drive. Just, just go fucking drive, idiot. Because I need to do this right now. 
And then at this point, we go back to bat. We go and do one race, get the beatbox fixed, return to the bar, which finishes off one substory, and that's when we do the rest of it. And this is the important point. This, these are all the sub, the sub stories that aren't available in chapter five. Hans, Jagra, who's followed by Kasana, who's followed by Lyra, Dapper Gentleman. Uh, Dapper Gentleman is actually after Hans, but we will obviously get bombarded with these three in the meantime. Bartender is only at the very end. And as you'll see, there are two extra people that I've got here. Kyle gives a very good shirt for right here. And Alan gives us the anti-enemy accessory which despawns all spawns in the city. This is vital. This is the one of the most important items in the run. And we're not even halfway yet, by the way. So, a bunch of bounty lists. Cabaret time. We get cabaret to rank C. There's a reason why we only do that here. Then we finish off the chapter. This is my next level up point right here. I do do the right of blue here. I don't know why there's a question mark there. Um, we then get a bunch of hostesses. This is the reason why we only get to rank C here. Cabaret is brutal in this game. You cannot do cabaret with hostesses that are a low rank when you get to the harder missions. So you have to start getting them. And to do that, I've split up cabaret into three sections. So a whole bunch here. I don't know why I've got to say for Kamaki practice. It's one of the easiest fights in the run. It's actually hilarious. Uh, and at that point, we got the Burger Kid. We've got Ksana for story. This is important. So, one thing I found in all sub-stories uh, that I didn't know for any percent. When you go to the Cursed Village uh, for Rao, uh, there's a guy hiding at the bottom of the Cursed Village. Uh, he gives you some good shit. And by good shit, I mean he gives you the best healing item in the game. That's going to be necessary for either our hostesses or for Avon himself. By premium whiskey, do not drink ever. It's for win. Uh, we, I can actually get this elsewhere in town, but getting it right here is useful, and I've got this here just to say, hey, idiot, don't drink it again. Uh, and then, obviously, we get the rest of the armor that we need for the run. If we don't get this stuff here, Amon one-shots us. So, yeah, fun. Uh, more bounty stuff, more wasteland stuff. Uh, this, this one is weird. This one might not work. This is the weird thing. This this substory here has a weird unlock condition that Surik Z doesn't know about and I don't know about. Uh, he turned up here for me. If he doesn't turn up here for me, I have an idea as to obviously why. You'll see a note here. Consider fight here for arcade free. There are moments in the run where we can get the arcade mini games. Uh, if not, there is a point later on where we're just going to clean that up. Reason being is that because this bit right here is great because we actually go by the arcade when we actually play this chapter out. So, yeah, that's why we try and do the arcade stuff here. Uh, you need to speak to the Hitcher Ride guy when we're here. This is the first time we get to Canyon Village. Uh, we need to go do this race, which actually I'm going to be trying to do earlier in the run rather than here. Uh, and the reason why this bit right here is important is because of this substory right here. So, there are a bunch of bat substories where we have to do the buggy races. Fun fact, you can actually do those with just one part upgrade, and it's from this substory. It gets you a high-speed engine, which, as you can see, you can just buy the, the parts for it. The last race is a little tricky, but... With these parts, it's doable. It's very doable. Uh, as long as you don't drive into a wall like an idiot, which at this point I'm going to have been awake for a very long time. Uh, and there's your high balanced engine. We then do the race sub story, which is unlocked after we do uh, the race that I mentioned uh, back up here somewhere. Um, then we do a whole bunch of races with bat and stuff like that. Cabaret, we then get to rank. Hey, make sure you remember to equip the perfume. The perfume is good. It stops your hostesses getting tired as fast. It's very fucking useful. Uh, for some of these missions, I do actually have a set list of hostesses that I need to take. Uh, for this one, these four are pretty much the only ones that carry Emma's bodyguard. For the rank B substory, we need these six in particular. For the golden microphone, this is actually one of the missions we might fail. So, that's fine. We do need this, though, because the golden microphone is hyper important for Amon. But we still get the money for doing this mission, even if we fail the mission. So this still goes towards our completion. So if we fail it, I'll just come back when we're rank A. And then the rank A substory needs these six in particular. And then we get to the finale. Oh, yeah. In caps, make sure Rock Splitter is equipped because we don't have the Rock Splitter equipped for the races. Because it actually slows our buggy down. Fun fact. 
Uh, fun fact, there's a second buggy part you can get for your car. Uh, but it requires it requires rarer materials than the rock splitter, which is stupid. I hate it. We can't buy this stuff. I hate it. Anyway, finale stuff. This is the big one. This doesn't this doesn't look like it's actually that long. Uh, this doesn't look like it's that long in terms of um, stuff for the cabaret. This is the cabaret. <coughs> this is going to be five to six hours. Just this bit right here. Now, normally I have I had a lot more like notes written out for this. I had like actual like I had actual. There's the golden megaphone mission backup if you can't get it the first time around. Uh, you have to save for Liz's skill because you need to heal everybody. Um, oh no no no! This is important. No no I know, I know you point out made people have some purpose. This is important. This this mission right here. The mission requires you to kill four people that you're supposed to be serving. So, and here's the thing, if you start doing well at Cabaret, the people that make trouble in the club that you need to actually kill do not turn up. So you have to make people upset on purpose. That's why I've got this note here, to remind myself. I have to fuck this up intentionally. It doesn't matter if you serve customers, you have to kill them. That's the important part. That, y you'll see, trust me, when we get there, we'll see, you'll see. Uh, and the weird thing is, I have to make it nighttime to go back into the uh, into the uh, nightclub. This then makes everybody's skills get better, and then this is the the five to six hour grind. This one line right here. And then after that, it's nice and easy. Once you're done with Cabaret, go see Kasana and then do Lin's shop. This is going to take like thirty minutes. Uh, it's a pain in the ass. I'm going to keep going to Lin back and forth every time we can in the run anyway just to unlock her level 1 faster if possible. Um, we're going to do the Wasteland maps right here if we have any remaining, which we likely will have at least one, if not two. And then, at that point, finish the game, premium adventure, make it nighttime, pay the debt, fight Nadai, aim on. That's it. That's the run. It's going to be long. It's going to be very fucking long. It's going to be exceedingly long. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm really not. I'm really, really not. Barbara's Rock, thank you very much for the tier one for 23 months. I appreciate it. Normally, I'd give you all a choice in what costume we're using, but I actually kind of just want to go with normal Ken for once. This is, this is all sub-stories, after all. Let's talk about how little sleep I've had when we get this going, because uh, I'm going to be here a while. Ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary friends, it's time. It's time for Fist of North Star. What's up, stories? Three, two, one, go. It's been a long time coming, this one. <laughs> long stream. Good luck. Thanks for all the entertainment, as always. Kadaminal? 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 Thank you very much for the tier two! Tier two! Tier two! Fifteen months. Tier two! Fifteen months. Good luck. I made Darren. Thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate it. Tier two! <laughs> tier two. We are doing the English dub, by the way. It doesn't make the game faster. I actually just quite like the English dub of this game. Plus, for 15 hours, you know, you'll get to hear a lot of English, which is good. Shit. Ken's complaining that his legs are broken and having to carry this entire run for the next couple of hours. As you do. Yeah, we get to fight Greg a couple of times as well. That's always the fun part. Anyway, I haven't actually done this tutorial in a whole minute. I, I missed perfect channeling already. <laughs> I can't get me to get me to goddamn chapter five where I can just explode everybody in like two hits. Of all the video games that exist, this is one of them. Yeah, it is. That's what I knew I wanted to do. <sighs> Unfortunately, you do also have a guard tutorial in Fist and Star, but I really feel like they actually up the enemy aggression in this game when you get to this tutorial, which is nice. Like, I'm pretty confident. You do have to avoid attacks as well, which is actually sometimes a pain. This actually went kind of well. Good damn. All right, now we kill people. Ideally, I could chain my strong attacks together. 
Also, ideally, I do proper combos rather than this one. Uh, you have to do this level up. This is for the long attack. We will actually be using this against bosses, funnily enough. Oh, there's also a big part of my notes that I haven't put into my notes. I have to do the Colosseum at some point. Uh, not fully, only four maps, but I know exactly when to do that and why. Uh, sprint, 6864, thank you for the 200 bits. Cubs roll, thank you for the 18 months. And yep, this, this is a video game. There's Greg Chun. Snake Carrick, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. So this later on is going to become our channeling. I did not want to do that. It, I always get that one confused. I have to, I have to turn that off. <laughs> I'm not restarting for that, but I have to, I have to turn that off. Like I have to turn that off. I'm not having also channeling on. I have to have that off. So funny enough, this move right here, we're going to be seeing a lot of that. We don't want to use that many of our Hokuto Shinken moves, but that one we are going to be using. Also, fuck enemies that like to, you know, jump and do that. Thank you so very much for the generous donation, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. So I'm just getting the channel. Let me do that. Now, here's the thing. I need to change... No, I didn't. I needed to do a different combo because the full... The, your full light combo into strong or into the uh, channel there does that move. You want to do a free light strong. Now, we get strong, which is good. Your seven star is amazing. You're not going to be... Some perfect channel mode. I wish I could. I actually thought that would kill him. Oh, we're upset. We don't want to do like the majority of our like fucking games right now. But... I need to stop jumping because I keep thinking I've got you know. <laughs> I keep thinking I've got the uh, the jump kick, which is one of our best moves that we'll get in this game. So I need to quick step cancel a bit more. I didn't use my EX, so I should have done it for this guy. I could have hooked it, but it's fine. Just kill Ray. It's fine. <sighs> We are going to say the thing a lot. Come, Kenshiro. Oh no, I'll do a come button during the run. If we get to level 5. I actually don't mind using this move a lot. This move is very good. This move is one that we actually do want to use as many times as we can. Because if we use that move multiple times, it will actually level up over the course of the run. Hi, Greg Chum. How did you dodge that? Hey, like Not the first time. Well, actually, it's the first time. Not the last time today. We can actually fail the majority of these uh, QTs because he's on one HP. We could literally just fail like the vast majority of these. Like the fight's over after this cutscene. Like, hands dead. Hands dead. The first body orb of hopefully many, but we're not going to get as many as I would like for the rest. But that's fine. I have a plan for my. I have a plan for my body orb. Please, I forgot this game had a delay in its menuing for skipping cutscenes. Terrible. It's awful. Why would, why would you run this game? <laughs> why would you run this game? Why am I running this game? <sighs> well, Greg actually... Greg has been rising to pro... I didn't refill my water. Great. Greg has been rising to prominence as a voice actor, like, over the last couple of years. Like, Judgment was deaf. Like, it, here's the thing. Like, the, the affiliation, the voice uh, talent agency that Greg's affiliated with... Does a lot of the dubs for RGG. Um, 
But also he gets a lot of good other roles, like Fire Emblem. So. But OG Judgment was absolutely Greg's, like, you know, breakout role. Like, not just because of the fact that, you know, he's playing the main star, but, you know. Yeah, I, mean. I hate that this is literally... I hate that this is literally just, you know, normal run for the first, like, four fucking chapters. <laughs> not, nothing is gonna be different for the first hour of this run. <laughs> but once you, hit, once you hit chapter five, that's when new stuff will happen. I appreciate the luck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. Um, I'm not sure if I finished saying the story. Um, I'm operating on two hours of sleep, by the way. About three hours, actually. Um, so, essentially, yeah. Whenever I take a day off, I get like really, really fatigued. So I thought I'd use that to. I thought I'd use that to, you know, get myself ready and a bit more, you know, awake for this. Um. So I said to myself yesterday, if I ever get tired at any point, I'm just going to go to bed early. And I got tired around like three in the morning. So I tried to go to bed at three and I managed to actually sleep until about, I think it was like half six. And I woke up and I was like, all right, just go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Didn't work. <clears throat> so got up, had a drink, had a small snack and was like, all right, I'm going to try and nap. Didn't work. <clears throat> so here I am. I've been awake for a good, like, six hours. What do you already. want? It's not good. <laughs> it's, it's not good. Um, I could have pushed this to another day, but I just, I want this out of my life. I want, I want this out of my life. No, I wasn't watching anything last night, actually. Like, I knew if I was to watch streams and stuff, I'd probably, you know, not go to sleep until my normal time. I just get really fatigued when I don't stream. I think also it's like, it's my body catching up to like not taking a day off. So it was just like, yeah, no, this is, uh, this is probably for the best. I have to remember the correct way to actually, you know, do this. Yes. <sighs> I remember a lot of the sub story stuff. I don't remember the main story stuff. <laughs> Which is weird. You think that'd be the stuff I do remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need assistance with this because I am gonna start falling asleep. Um, just. I am very upset. I'm very, very upset. We, uh, I couldn't find a way to route in. I couldn't find a way to route in, uh, Doctor Ken. Uh, there was one item in Doctor Ken that it would have been good to get, but unfortunately, this way, this way. Uh, but unfortunately, that didn't work out because there is an easier way to get it. <laughs> And that's thanks to Bartender Ken. So unfortunately, Dr. Ken is out, which makes me upset. Um, <laughs> baseball was almost in. Death batting was very almost in. Um, which honestly, I think it might just be a little faster, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, but if I do the Colosseum, I get extra benefits, and by doing the Colosseum, I can also get easy access to a specific hmm. yes. item that I need for Lin's requests. Yeah. Which, that's a good point. I forgot to note down the items that I would need ahead of time. Oh? No. Yeah. Huh? No, there was something hmm. I forgot to do. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, there was something I forgot to do. Shit. It's fine because Lin will tell me, and I know the I know the rare huh? ones that I need. I can get those ahead of time. Ironically enough, those are both from the Colosseum. <laughs> so. But also by doing the Colosseum, I can get some extra Colosseum points and turn those into orbs for my different trees, like specifically uh, body or mind, which is good. So yeah, we're just getting uh, we're just getting scammed right here. Uh, we're trying to get a way to get into Eden. Which, funnily enough, uh, this guy's gonna sell us a permit by getting him this gem. Uh, it, no. No. This is very indicative of the reasons why I dislike this game, is that this game starts off with a fucking fetch quest. But it does end up with me exploding people. Jesus. What? I was kidding. Yep, what? it's by the Axidubs. It's literally the Axidubs. This game is an experience. Will not necessarily say good or bad. Mind you, may vary. Abilities. 
orange. Uh, I need to go to the right. Yeah, I need to go to the right. I'm stupid. And then one to the left. I'm actually one orb down than I would usually be at this point. I think so. Yeah, so I usually kill these guys a bit quicker than this. So. I think that's because I didn't take care of some of the enemies in the previous chapter with AEX attack. Yeah, because I should also be level 4 here. That's fine. That's fine, I can fix that later. I think it's because I didn't kill them with huh? Hokuto Shinken skills. So, if you kill people with, uh, if you kill people with Hokuto Shinken skills, yeah. it's kind of like Yakuza Zero, where if you finish no. fights in a certain way, <laughs> yeah. you get like extra, like extra benefits. But I should have had uh, two to the right pathway there. So. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, this run is gonna spoil a lot of the main storyline points of uh, Fist of North Star. <laughs> as, as you do. Cause like, this strong attack should be absolutely killing these enemies, but... Obviously down. I think I'm down 20% attack. Which, that's a pain. It's fine. Fix it. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. There's actually, you can get very, very weirdly overpowered in Pistol North Star very early. Uh, because you can get the vast majority on? of the, the attack buffs really I early on. Provided you're very focused in, like, the specific way you go in the attack tree. The downside is you don't get enough orbs to get every attack Emotional. up because there's a couple of attack ups that aren't like, really that big they're like 20 40 percent um which is actually a lot to be fair um but they're really locked behind like a whole bunch of other upgrades like like incremental eight percent hp that are only on body orbs and the only way we can really get body orbs like is by either leveling up or by doing the coliseum i'm not just going to do the coliseum just to get those I am going to get them from the Colosseum. I'm not going to focus specifically on getting them from the Colosseum. That makes sense. What's the... the flashback stuff? I think this is the flashback stuff, isn't it? No, that's next chapter. Uh, it is the flashback stuff. That's Yuria. She's the reason why we're here. Break out of prison. It's very easy for a man like Kensho to break out of prison. I'm going to walk to the door. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why they thought, you know, this would stop us. There is a man who's a nice save point there, but we're not going to utilize the save point right now. Hey! <laughs> Thanks, Big Nono. I am on very little sleep. <laughs> I've literally had, like, three hours of sleep. So that's not great. I also had the, uh, we also had the, um, the people replace the wall earlier, which has been hey! done. Good. And let you run out on another meal without paying? You're a petty thief and you're staying right hey, here. Hey, we get to see the power of Hokuto Shinken. It's not just for exploding enemies. We can also do this to You know we people. need every scrap of food we can get. You're lucky we didn't execute you on the... Huh? You can just wipe what their memory the... or something. I don't, I don't know why that's a thing. But, you know, the Hokuto Shinken can also heal people. It, it, it's a miracle. <laughs> But Ken is the uh, successor to Hokuto Shin Ken, so Ken has a bit more like like overall wield of it. But in terms of like the actual Hokuto Shin Ken, uh, there's like slight variations, and people can use it for good, people can use it for bad. Uh, people are more versed in like certain forms of it. Like you'll see, my brother Toki is more versed in healing. <laughs> this way twice as quicker. I teleport you the other way on the first time and then you come backwards. It looks weird. <sighs> Man can't get himself up the stairs, which is really weird. There's nothing up the stairs. I don't know why he wants to get up the stairs. Like, there's literally just a balcony. I don't know why he wants to get up the stairs. <clears throat> His house isn't here. He does tell us to go up here and we meet a certain character who's going to become very vital to the plot of this video game. Hell, this is Arrow C. Kasana. What? Please don't steal. <laughs> uh, she is going to be very, very important. I was just um, enjoying the. 
One of the fun but things about this for the Japanese dub is that all of, of the characters sure that goes are to the voiced by their Japanese counterparts in the Yakuza dub. Um, Xana is, is uh, Xana, Makoto from Yakuza Zero. What's yours? Ken is Kiryu. Kiryu. Nice. So what? I stairs are a big problem. I came to eat stairs are going to be a very big problem in this entire There's run. I hate I stairs. To do. <clears throat> so so I should probably have done the Japanese dub, because I haven't done the Japanese dub in ages. There's no difference speedrun-wise between Do English or know? Japanese. Everything's tied to animation, nothing's tied to audio. I just thought I'd do the English, because we're going to be here for a hot minute. Gladiator games. Gladiator games. Yeah. Snake. You can... So, Xan is being all, hey, you should enter the Gladiator games, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, I'm definitely not going to well, put money on you, cough. only once a month. I'm not really a gambler, but... Well, I... Here we know. <laughs> I might actually have to use the restroom in a second because my body is not reacting well to the food I had. I had a curry. I had a curry. It ain't going well. Anyway, they're all like, how the hell did you break out of prison? What the fuck did you do? Now they're just like, sit here, don't do anything. So we're gonna daydream instead. You I think this is definitely where I want to get my attack orbs up after earlier. I do want, I do want to make sure I have a Look, asshole. What's your game here? Why'd you let us arrest you? Why'd you run? And why'd you come back? That's a lot of questions, my dude. looking for someone. This game actually does a very good job. For the first hour of this game, there's not going to be random fight spawns. Like, at all. The game does a very good job of, like, actually, like, legitimizing why there are no fight spawns. And that's because this man right here is protecting Can't the town. Wait. That and the fact that there's, you know, big giant, what? like, what? wall. <laughs> not supposed to leave, but yes, I did just try to leave. It makes the story go faster. <clears throat> there's a Lin and Bat. Fuck the both of them. Leave them in the waste down to die, Ken. Wouldn't have to do their bloody stuff for subsoils. I'm gonna hate them by the end of this run. So, come out over you. You know the drill. This might be the one. Yep. So, this is one move that is very good to do because you can actually kill multiple enemies with this. You can kill up to five enemies with this. They have to be very close, like the original person. Strike. It's also building up my second star, which is good. I don't need that. Honestly, I shouldn't be using it against this set of enemies. The next fight. But we have a couple of flashbacks just to flesh hey. out some of the yeah. side characters we've not met yet. I also get some bland jerky. I'm probably going to have that in my inventory until the end of the game. I'm going to have that in Ken's demon. <laughs> Probably enough. <laughs> yep, 15 hours. Lord help me. So, we can do charge attacks against enemies. Charge attacks, good. Uh, sometimes it doesn't accept my input with this charge attack. I don't know why. Because again, ideally you could get like multiple enemies like that. Now these bigger enemies... The ones, like, uh, the larger ones behind us. Uh, they grant a special thing later on called Hidebu. There you go, five enemies. Good stuff. So for this fight, I ideally want to take care of, like, the larger enemies with this that will also take care of some of the other enemies. I think that's gonna work. I dropped my combat, that's why I didn't want to. Sorry. Three seconds left, chat. Actually, we've got like 15 hours left, unfortunately. Hello, hello. Thanks. I don't know. My hat isn't let me do anything. I know, I know I've done the right combo, but for some reason it's not doing my actual attack. Thanks, Gokdoni. Appreciate it. Gonna absolutely need it. 
Also doing this is getting my uh, my actual EXP back to where it should be. Let's hit that guy so I could kill him with a opposition can move. It'd take ages to knock him down with full HP, so Hoktoshin can move. That's level six. I should actually have my. I should actually get my damage up at this point. I just want to make sure I'm going to get enough for uh, my jump kit. Hey. <laughs> I should have at this point as well. But you'll see. You'll see the level up pathway we take early on for this. Uh, hmm. There's good reason for hmm. a lot of it. <laughs> At least hit the big ones. It won't kill them with this one, but it will like severely hurt them. Which is good. Good one of the smaller enemies at least. I should have done that to get my second star at the time. He's just dead anyway, because that like any Hokuto can move at this point will kill these enemies. Okay, we're doing like normal attacks against this guy on the other guy. Just to get rid of them. Two seconds left, yeah. It'll be a lot faster combat when we actually get to chapter 5. I don't know why I did this to do this one. So stay there for a second. I'm playing like ass already. This is the long one. Actually, no, this is the good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Didn't kill, unfortunately, but get the kill quickly off of this with just normal combos. Would not guard that. He's gonna attack that too. If I just attack quick enough, he won't. Uh, the point of the fast uh, punches there to build up his um, his channeling stuff, the skull that you see. That's what you want to do those for. It doesn't do that much damage. The better one to do for damage is the uh, the kicks from the. The actual uh, triple light strong. So I believe we also need to get a uh, double finishing blow for that. That'd be wrong. Grab myself. Kick Brudge. Kick Brudge. Good. I'm gonna like Kick Brudge. You'll see why in a sec. Uh, attack two. One off. If I was bad one more normal star orb, I could have gotten uh, a lot more attack. We'll get it in a bit. I'm obviously, as I said, a little bit of EXP off because of the way that I did my fights at the start of the run. But not restarting 25 minutes over yeah. that. So. Now, the enemies are actually really aggressive with their attacks in this game. Like, really aggressive. They do guard a bit, but you actually have a lot of. You have a lot of different ways to be able to break through people's guards. I should probably have actually got um, my slam for this fight. We'll get a couple. At this point, I would like to build up my seven. So I will like to do with easy attacks because I don't lose my seven star now with these fights. So I don't lose. I'll be taking breaks. Yes. I don't have any schedule, but I will be taking. Them. I don't think that's the right combo. It's not. It's fine. I'll take care of this guy just because this will make everybody else fit. He's like the leader type enemy of this fight. One. The way that I can tell if I'm getting the right move is if I do the kick. If I do the kick, then I've done the right move. If I do a punch full hand, it's the right move. Hordebreaker strike. So I am using another visual indicator basically to tell if I am doing this correctly. Or not. Good to keep him in place, not to do the thing. I 
probably should have just stopped touching Ken, but it's fine. I also got my level up now, so I could get the other attack ups that I wanted at this point. We very much want to go the right-hand side of orange first, because you'll see the attack damage we get. It's absurd. Our next battle is attack match. The winners of like, the next chapter, we're going to be exploding these enemies so fast, because they, like even though we're like the same level, we are going to have so much extra attack. It's ridiculous. Been really easy to do. It starts easy. It gets very hard. Uh, by the time we get to the super boss, uh, he's going to free shot me. Even on even on the no speed run, there is actually bosses later on in this run that can like if you don't get like the armor, we're gonna die in like two free hits. It's actually amazing. It gets very hard. We normally in the speed run in the any percent speed run we end up like thirty levels behind. Uh, in all sub stories we're well apart from the super boss, which is gonna be a different story, we're gonna end up a good a good number behind. This might be the move, but it should be fine even if it is. Because this shouldn't kill. Yep. So, the reason why this is fine because it doesn't kill, because we don't get the longer... You are already dead at the end. I was hoping to this guard there. Nice. Hey buddy, you're supposed to be working on your own guy! That's the reason why I didn't do my full combo there. If you do your full combo, you'll get the you're already dead move. I don't want to see that. I do not want to see that. The only time I want to see that is against bosses. Because bosses you don't technically kill. So you don't do the full thing. It's important. Tag, I give you the 32 months. I appreciate it. You know, I killed a lot this game does start very easy. And we're not, even at the, we're not even at the bit now, that, is, uh, that makes fights was... even faster and easier. <laughs> It's kind of weird because, like, the early game you want to do, like, a combination of Arctic Shinken moves, and you also do not because you can see how long they are. Like, you really don't want to do that many at all. I have to fight this guy. This guy's actually kind of strong. I want to keep my seven star for the next fight. the one I want. But I did that way too early. The later you do that, the more damage you do. I did that way too early. I'm annoyed at myself. Okay, thanks for not targeting Cam. I'll just stop him. Okay, I'm gonna get my damage up now. I want it for Devil Rebuff. Devil Rebirth, I believe, is character from manga. <laughs> I believe. Uh, there's a very there's a very good and quick and easy way to get rid of uh, Devil Rebirth. Also, the thing Lyra's holding that megaphone, I want that. I need that for Emon. Give that to me. Yeah, Devil Rebirth is actually surprisingly easy. He looks, like, intimidating. We're going to go into our Orange Street. We're going to get attacked by 20. And then attacked by 40. And now watch the damage you're about to do. You can avoid his beam by moving. That did not knock him down, and that's bad. I should have knocked him down first time, but I think I did the wrong combo. At this point, he hits the ground, he starts doing this. As long as we're fast enough, we can just get up here, no problem. And this is the reason why we leveled up a skill you haven't seen yet, which is Jump Barrage. Jump Barrage is disgustingly good. Take a look at Devil Rebirth's HP bar at the bottom right. Watch this. His weak spot is his head. He's going to try and attack us at the start. If we use our 7 star, he's not going to be able to do anything. So... GG. Now you can understand why we do all the attack upgrades. And also the jump barrage. Jump barrage, good. Jump barrage is going to be my ace in the hole for Amon. It's not technically over, but it is. I just have to walk forward. <laughs> I just have to go forward. Bro. 
Again, I could fail like the majority of these like QTs because like literally one enemy. Goes dead. Just doesn't know it yet. He's about to. You can skip through these by mashing because again, you've literally done the damage. You don't have to do anything else. Seven stars of death. That seven star gauge does not take over the next one. Green skill orb is nice. That's going to give us access to double combo finisher. And I'll obviously be getting and utilizing that a whole bunch, which is good. Now that we're 32 minutes into the game in the speedrun and we still don't have access to the city yet. God's sake. Yeah, Lyra has a golden microphone. That accessory knocks back enemies when you get knocked down to the ground. I need that for Amon. <clears throat> I don't necessarily need it for Amon, but uh, boy, does it fucking help. Boy, does it fucking help. Hey, we won the Gladiator Games. Everyone loves us. Well, I say hey, everybody, not everyone. Hey, look, it's Ksan. You were watching, uh, Jag, right? we don't care. You saw him turn those guys into chunks, right? Yeah, no, we did exploit people, Jag. He's not wrong. And the ruler oh, no, must yeah. grant the champion's wish. But. <laughs> but. You listen here, punk. Maybe. Go. Thanks, Jack. What? Wait a second. So, Xana's all like, hey, you gotta take Ken and show him around the city, which. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's our chapter split. I can already tell 30 minutes in. I'm playing badly. <laughs> Lack of sleep ain't helping that much at the moment. Yeah, that's that's the early part. That's the early part. Now we get actual access to the sea. Oh, it's actually happening. God and I'm it. on three hours of sleep, so it's not good. Can't believe the Again, everything here is tied to audio. We, we have to ask about to everything. So, just gonna keep pushing the button. I actually quite like the English double skin. It's not bad. Not bad at all. That's my Plus, best it, it can allow people to, you know, listen in on the side Better just whilst, let you think. know, alt-tabbing out. <laughs> That's right. Hey! What? Jagger no. doesn't like us. Give him time. He will. Give him time, we'll be serving him drinks in the bar! <laughs> I will, actually. Yeah, I get double finisher in, uh, in this Who chapter. Who gives a shit green about off. some two-bit army of bandits? I'd like to see you say that in like two chapters of time, Jagger, my dude. Got that <laughs> right. That's how the people around here know me. So yeah, he says he joined the City Watch. Jagger is actually going to be someone we interact with a hell of a lot in all sub stories uh, because he has a big part in the Bounty Hunter missions, which we are going to have to do because they're all sub stories. At least the majority of them are sub stories. Some of them will tell us, which is good. So here's the issue of Fist and Orsta. You can see it right in front of us. It's these things. Stairs. No Ken stair speed on stairs. Note how he slows down on stairs. Note how we've already climbed like eight flights of stairs already. Note how there's more. And more. And more. And more. For some reason, Ken slows down on stairs. The city... This city, despite being smaller than Camarocho, for some reason the city doesn't have fast travel. This is where Kisana deals with... And unfortunately, it has stairs. And stairs are the issue. Stairs are very much my enemy. City in this within a sphere. I hate stairs. A lot. Oh. So we're getting kind of like a. This is Lord uh, Nadai. Kasana's father. Don't worry about him. <laughs> Come back in like four chapters. Follow me. Two, three chapters. Yeah, there's there's supposedly way, a city man. behind the city. On, it's called Sphere up, City. Hey, it's locked behind a giant door that supposedly won't open for a hot minute. Spoilers the end of the game. But right now we're, as you can see via the minimap, being shepherded in a very specific direction. We can't go off of, like, you know, this route with Jagra. Ow. Gonna go away. 
The nice thing, the nice thing is that there are no fight spawns right now. Because fight spawns of this the North Star are kind of icky. Kind of bad. I don't like them. Thankfully, all sub stories, I can get rid of them. Uh, this is the bazaar. Uh, we're going to get given a whole bunch of money, and by a whole bunch of money, I mean fucking nothing How do you by Jagra, uh, who's going to be all like, hey, you can buy some stuff with this. Uh, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Like, I'm probably, I think mean, it's like a thousand, is it? Five thousand. I could buy like five bits of jerky with that. It's not gonna be that useful. It's also a pain in the ass because I need like ten thousand. But like actually I need like twelve thousand. Uh for story stuff in the next chapter, so uh thanks Jagger. I'm gonna run this way specifically. I did want to go this way, but if we go this way it's fine. Go over here for the uh the trigger for this next part. So you'll see that some thugs have managed to make their way in, but they're not a fight spawn because they're in the of a cutscene. The game actually legitimizes that there aren't thugs like this in the city because the big wall keeps them out. But that was all my IDL. I can't even. Such a shame. Huh? Such a shame. I'm so sad that you need IDL because, lady, I'm going to need a hundred fucking million at some point. Talk to me. I've ran down three flights of stairs since the end of that cutscene already. This. Jackass. <laughs> this jackass actually gives us access to some really overpowered stuff. Uh, this is... He'll make himself, like, known later. He warns us we're gonna, like, find our way with a carpet of red. And red is blood. Three more sets of stairs, by the way. Um, here's the Destiny Talisman guy. Uh, Destiny Talismans we'll get into in a bit. Um, we're gonna use them over the run because they're actually very, very good. Uh, some of them are exceptionally good, like Toki's. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, all of them, when you use them, go on a very large cooldown. And by a large cooldown, I mean like 45 minutes. It's a bit stupid. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Substory is doing indeed start in hmm. Chapter 5. Technically, they start in Chapter 4, but it's a story substory, and you can't huh. get past it because it gives you access to the buggy. So, you know. <laughs> anyway, we get given like 50 chips. Fun fact about the speedrun, we will be back in here later. Where I will actually be spending one million of my monies. I know that might seem surprising. You'll see why. Hey. That place has the easiest access oh. perfect whiskey. And I need that for a cabaret girl. And I very desperately need her. Because you have no B rank strength cabaret girls. And she is an A rank. She's very, what? very good. I need her. I very much desperately need her. Otherwise there are certain hey. missions I can't do. <laughs> Anyway, you've seen with uh, bloody Devil Rebirth, uh -huh. we're slightly strong at this point. What? We're slightly very strong at this point. Allow me to demonstrate. I also want to make sure I start building up my 7 star. I can actually probably get double combo at this point. Right, it's double combo that is the bit that goes and gets you over there. That's right. Sorry about that. But yeah, we're now just like killing enemies in like three hits now. Unfortunately, it's not going to last. Unfortunately, the enemies are going to start scaling with us yes. and then past us. Yeah. But for now, <laughs> for now, I'll be I'll be hitting these guys right here with a couple of Hokuto Shinken moves. I really need to build up my seven. Need it for Terger. Yeah, there's a good couple of okay. larger enemies, as you can see. I'm going to be using that one combo what? against them to build up my seven. <laughs> Guys, the head of the villain is hey. here in town. What? He's like, hey, join me, and we'll like give the old lady what? our money back. If, we, if you don't, I'm going to explode you. Hey! I'm gonna explode him. I don't know what you want from me. I'm gonna explode him. That's the move I want. I 
would like to do obviously this QT correctly because then I can get some stuff. Horde strike. No way. That's the wrong combo. It's one extra. That, however, is good. If you just do that, you'll reset whatever combo you have stored up after your um your initial one. Hordebreaker strike! That's unfortunate. I don't want that one. I'm just gonna kill this guy at this point. It's gonna kill this one. I do want my seven star for the end of this chapter because it makes one fight really quick, like really, really quick. Whoa! Hey. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. He recognizes us from the Gladiator games. He gives the money back, but he's being all smug, and Ken's just like, if you move, you're gonna explode. What? And this guy is like, what? I'm not gonna explode. You're a dumbass. So he moves. <laughs> You'll never guess what's about to happen next, chat. What? <laughs> Ah! Huh. Exploded! Didn't see that coming. This guy! Ooh, this pain in the ass. He is Izuka. He's gonna be our one of our biggest chain of sub-stories in the room. He is part of the Watchmen. Uh, he is gonna be our bounty hunters. Oh, wait, actually, I could have just used uh, Yuria, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Oh no, wait, I want to use Yuria for the token. That's right, that's right. Yes. Anyway, this is your introduction to Destiny Talisman guy. Uh, this is the point where if you're on up-to-date version of the video game, congratulations, you're losing time. So, basically, you take materials, you take some incense, yes. you refine them into a Destiny yeah. Talisman, you get to use the benefits. There's a couple of cool things, there's a couple of things that are a little lacking. Oh. There's a couple of things that are somewhat genuinely useful, like being able to refill your yes. buggy or not run out of fuel for a certain amount of time. Uh, but all of these Death Detailers yes. go on like a 45 minute cooldown when you use them. Yes. It's a pain in the ass. So, we get for free Yuria's, uh, which as you can see, uh, this allows us to go into our 7 star for literally 7 seconds. It's not that long. Unfortunately, this is the reason why you lose time if you're on an update oh, no. version of the game, is because what you're about to see is all the free DLC. It all comes as part of the free patches, not this stuff. I, I do want to put your ear on. Uh, this stuff. Ryakus. That guy. He's actually useful for a uh, trophy, actually. Crimson Cat, thank you very much for the tier on free months. I appreciate it. All of these are uh, uh, DLC talismans that you just get via the free patches. Um, so, take like a minute to get through. Might be wondering why I don't just, you know, delete the game and don't update it. Can't be asked. Can't be asked. <laughs> I have to have my PS5 offline and I just, I can't be asked. Lots of these are just not useful. <laughs> the fire guy actually kind of is. The fire guy is actually kind of sick. Uh, and you can use him for a special trophy as well. The issue is the ore guy that you need for him. The earliest you can get it is from either... Uh, Young Yuri is actually really broken as well. Uh, you, The only way you can get that ore guy, even in all sub-stories, is either from the Colosseum or trade it with uh, BP, which is from doing buggy stuff, buggy points with bats. Which is something we are actually going to do as part of all sub-stories, but just not yet. You'll see. You'll see. Hey, we're going to go back to the old lady and give her the money back. If you're wondering about the uh, the little guy with the mohawk back there, that little kid, uh, he gives you DLC items. But he's also DLC, Kenshiro, which is not going to kill him. 
hell? It's a bathroom break. I mean, you could technically. You just have to, you know, go with the controller, which... Yeah. Shit, that's the alarm. <laughs> what is that? That's the alarm, Ken. We got company. So, because we got company, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna get me a double finisher. And I'm gonna go here. Get attacked by 40. And attacked by 90. So when I said we're gonna get a shit ton of attack really early on, oh, I meant that. That's an extra 130% attack right fucking there. You're wondering, oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna make a big difference. We shall see. What happens when you accidentally touch your mailbox in line judgment and get all the other times? Yes. <laughs> yes, but it actually goes somewhat faster in judgment, even though it takes about the same amount of time. It sucks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. <laughs> anyway, now I have access to a double finisher. In all sub stories, I will probably go the route of getting triple finisher. Or at least triple finisher down. one. Uh, because there is one combo that will stop enemies or later Get boss fights and aim on from doing an air combo against me. Me and the watch can handle things. Can you? Can you? I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't actually think you can. So, all oh, right, I can't go that way. I'm, I forgot. You have to go to Kasana. I was going to cut through the bazaar uh, because obviously less stairs, but no, you got to go this way. Also, dramatic music. Again, no fight spawns. We still don't have full access. Like, we had a little bit of full access to City before, but, like, we now don't have access again. I like going this way to the cathedral just because there's less stairs this way. There's, like, a really small little alcove I've ran past. Uh, this bit right here that has, like, just one small set of stairs, and then just, like, it already, like, bypasses, like, a set of stairs, or two to the right. Go down this one instead. Hey, walking around this city. I do think this is one of RGG's worst design cities, if I'm being honest. It's just it's just so painful to run around with one all the stairs and two no fast travel. And I'm saying that both from a place of speedrun wise and also casual. And here's the weird thing, you'll see it as we go through. All the save points in the city behind them have these broken down motorbikes. So it looks like at some point they were going to be fast travel. There is fast travel for the wasteland, which thank God for that, because we're going to be utilizing it a shit ton Can't in all sub stories. How can I help? going to literally save us like an right. hour. Probably more, actually. <laughs> Does it mean I have King Sprint? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the other thing we haven't mentioned about stairs. Whilst Ken slows down on stairs, fight spawns do not. It's fabled fight spawns that don't appear in the run for like another 30 minutes, by the way. Like, actual no joke. <laughs> For example, haven't replayed it. I mean, I, I moan about this game a lot. The issue is the speed run, like the any percent and obviously today. Just bring, like, to the forefront the issues with this game. Like, the reasons why it's just unfun to play, how, like, slow and sluggish it is. But I will say this, and I will always praise this about Fist of the North Star. The combat is good. The combat is very good. Like, it's different enough from your usual, like, main Yakuza games, and it offers you different things. Like, at first, I was very much of the opinion that they shouldn't have gone back from the Dragon Engine because of, like, the multi-enemy combat they want you to do. But I will say that some of my favorite one-on-one -on -one boss fights of any RGG game are in this game. This game has some actually wonderful and unique, like, one-on-one -on -one boss fights. They are very, very good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Now I got to build yeah. up my seven star. It's very important I start building my seven star in these next two fights. Very important. What's that giving us to full? Actually, it might give us to full after this. Because I think I just heard it gets full. So, oh yeah, it does. Alright, so we're supposed to do, like, big attacks against these guys. I'm just gonna... I am gonna do the long move. I want this guy dead. Oh, that was the good move. That was the good move. I didn't get the long one. Good. Good like that. That's a good move. The other good move, as you can probably guess, is also, you know... 
Hey, look, I'm killing enemies in two hits now. So, as I said, now you can see why it's super important to get those attack upgrades. And also, a double finisher, I can now just glide to enemies. It's pretty bloody good. Very bloody good. You'll see why I'm saving my seven star for the fight after this one. We can make a very, very short work of Targa if we do things correctly because of all of our uh, level ups. This is Targa, by the way. You're on a little manhunt, um, are you? <laughs> well, in the Japanese dub, Jungi Han's voice actor. So you should probably guess, man has guns. What? <laughs> are you listening to yourself? No, I'm listening to you, unfortunately. This is an <laughs> This is an execution. You def so yeah, this actually the tiger fight isn't too bad. Well, we do have one boys, fight to get through before that. Looks like we have a comedian. Get yeah, him! I do not want to use my thing. I don't want to use Yuria either, because I would like to keep Yuria for the next chapter. We're gonna have two boss fights to get through, and one of them can go very quickly if we can get uh if we can actually get ourselves seven star. But we'll be using seven star for like one of the fights. This guy sucks. You should be trying to focus on this guy. Yeah, he has a bunch of hyper armor. He just does stuff like this. You also juggle enemies in this game, by the way. I still did a bad job of it. But... Ideally, what you want here is enemies gathering together so you can hit multiple hits like this. I know I'd actually damage that quite a bit. Alright, so if I can do this, if I can do this correctly, Tiger's gonna go down very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So it's super important we hit him with the seven star activation. So run up, do this. Kick him on the ground. Kick him once to stun. Drop kick. GG. Fight done. <laughs> Fight done. Here it comes. I'll gun you down. We have a lot of damage right now. We have a lot of damage. We have like we probably have the majority of the damage upgrades. There's a lot that are still like hidden in the trees, but they're not like quite as big as 90%. There is one more 90% we will be getting later. By doing these at the right time, we do more damage. I missed that one, which is bad. Might actually not kill him with this now. Yeah, we didn't. Oops, that's fine. I have a drop kick. If I did actually hit that QT, he'd be dead. Ah! Doing that so that I can get him to do that. Oh, Tiger, fuck you. This is where you don't want to see Tiger with guns! Get me? That would miss. If you ever, like, mess up like that, you just need one to pick, but I couldn't get it because I was, like, baiting out the gun attack instead. I wanted him to do a normal attack. If he did a normal attack, he would have just gone down in a second. Tiger. It'll be a pain in the ass later on, don't worry. Yeah, it does have the arrow safe dodge, funnily enough. Go. You need at least one... Don't worry about this guy, this guy's Kyo. You'll meet him soon, actually. Also, that one-star incense is going to be vital uh, coming up in two chapters time. Enough. So, as said, all sub-stories technically doesn't really change up until now, and even then it's not going to change here. Uh, our sub-stories don't start unlocking until we walk out of the clinic right here. Uh, and even then, there's only one in this chapter. And it's a story one. This is Rihaku. He's here Rihaku. protecting the place in the Japanese dub. He the is Date's technique. voice actor. But basically, Kyo did some kind of weird finger thing, like the hook to Shinken, uh, to Jagra. Jagra's turning into a zombie. Don't worry about it. A martial artist? So I'm sorry, it's 80. Yeah, but that 
So we learn of a healer whose name is Toki. And uh, Ken, surprise, surprise, knows who Toki is because Toki is his brother. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. A hot minute, I mean a long time. So we're going to go find him. He is being held prisoner by a guy named Uyghur in Cassandra. The souls. There are zombie enemies in this game. You don't get any soul stuff from them. Allow me You'll to understand what I mean by that later. So yeah, this is still going to be exactly the same. Except when we leave the clinic. Remember when I said earlier I disparaged two children? Hey, Here's the first Ken. of them, little fuckers. Fuck you, bat. You have to deal with your ass in all sub stories. Bat. This is I bat. knew it was you. So I've this is actually established main character in the actual like story of Fist and All Star. It's not OC. Please don't steal. Don't ask how his hair looks. Bat is going to be our buggy master in this game. He is gonna do all things vehicle, which sucks because I have to do a few races for this kid. Some of which are actually kind of hard. I had to do some sub story rerouting to be able to actually finish his sub stories. But because of that, I actually have a actually really clever route. It's like one part of the actual Law Sub Stories route that I am actually really proud of. There's a little, there's a couple of bits like that that I'm proud of. You'll see when we get to them. Hey, we're supposed to follow Bat. No. <laughs> also, I'm get I, because I did uh, Yakuza 5, the GDQ hotfix, I keep pointing the camera down constantly. <laughs> constantly. Ow! I hope you all enjoyed the GDQ hotfix, by the way. As you missed it, we did, uh, Rebel did Yakuza 3, uh, last or two days ago, uh, and myself, Tap, and Ryu did, uh, Yakuza 5, um, which honestly I thought went really well. I think every single one of us with our individual parts would have at least something, like, very big to, like, kind of nitpick no. apart. Um, what? For me, it's pretty obvious. It's the goddamn <laughs> fight spawns. Oh. I was given sheer hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. My fight spawns were, like, actually legitimately disgusting. I have to speak to you first. Hang on, don't... Oh, that's when we come back. That's right. We have to do the thing and then do the thing. But this game's a grind. Hey, we need a car. Thankfully, the bartender here is going to give us a car, which is good. And all it will cost us is menial labor for, like, an hour. Yo. We'll see. What? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Yaxa 5 was really evil to like all of us in like <laughs> separate different ways. Like really separate different ways. Um I had some genuinely nasty fight spawns. I was playing like I was playing it a little more safer with fight spawns than I should do. But like we are talking, I was getting fight spawns hey. half the road away, seeing me every goddamn time. <laughs> no. I'm actually kind of surprised that with the fight spawns I had, um, that I only had one fight spawn, which was in Sukumino, and it was complete bullshit, by the way. <laughs> I'm still mad about that. I'm gonna be mad about that for ages. Hey, these guys are here. I'm gonna punch them. Surprise. So I'm, I'm mad about that. <laughs> I'm very mad about that. Um, but I think I think the actual weekend went well. Uh, Rebel did good with Yaks free, and like all things considered, I think the Yak as a five run actually went well. Um, take that like this. I think the Axe 5 run went very well. Uh, I was quite happy with that. Fist of I was also very happy that Ryu wanted to be there for the whole thing because Ryu, Ryu really helped me out with like the comments area as well because like that enabled me to like concentrate way more on like, you know, dealing with said fight spawns because at times I would have just gone very quiet because like again, I have a marathon mode when I'm doing things, especially for marathons where I don't swear and the Axe 5 made me want to swear. <laughs> Those fight spawns were putrid ass garbage, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. I am fairly certain that there was a bit where I was like, <sighs> and that that was the bit I was about to let loose with an F bomb. <laughs> that that was a bit I was just like, I fucking hate this. <laughs> just I. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, we don't have the money for the car repair set. Jaguar didn't give us enough money. We gotta go earn money. 
So that's gonna suggest we go kill some enemies. The entire Fist North Star is just one big long fetch quest. That's the issue with this game. Does it Sukumino? Yeah. Sukumino actually had a good couple of nasty fight spawns, but most of them were dealable with. I did have the corner squatters, which sucks because, like, I had one fight spawn that was almost just in front of the only way to get past the squatters. That was such a pain in the ass. I think it went well otherwise. Uh, Yakuza yeah. 5 was mean, and we actually, the the PB that we set between, or like the run that we set between the three of us, matched my PB timing to the second. Like, okay, it was correct. a 604.32. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Also, with all um, of my getting ready for this, yeah. um, well, I only forgot. Less than a month away from Gaiden now, folks. I'll make this quick. Can you make the wait quick, fella? Because I would appreciate that. This actually does a lot of damage if you can be, like, next to the enemies. Well, fuck you too. I was busy killing. I should kill this guy. That's fine. Said that's fine. Not fine. <laughs> it's not fine. All right. <laughs> it gives us twelve thousand five hundred, which is very nice. It's very good. It's what we need. Now we can finally go fix the buggy, which is gonna become. Listen, if I break down crying at some point while driving around today, don't worry about it. It's just because I'm, you know, severely depressed by the speedrun. <laughs> just don't worry about it. I'm going to be doing a lot of driving today. But I have to be very careful because if I don't refuel the buggy, it's a game over. There are points where I do know where to refuel Welcome. the buggy, but, like, there's definitely, like, two, three places in my notes where I haven't made the note to actually refuel the buggy, but I know where they are. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Session only. I better that way. Hey, what? Hey. <laughs> I joke. I, I'm very disparaging about this game. I actually do think this is still like a good, you know, six and a half, seven out of ten. Um, it like and a bad or like an average RGG game is still a fun experience for the most part. Uh, there, there's just Yo. bad things about this game. Um. It still has, you know, good ideas. It still has very good combat. Yeah. Um, the combat is one of the main yeah. reasons as to why there's a first sub story done! 79 to go! Help. <laughs> Help. Hey. <laughs> God, please help. Yeah. <laughs> God, please help. <laughs> so. We've got a tutorial. Driving the buggy. Surprise, you hold R2. Square boosts. Hey. <laughs> so here's the nice thing. Uh, we only have three Yo. we only have three songs yeah. in the actual uh, in the actual playlist. Uh, you can find extra hmm. songs in the wasteland, but that also requires us going out of our way to get them. <laughs> so we're not going to. Oh. We can check it out. Giant flashing light in the middle of the bloody desert. Uh, this is going to be the first Yo. steel wire of... I want to talk to you. I want to get in the buggy. Give me a one. It's off that. You're going to be an issue later on. Yeah. We need uh, five pieces of steel <laughs> wire, which thankfully are no longer a problem. Uh, we'll also need two ancient rubber. But yeah, that's the first <laughs> one it gives you on for free, which is nice. Mm. See you, Ken. Also, the nice thing is we have mob songs on the radio. Such as... Monkey ball. I expect to hear this a lot tonight. It very much accurately covers my mental state. I'll kill you. Hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Concrete, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of Super Monkey Ball today. 
You also get to hear some binary domain, because I love the binary domain track that's in this game. Reminder, yes, I do owe a binary domain speedrun at some point. That will be hopefully coming before Gaiden. There's a bunch of stuff I want to do before Gaiden. Uh, kill dynamite guys. You are. Oh, I didn't do the I didn't do the lock on thing. Uh, kill dynamite guys. Kill dynamite guys. There's a binary domain track. Yes. I'll be playing it at more reasonable points where, you know, there's actual things going on instead of just driving. There's going to be a lot of driving, by the way. I don't know if I made clear, there's going to be a lot of driving. Thank God the Wasteland has fast travel. Thank God. Genuinely, thank God. No. <laughs> Say, huh? Anyway, we tell Bat to stay put because it's going to be dangerous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to deal with Bat's crap later. Uh, Bat's talisman allows you to like refill your fuel in your buggy, which honestly, that's not the worst thing ever. Like, honestly, that's not too bad at all. We're not going to get it further on, but it's not bad. In terms of like the, the talismans that don't really have like that much combat prowess, it's honestly not bad. Cannot complain. Same, dude. <laughs> Same. Hey, right, let's go to Highland Village. Be driving this speedrun. No, none. None whatsoever. I don't know where you got that idea. We do a haku and we say, hey, it's time to go. Unfortunately, it does mean that I do have to run back as well. Oh. However. I'm going to get slightly teleported there. We're actually going to get teleported a bit further away. Uh, this is the old lady who we got yeah. the money bag back uh, from the people in the last chapter. Uh, she's going to give us a rather nice gift. She's going to give us a house. Yes. I wish there was another old lady who was, you know, as, as nice and understanding about these things as she is, but... Oh. Oh. Hey, right, we go back to we go back to the buggy. We go to Cassandra. Look at the again. Look at the save point outside of our house. See that? Like, they're at literally every save point in the city. I swear to God, at some point there was supposed to be fast travel. So nope, there isn't. It's a pain in the ass. It would save so much fucking time. Alright, we see Rihaku over there. We're gonna speak to Rihaku instead of that because that will make us be able to go. Right. So, over to Cassandra again. We don't really need too much stuff uh, on the route to Cassandra. Most most of what you want from this first area, uh, there's still wires, but we're gonna be getting them f like specifically from an NPC coming up, which is good. There are fight spawns in the wasteland as well, and they're a pain in the ass to deal with. I can use that rock to level up one of my destiny talismans. Reduce their cooldown by like 30 seconds. Good for me. Uh, that fine cog wheel I actually do need, so I'm actually quite happy about that. Don't need that. Uh, you're a bit faster when you're on the actual road. going relatively specific way because I know where the fight spawns turn up. So I know there's like one that spawns like to my right. So if I go this way, we mostly avoid them. Yeah, there's a good bunch of, there's a good bunch of uh, songs you can actually unlock uh, for the buggy in this game. Uh, you can get Receive You from, obviously, Yakuza. Uh, you can get a PSO2 track uh, out there, which I don't think PSO2 was out at the time of this, but I guess it was. I am the law! I am the law! I 
as right. we were, you know, fighting Judge Dredd. I see you! I see you, Dynamite Guy! Didn't we push the force? Okay, okay. There's not that many big ones left this guy was hitting me. I should probably have just attacked him rather than done this, but again, I'm loading up my seven. Like full seven for not the next fight, but the fight after that. Well, PSO2's localization was ages. Um, I kind of forgot PSO2 itself came out, like, way earlier. Jack was having fun, don't worry about him. Just turn into a zombie, don't worry about it. Be careful not to, like, boost straight forward, because you will hit one of those lampposts. Lose a bit of time. <laughs> Wait, this isn't skippable. I keep thinking it is. Should probably, but I don't want to use it in this. Wait, so no chapter. Anyway, this is Cassandra. This is where Turks being held by Weagle. Demolish these gate guards. This probably won't hit that many people. Oh, that actually did this one. It should have done the other one. I have my full seven, so I don't need to do any more Dr. Shinken moves. Hey, this is Uyghur. Uh Uyghur in the Japanese dub is voiced by Shimano's voice actor. He's in the background. I'll kill you. I'll play with you. Alright, good luck to all of you. I'm stunned only got one hit that strong attack. Ta so it's all we get a bit closer than that. <laughs> Pass him off the wall, that sucks. That's Wigo. So we're gonna be using our seven star against Wigo. Yeah, thank you, Beth. I appreciate it. This guy is also in Look actual you. original story. See these uh, graves? That's what happens to those who dare to defy me. I guess they made them tombstones. Most villains in Fist of the North Star wouldn't bother to do that. You'll soon join them. Okay. Sure. <laughs> but first. Tell me your name. Oh, it's me, Weegar. To, to carve into your headstone. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him multiple times. I forbid it. I have been strictly So Weegar was to told by a certain him. man whose name begins with R to never let anyone near Toki. I commend your courage. Fortunately for Weegar, I'm Kensho. I don't care. Come at me. I like Luffy in that regards. Hey, anyway, hi. Oh, you actually got high armor. Fuck you. So I need to do two drop kicks. Huh? 
Where's HP? It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. The rest of it's going in this cutscene. Phase two for you. So the reason why I don't use Urias Talisman here is because when you use Urias Talisman, it will actually use up all of the seven star gauge that you've got. So use our seven star before we lose our seven star. Hey, he's dead. Steel shredding I didn't even do the first one correctly. I didn't bonk him. I didn't bonk him. I was supposed to bonk him just the one time. Stop this, Weaker. Bonk. I was supposed to bonk him a single time, and I did not. <laughs> Balls. Hey, the turkey fight is a little scarier. Condemnation. I can't actually remember what Condemnation does, so it can't be that good. <laughs> this fight does scare me a little. Uh, I'm going to do phase one without seven star, and I'm going to do seven the second phase with seven. Remember, we only have seven seconds. And as you can see, Toki has green Hokuto Shinken, which means he's healing. He just jammed his whole fist right in there. Damn. <laughs> Miyaku's like, I see, that's how your people use. Fuck to stab him right in the wound. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> well, makes sense now. He hey, Jagra! Jagra is cured, but this wouldn't be a fist of the North Star game. Oh, yeah, Turkey's dying, by the way. This wouldn't be the fist of the North Star game if, you know, we didn't have fight against, you know, all the important characters. and Poor old Turkey here. We get surprised that our other brother, uh, brother, brother, our other brother Rao is still alive, and so is Jaggy, but no one really cares about Jaggy. Uh, in the Japanese dub, uh, Toki is, uh, I think, more in Naga's VA? Question mark? Uh, Jaggy is Majima, and Rao is a certain Yuji Goda. Again, if you know Fist of the North Star, Master Rao is Ryuki about to do the pose poorly. and the quote. This will mean the end. He's gonna do it, chat. Where are you going, Brother Rao? Where? To the heavens! He did the thing! He did the thing! He did the thing! He's off. I think heaven is outside that door, but good luck, dude. Anyway, it is time for important fight. It's also very important we do something very, 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 very specific that after this if fight. Rao Otherwise, I lose three minutes. I mean that. It's stupid. Toki's like, you know, with Rao around, I should train you. So you can actually do a bunch of training with Rao, which actually helps quite a bit. Rao actually has a really... Uh, uh, Toki has a really good uh, evasion technique that can help get you behind, like, bosses and stuff. I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> Take two on. Oh. Yeah, Shin is Nishki. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do first this phase. Is our sans, fate. Uh, seven star. Leave seven for second half. Just Don't bother struggling. Right. Sure thing to say to your brother, huh? <laughs> I should have done the. I should have done the wall on attack, honestly. Show me the power of this Excuse you, I was supposed to use Yuri there. I am destined to keep waiting. Downside is I'm too close, so he's going to come down. Actually, that works kind of well for me. It works very well for me. Very well for me. 
As I said, you can juggle quite well in this game. You can also bounce enemies off walls and get them back into another juggle. Bosses are understandably a little harder to do because some bosses, especially later on bosses, are just going to say, no fuck you, I'm using my attack against you. More naming names to everybody from Ray onwards. <laughs> Enlightenment. This is one of the best talismans we're going to be getting. Enlightenment is very, very good. Now, Toki is going to be all like, hey, we should do more training. No, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> if we say yes, we have to fight Toki again. <laughs> so no, fuck off. <laughs> oh, you Love you, brother dearest, but no, fuck off. And Jack was like, thank you very much for the tier one four months. I appreciate it. Thank you for the luck Kenshiro as well. Was able to find you a cure. Definitely need it. Don't ask what the cure is. A man stabbed you in the wound with his fingers. We practice very safe medical stuff in this universe. It's fine. What? Fingering the butthole works. Uh, Guardian Tasman, I uh, I think, is that rare items? Or like items come back faster? It's one of the two. We don't care. It's terrible. Or it's durability of the buggy. It might be durability of the buggy. Which honestly would be really bloody useful if we could use that in races. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter. So. We're an hour and 25 minutes in, and we now actually have access to not only fight spawns, but we also have access to sub-stories. The real fist ass begins right now. Also, in the any percent, this run is like... PS Color made this like a 420 at this point, so you're already, you know, <laughs> like a third of the way through the fucking run. <laughs> and it's only been four chapters, or it has been four chapters. The chapters are long. Good. I tell it back yeah. to Eden. Fun fact: we're not going to. But this instead. This is actually. Yes. Yeah. Chapter yeah. five is also where combat in this run is going to completely change. Hey. It. Oh, you fucking move these idiots! They've decided That's to block right. the way. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna yeah, save yes. him. Yeah, you're right. And I'm gonna do it in a very special way. So this is where we get access to perfect channeling. This is exceedingly busted. So small enemies, you want to use your perfect channeling against. If you can get the perfect channeling at the exact right time, I should get it. There we go. That is gonna turn into full seven stars. That means, if I pick this up, I will get full seven stuff. And I want another one. There we go. Because now, I know from that one, I'm going to get full seven again. I'm going to go into my blue tree right now. I'm going to go grab myself jump ground smash. Very important. I've actually I've forgotten where I go with this at this point. Uh, I do want to get you for more damage for Meridian Channel Point Strikes. Because uh, I don't think I can get more attack here. Can I? No, not yet. I've actually forgotten where I go in my in my actual tree. I definitely want you. I think I actually hold my upgrades for later. I do. So, with Ground Smash, I can now also do this. It does a lot of damage. It's really good against normal enemies. And then for everybody else, you know, good drop kick. But in the middle of that, I picked up the other seven stars. If you see at the top left. I will now have full seven stuff in my next fight as well. So we're going to start doing a whole bunch of perfect channeling, especially on the longer set pieces, so that we can just channel perfect seven the entire time. We will constantly, constantly be in seven star. It changes everything. It is like a very... You have to be very accurate with when you do your perfect channeling. It's not like, you know, like one or two frames or something. But it's like literally like the precise point. It's like less than half a second. I will, however, be getting an accessory as part of a substory that will increase that time. It's kind of nice. But that perfect channel is what is going to be vitally important. And now let's go do substory number two. Hopefully, not get seen by that fight spawn. That fight spawn to the right. That's going to be a very important fight spawn. 
That one's going to be the one we try and get most of our treasure maps off. Are they in front of the baseball bat? my boost because I'm going to have to get past them. I mind it, we're fine. This is our second sub-story. Batter up. This is Fist of North Star's version <sighs> of baseball. It is death batting. This was very, very close to being <gasps> routed into the run. Uh... I could actually make an argument that this is faster than the method we're going to use to get the item that we want from death batting. But by doing the other method, I will be able to get other items that I need. So, go that way instead. So, the item that we need from this is a, I believe, a pre war armament. What? And those pre war armaments are only available in no. two places either here or the Colosseum. This is a sub-story. I agree we can skip past it, much like, you know, most G games. It's a mini-game. Batter up. None of you get it. I was supposed to do more in my uh, level up there. I don't actually tell me specifically I was supposed to go to the bottom and blue tree. Oh, fine. No. Hey, that's the end of that sub story. You can just skip baseball. It's fine. Can't really get excited. That's number two. 78 to go. <laughs> hey. <sighs> yes. Yes. Hmm. So we're asking around about the army of ruin. Around about basically a bunch of enemies. We're gonna find them real soon. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna do a thing called hitch a ride. Hitch a ride is the fast travel here in the wasteland. We are going to eventually have access to every single fast travel. <laughs> Don't want to go into baseball. I want to go to this guy. That's why I'm being a bit careful with my movement. You can easily go into baseball by accident. This unlocks. This is a hitcher ride point. Actually, it's already a hitcher ride point, apparently. That's fine. We are going to be using it later. It's good. I still want to do this to get back faster anyway. I said, we're going to be doing a shit ton of driving around this wasteland at some point. All right, here we go, <laughs> here we go. This is now the point where there are going to be fight spawns in the video game. The game is going to justify it because guess what? Where's the guard? Everything is eerily no. quiet. learns that Kasana was worried about him. It's the first time the game not so subtly hints that Jagra has a not so subtle crush on Kasana. Watch it! Hey, uh, watch it! Hey, wait up! Hey. Yep, you'll see that there is like basically nobody around. <laughs> Even Jag was like, too quiet. So we're heading this way. There's trouble over here. Come on. Yeah, I hope that my estimate is widely off the mark, but uh, uh, Cabaret alone is going to take like six hours, and the any percent is like Captain four and a half. I'm busy here. Although the, the, the rate I'm going, five hours. Uh, this guy, he didn't get it. <laughs> Fucker. Fucker. You okay there, so yeah, at this point, we now have access to perfect channeling, and our perfect channeling is bloody strong. And yes, we're going to explode everyone. No, you. So, you can see the enemies will have a bit more, like, in terms of level at this point. What's after? 
ideally I can get perfect seven at some point, but it's not super important for these guys. Fuck you. More important I just blow them up like that. It's way more important I just blow them up like that. So basically because Jango was the, the head of the guard and he wasn't here, the enemy have gotten through. That's why there's now fight spawns here. After, you know, Kyo blew up the bloody wall. Oh, I gotta head towards the cathedral. So, you know. Down this way. Less stairs this way. Shut up, Rehiker. There's literally less stairs this way. That's why I go this way. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, a couple of stairs like these ones. Oh, really? Fuck right. I imagine I want to fight. Gotta be kidding me already. Seems we evaded them. So there is a little bit of a lip on that left-hand side that Please, does wait. get rid of enemy aggro. That's why I go that way. But man, <clears throat> starting this shit already, fist ass. All right. Whoa. You did walk into me. No! <laughs> Shut up, Rihaku. I'm leaving. I'm going fast on speedrun. Uh... <laughs> We're back. Please act happy. Hey, we get told about a visitor here called Ray. Is also a very big important character in the actual Fist and North Star. Cool. It's now nighttime. I'm seriously not done with that wall, Jesus Christ. They're drilling. Lord Almighty. So, Ray is going to. Oh, yeah, we, this is also the first time you properly see the city at nighttime. Surprise! There's running water and also electricity, which in a post apocalyptic wasteland, that's a really rare thing. Important. Very important, actually. I decided on this run, it was a charity reward. I put this up as a charity reward for like the first round of charity fundraising we ever did, uh, thinking that people wouldn't raise the money for it. <laughs> they said at the time that I would definitely not be doing it any time, like, any time around the time, like, it got, like, met for charity fundraising, and eh, it's been two years. <laughs> but considering this, uh, this One was the game's, like, five-year anniversary last week, I wanted to do it then, but just, no, god, the, the end game RNG was just so, so high that I had to figure something out. Anyway, remember that bounty hunter guy? There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Master Rat, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming for one year. One year of the fuck you, Jeffrey Basil, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I see. Yeah, this is like one of the, probably like the worst, like, actual speedruns I'll ever do. Like, genuinely. Hey, anyway, this is the this is the tutorial for your bounty hunter mission. So you'll see there is a skull on the map. We have to go after them. There are some that have certain parameters. Fun fact. And I said earlier that there was a bounty hunter mission at the top left here that was nighttime only. Not this one. This one is story. <laughs> yeah. The next yeah. one is also locked okay. to being up here, which the sucks. Hell? Nice landscape. Yep. And I'm not trying to. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like try and sit here and be all like, you know, this is the best route that's gonna be for fist ass. There's definitely gonna be a better route out there, but it's not my job to figure that out. I don't want to. I'm not going to. How's that? That'll be happening a lot with a lot of the uh, bounty hunter missions. We'll do a lot of them when we get a bit stronger. So we'll be able to obviously get what? them to their obviously channel point a lot faster. Hey. Yes. But you'll see me juggling a lot of people. I don't know how he's like in one piece. I did explode him. <laughs> No. However, one of the nice things about doing the Bounty Hunter missions, this is the very first one, and you'll see that we get actually 150,000 from that. That's a hell of a lot. Uh, we're going to be getting 
close to about 15 million in the bounty hunter stuff. Like, genuinely. Like, an actual lot of money. Which is really useful considering I have a very big problem coming up soon. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no. One more done. And this is where Fist Ass begins. Hello. Oh, yeah. We'll speak to Itzka first and then speak to this guy, unfortunately. We speak to you. There's going to be a couple of bounties. There's going to be two at the start of this. One of them is going to be the obvious one. Oh, this one's only got the one. Uh, every time... The trash. We do get that funny voice line. Uh, when we go through all of these, there's going to be a couple. Yeah. One of them's going to have, like, a bounty. It's, like, five times the rest of them. That's clearly the one. So this is the one that is stuck nighttime top left. And unfortunately, there's something else we got to start. Because when we start to walk away... Do I actually have to run over there? I really thought we could just shortcut it by going this way. I've been bamboozled. I actually have to go this way. Fuck this. <sighs> Chat, you know what was a fad back in the PS3, PS4, Xbox 360 yep. era? Motion controls. Like people what? making a complete colossal jackass hey, of themselves. What? You're about to see me do exactly the same. Thank you, Dr. Teachops. I need it. I feel like hell. I've had three hours sleep. I want to die. I'm waiting for that sending stuff. Then I'll have it for Ray. Hey, buddy. I need to check uh, whether PS Calor figured out the uh, the one Ray combo that I never could. Because there's a way to do Ray without getting his uh, yeah. mid-fight QTE twice. I did it like twice and then I forgot how to do it. I'm pretty sure Pierce Calibre worked it out. Oh no. Oh yes. So. This. Bartender Ken. There are three <laughs> major minigames. We are going to have to do. I say minigames. One is barely a minigame. Three basic uh, minigames that we need to do. To be able to carry on uh, the entirety of Fist Ass. And hmm. they have multiple sub-stories tied to them. This is the first. This one is perhaps the most important of all of them, and we have to do this one before <laughs> we do Merchant <laughs> Ken. Because everything we do in this sub-story... Ignore that. If your back sounds like that, please go see a doctor. Everything we do in this sub-story is going to go towards future sub-stories. Not just the ones we unlock here, but also Merchant Ken especially. And Man. Cabaret. It is vitally important I get the correct people in Bartender Ken done at the right times. It's time to do Bartender Ken for about 30 minutes. Cheers to you, Ken. Thankfully, I have split this up over two different parts. Welcome. Guess what? We do want to do Rhymey. We have to do Rhymey first. Certainly. Some of these. This is how I do this one. I put both my hands on the control like this. I just do this. I'm sure there's better ways to do it than this way, but this is the way I found out how to do it fast. Any way that works for you, obviously. Some people have big fingers and can just do this. I have small hands. Look at my hand compared to this controller. Small hands. Suplex drop. I can't do that. So I just put it up to my chest and I go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you do get to see funny drink names. Uh, that's a one star, which is very, very easy. Uh, we shouldn't have any problems with any of the missions here. Um, but some of them are going to get bloody hard. Good. We're probably going to get up to Bartender rank B with Bartender <laughs> Ken, something like that. Also, you get to see the uh, Tuxedo Ken outfit with Bartender Ken. We can change outfits at any point you want in the run, by the way, chat. <laughs> when we go back to our apartment. I could do that if I was yeah. to. So, that's the first Bartender Ken substory. There is a... There's, I think there's eight of them in total. Uh, some of them are chapter locked. So some of them we won't actually get until later. Hey. Hey. Go to work. I have a list. I have a list of people that I would like to see. Welcome. Uh, of which the first one has turned up. We need to raise her Certainly. to level three, as well as somebody else. I 
I hate this. As well as somebody else to get their sub story started. So seeing her first is fantastic because I can just get her going. And hopefully, by doing her first, we will actually get the next part, the other side Thank of the you. sub story started. We need to raise her to max. We need to raise everybody to max. Some people only need two drinks, which is great. Next Welcome. Order. Hey there. This is the guy. Certainly. But you can understand why I split this into two parts so that I don't lose the use of my right arm. Bloodstained Mary. Fucking hell. Hey, he's done faster. No, I'm just using it. <laughs> nope, I am just using it. As I said, I'm gonna make an absolute oh, ass of myself. What, what am I? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I just have to sit here and I just have to jerk it off. Welcome. Certainly. Also, hope you didn't expect not to get some goddamn Mario Party up in here. Yep, you have to spin the stick and it's a pain in the ass. Just like Mario Party is. That's the first three that I wanted in a slightly spin, different spin, order, but at least spin, I got the first spin, three that I wanted. That's good. Should you get some good animations, though? <laughs> Southern Cross Metropolis. These are references, by the way. <laughs> These are actually good Fist of North Star references. Hey, Mika Rom, hope you're doing well. So, this is one of the townsfolk that's actually part of the shops. We have now got extra stock in their shops, so they're now going to be stocking different items. This is why it is so hey. important to do this, because we need that stock for uh, Merchant Ken later on. Welcome. She's back. Hello. You'll notice that I am going specifically for her first. Shining shot. This is a one star, by the way. Free star gets fucking worse. I hate this. I hate this. Whatever you want to work out, folks, get a goddamn. This game here is fucking shake it. Once again, we're just going to do the same, the same free, Welcome. hopefully. Yes. The guy in the middle is super Certainly. important. He's Amori. Amori is absolutely fantastic because he is going to be the guy that we need to actually use the most in the run. He is going to give us one of the most overpowered cabaret items you'll ever goddamn see. Perfect! No, unfortunately, you can't skip these off for the first time. I wish you could. <sighs> and it should hopefully be Nervous Man again. If we don't get Nervous Man this time, that Ooh. is an issue. So, she's actually, she actually runs the restaurant at the top part of town. Uh, I am actually going to use that restaurant later. Welcome. Hey there. Good. Certainly. Five seconds. <laughs> Hundred shake rush. Came better. <laughs> Shining shot of death. <laughs> All right, this should get us up to rank D. Rank D's nuts, chat. Good. This unlocks our first. So I'm sorry. Which, we can't actually get inside the bar, so I'm leaving. I'm gonna be doing more bartender cam, but I have to leave to get this sub story because I need him to be a customer and then to push it on. You didn't turn up, you jackass. Interesting. He's supposed to be outside. Hmm. All right, I'm going back to work. <laughs> come hey. back to I'm just gonna go back to work. I don't care. Welcome. Oh wait, no, that's him. Nope, this is him. Nope, this is him. I forgot this. I, I got the wrong one.
Yes, this minigame is a goddamn Mario Party one. You remember Mario Party back in the day? Spin, Fucking spin, broke the middle spin, of your spin, fist with the spinning. This is actually going very well drunk. right now. <laughs> I love that drink. That's, that's such a good name. <laughs> that is such a good name. Yeah, Grumpy Gamer Grey. Imagine that. <laughs> that's the drink. <laughs> nice timing. Good. Say the sick minigame should be illegal. Yes. Agreed. Fully agreed. Mm. So, this guy. This is one of our sub-stories. Yeah. We can start in this chapter, but we can't finish until the next chapter. We have to go to <laughs> the Highland Village, uh, which we haven't technically gone to yet. But we can't do it when we have Jagra with us, which that's an issue. Jagra blocks off like five fucking sub-stories in this game. I hate him. I, I hate him. Hey! I, I hate him. So hopefully, we have a nervous man. Yes. Hi there. We don't. Uh, so instead, we will do. Hi there. Right. Certainly. The seed shop owner there, as I said, is very important. You'll see him in a bit. Don't worry about it. Like, for some of these, I can mix up the order a little bit. As long as I get specific ones done, hundred proof it'll be rush. I just need to get specific ones done this first round. Friendship-wise, I'm keeping track of which ones I've got up here. Yummy. There's some that I need and there's some that actually I don't need. Welcome. <sighs> You're... Certainly. Oh. Okay. Huh. You're exceedingly early. That's good. That's actually good. Uh, this is the guy that didn't turn up until rank B for me. This is good. This is actually very good. This is going to make me have to do a new, like, list of three, but this is good. Him turning up early is very good. I'm okay with this. Southern Cross Metropolis. I'm very, very good. I'm very, very happy with this. Thanks. <sighs> so this is Kyle. I want to say hi to Kyle. Kyle's gonna get us a pretty decent shirt for early on in this run. Um, yeah. <sighs> Kyle's struggling to get a job. It doesn't matter which of the options you give him here; they're all the issue. <laughs> His attitude has closed his head. So, oh. Kyle's old man's collapsed. So Kyle's gonna go help out. Kyle's a good lad. Hmm. Kyle's actually gonna be a big help to us in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back in. Hey. I wonder if that means we'll get, uh... I wonder if that means we'll get him early. Welcome. Yep. Hello. Certainly. Down for you, baby. <laughs> Three stars. Duel on the beach. I have another issue. <laughs> As I said earlier, I've got stomach pains. As I said, I'm not ruining my health over this. I'm absolutely going to pause when I go. I'm going to. Uh, downside, I need Nervous Man twice now, so he's quite far behind. Give me a second chat, I'll be right back. Get a fresh drink as well while I'm up. Excuse me.
Christ alive. Ugh. Yeah, as I said earlier, this is a 15 hour run with no break points. I am absolutely pausing considering I've got stomach problems today. My stomach is uh, not agree with that curry that I had. Alright. Carry on. I don't actually remember where I was. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Actually, I do need Vulture as well. Certainly. Okay. Yep, my stomach does not agree with that curry I had earlier. God damn. Oh. Ugh. Spin, 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 Yeah, 15 hour run with like no break segments. I don't want to, I don't want this to go on longer than it has to, but like, health comes first. I'm not ruining my health over this goddamn speed run. I am absolutely taking a break if I need to. So, Mori the seed shop owner, he's going to increase his wares later on. He's going to be super important for a good castle of substory. Welcome. We need. Vulture is also Certainly. quite useful. I believe Vulture is the scavenger shot at the bottom right of the bazaar, which is also going to be very useful for certain items for Lin's shop. Was he in the track of my Inebriation of souls. Some of these drink names are very good. <laughs> uh, I believe he's also one character that needs two Thank drinks. Kindly. Uh, yeah, kindly. Uh, yeah, I'm very behind on the nervous man. Uh, you need to max out the nervous man and the young lady. Uh, of which the young lady is maxed out. The nervous man has been done once. So that's actually an issue. Hey. Hey. You just saw me. I'm still working. I can't believe I'm saying this, but let me work hard. Welcome. Um, <sighs> yeah, both of you. So you first. Certainly. Again, it's a little bit of a different order than I would like right now, but it still works. Oh, I hate this control stick one. I really hate this control stick one. Hey. Yeah. I mean, now understand. Already drunk. You now understand why I've split this up over two parts in this run. Doing an hour of this is like you know. No thanks. I'd much rather fucking not. Welcome. Now the nice Bye. thing is, the nice thing Certainly. is, you can get to a point where obviously you only have one customer left. And it's somebody you've already uh, like actually finished up. You can do the usual uh, RGG, you know, hit the touch pad and then quit out the mini game, and it still keeps your progress of everybody else that you've done during these bits. So it's always worth moving forward rush. and seeing whether or not you get the customers that you want and need. Because again, I just need the nervous man to turn up and he's just not turning up. He's being a pain in the ass. It's just RNG whether he turns up or not. We're now friends with you, which is good. So scavenger shop now has more stuff. He gives us tires. Welcome. Which that's unfortunate. Those Certainly. tires would help us with what we need in the story next. But the materials for it are even rarer than the ones we're going to go get. I think you still have to do the, uh... I think you still have to do the stuff leading up to the, uh, the bat buggy race chip, anyway. Chip, 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 which chip, is a pain. He's too nervous? Yeah, he is. Proof he to get his backside in it. Got some alcohol for him. Yummy! Yummy! So, they now have more items in stock. Again, all of this is hype important. Now that we're rank C, however, however, this is the one that I was looking for before. We leave. As soon as we leave, we're going to be blocked off by an NPC in front of us. That's our next sub-story, which is nice. Um... Hello! Whoa! This suspicious man, I believe this is Alan. Alan is a good lad. He's going to give us a very good accessory. 
Is... Are you the one? No, you're not. Is she not here? Good. Oh, no, because this is where it... No, I, I see. This is where it would unlock in the, in the bar. Yeah. It's not here yet because the nervous man hasn't been done, which I do need to do. Hey. I guess I don't need to do it now. I could wait, I suppose. Welcome. Hey there. About time. <laughs> About time. You don't have to shake it too much, which is nice. The gyro is very sensitive in these things. Shining shot of death. It's kind of funny, even with my small hands, it actually worked out when I was practicing this to do this mini game on the Ooh, dual sense. Not bad. Because with that dual sense, uh, I can grip that with one hand, whereas this one I'm kind of just like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, howdy, oh, howdy. Ah, Mori. Hey, Mori, yes, you're important. Mori, Certainly. Yes, you're so very vitally important, my friend. Yeah, second time around Wolf is for the uh, proof rush. The sub stories that only appear from chapter six onwards, and those ones we can actually just focus on. Uh, the higher the rank you get, the more different customers you get in. We should at some point be seeing the junk shop guy actually turn up, um, and we actually Welcome. do want to get him up. Hey there. Good. Thank you. There we go. This is what we were after. So, this is just a randomize. This is obviously a sub story. Whoa! So, at this point, we're kind of obviously slogans for drinks. Um, Fatuation, initial viewing. Good. Uh, so, this guy just wants certainly. another one of his usual control right stick. With the sub stories, like, if they ask for a drink, you'll just be doing that specific type of drink for them. Apart from Lyra. Lyra's a mean drop. So is Kassan. Also, you do get the different colors on the LED light bar for these drinks as well, which is kind of cool. You don't get to see it very often. This starts his sub-story, so this is good. This is very good. So he's gonna Thanks. ask... He's basically infatuated with the young lady but that we started obviously serving drinks to earlier. So, he wants us to make up a drink for her, specifically so that he can get, you know, get to know her. That's the specific type of drink we made. Now, you have to pick the correct person, and I am very confident. Yep, that is very different. Uh, <laughs> I think in my practice, she was the bottom option. Don't give it to Jagger. Jag returning up a couple of chapters earlier than he should. Oh, to Jagra. But because of that, we've now done his sub story. In return, she has a sub story with him. I'll give her that, we say. Hey, look! Take a roll. Which, again, same one as we've been doing all the time. Hey, look. He's getting a drink for this guy. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so, this drink means that they she wants to know him better. Color of that bad boy. God what? damn. Uh, which we have to relay. Uh, if this is also randomized. We don't want to, you know, I want to kill you bastard. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> not quite <laughs> but yeah that's randomized as well uh, in practice that was the top option that's the end of that congratulations the end of that uh, I do need one more sub story to ideally turn up uh, because if I don't get that one that's the other one that doesn't start immediately so I do need to work until I get that Welcome. Oh, kids these days. Hurts these days. Certainly. Oh, hey. I 
drop my control. I bet it's gonna need to start sub story number fifty-five. Suplex drop. Fifty-five. How many mini games done, chat? Appreciate it. Uh, one of the longest chapters for all sub stories is gonna be the next chapter, by the way, because we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Welcome. Hey. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Certainly. And all right. I don't have a good peripheral controller here. I hate this song of the passion. I, I really hate this song of the passion. It's funny, I actually kind of like the, the shaking one because it's really easy to do. Inebriation of souls. You don't. I really need this old man to turn up. He might be the one that will turn up for me until, um... Until, uh... Rank B. Welcome. Hi, Max Bonds. Hey. hey there. So, because everybody here we've done, I'm gonna exit the minigame. I'm gonna, just gonna leave. Call it a day. I could hey. leave him until next chapter. Um... Actually, no, because it takes too long. Welcome. Perfect. Yeah. Alan. Um, yes. Uh, Alan, my dude. Certainly. Alan, my dude. He's the guy we want to see. Or one of them. There's someone else. He's one of the guys I want to see. What a good lad. Alan, once again, as we said earlier, he's going to give us access to the things that despawns enemies. Shining shot of death. Alan's a good lad. We like Alan in these parts. We'll serve many goddamn drink he wants. It's frankly a really easy one. Mm, not bad. Bad. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Alan's gonna get into a bit of trouble with some enemies. We're gonna deal with them. Surprise. <laughs> oh, there they are. I don't know this guy's eyes from afar glow green, but they do. <laughs> Probably guess. Make very short work of these guys. <laughs> I could have just used my second star against these guys. Oops. God. Come now. Thank you. Alright. So that should be. I believe that's the end of Allen's. Uh, Alan will now start to come back as a regular customer. Um, uh, this is good. When we get Alan... Yes, when you get yes. regular customers in this that aren't tied to sub-stories, they usually give you a reward. You saw I got, like, the one-star incense earlier. <laughs> Alan's is the accessory that gets rid of enemy spawns. That's number 54! I definitely still need to do number 55. I have not gotten him to turn up yet. That's an issue. That's is a big issue. Because number 55 is another one of those that asks us to get something very specific from the wasteland. I need that to turn Welcome. up like, relatively Hello. soon. Rob is also somebody we want to Certainly. start to raise up, if possible. Rob is not a sub-story, but Rob is also another shot that we want to make use of. Oh. You can understand why I've split this into two. Basically, the the goal of number of like trip number one here, this is to get friendships up, to get shops to have their full stock for Merchant Ken, and also later on the run. You are already cabaret. drunk. I wish I was. And also to start off the sub stories that kick off over two chapters, of which we're missing one of them. Thanks a bundle. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. And obviously, anytime Alan turns up, we will be serving drinks to Alan because Alan will get us obviously that access. Welcome. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's a free star, by the way. Certainly. This is the guy. This is absolutely the guy we wanted. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Beautiful. All right, we're done. We're done with round one. Please. <laughs> We're done in round one. That is absolutely the end of round one. Good. Because we've done 58. Uh, we started 58, done 57, done 54, 
done 56. Um, yep, that's good. And we start at uh, 55 and 50. Uria, eternal. Good. Plus his hand is dying, I know. Please help me. So, the whole point of this sub-story... He's lost someone dear to him. They left him a cassette tape. Uh, he has no way of playing it. We got to go out to the wasteland, get that cassette, and then bring it back. And that's going to be the trigger for the start of the second round of Bartender Ken. Hmm. That's why I needed this guy now. That's good. That's perfect. We're, hmm. we're done with Bartender Ken round one. Second round's going to go a lot quicker. Not easier, but quicker. I'm out. Peace. Fantastic. All right. So at this point, we now go north. There is a sub-story that is a real pain in the ass when it comes to any percent. And it is constantly in our way a couple of times. And that is no Hokuto Shinken for you. This one. Obviously, for all sub-stories, we're going to do it now. What? So, yes, they are actually talking about Ken. And word is getting around that Ken is exploding people. What a fucking surprise. Hey. So, they're going to try to oh. teach Ken how to deal with things with words instead of violence. This is Fist of the North Star. You can tell how this is going to go. Hey. But, yes, this is the No Hook to Ken Committee. <laughs> yes. No Hook to Shinken. Um... So. We just walk off. <laughs> they want to protect people as well, but here come some villains, and this guy's this guy's going to be all like, "Hey, try using your words. I'll show you how it's done." And we're going to go up and like be all like, "I don't do that." Doesn't matter what we answer to anything. I actually think there is a choice here, but we're just like we're going to use Hokuto Shinken. These guys like, "Don't, don't kill the guy." Peaceful resolve. Um, At which point this happens. What? Surprise. Oh. Mr. Chen. At which point we just like, ah, I'm gonna kill you instead. Good. There's actually Okay. There is actually a weird kind of irony to this substory of like, you know, you're not allowed to kill anybody. Uh this is a multiple free parter. We're going to be killing everybody. Violence is good in this world, yes. <laughs> so the nice thing is, one of those sub-stories that we started in Bartender Ken has now moved up above us towards the clinic. That is also why we're going to do this one. I see a fight spawn here. I just saw a fight spawn here. I, ju I just saw it turning this corner. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in here to despawn you. Goodbye. Next ones are going to be an issue for a couple of chapters. <laughs> but then they're not going to be an issue ever again. Uh, but you can see on my mini-map there is the exclamation mark. Again, Hokuto no Ken is very good. Or, like, Fist of Northside is very good with, uh... Oh, sorry, Marcus. So this is yeah, Kyle. Yeah. His dad's not doing great. So he's taking our advice to heart. And he's going to go do something about it. And we're off. Uh, and then this should be... Cabba, 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 ray, but we're not going to do it. I don't think I actually want to go in there just yet because that carries on the story. We have to go fight Ray. So instead, what we do is we go over to this part of town. Ask everybody here because there should be. Ow! Somewhere around here. Yep. Ah, bounty target. All the way down there in the corner. Now, this is the pain of the ass bounty one. Because this one is only available at night in this top corner. The amount of times we come back up here at night in this top corner is about twice. You'd now understand why I've been saving my seven stuff. It wasn't actually for Ray, it was for these guys, funnily enough. So, we're going to be trying to get our 7 star back for Ray for after this fight. Which they should be all be, like, instantly. If I can see that. Right. We need that perfect moment. It's not it. Ideally, I would get, you know, that perfect moment, because then I can kill the guy with a large HP bar. The faster, the better. I can deal with everybody as much faster as I can get. Seriously, that wasn't it. That's it. 
So again, little enemies, down slap. Demolishes them instantly. Should we grab our full seven for after this? I don't want to hit him with it, but it can stun him so that I can just do the drop kick on him. Super important, I get the drop kick draw. Obviously, I lose this, so I'm just going to back into this. And then, obviously, hello. Miss and do this. It's so vitally important you get that perfect moment so that you can get your full seven replenished. I need that for Ray. Now, the nice thing about this bouncy hunter in particular, there's like three of them. This is going to teleport us back to the bottom left part of the map. At which point we're going to go get the other sub stories that have unlocked in this chapter. How's it going so far? Okay. Not super great, but okay. So that's this bounty mission done. Another 200,000. Iska's gonna go away. This is all one big interconnected story that's gonna like lead to like a resolution. Hi, Jagra. Hmm. So we're now learning the very first part yeah. about like the Ripper, I think his name is. And somebody who basically dismembers people. Obviously a bit darker in this game, because it's Fist of the North Star and not, you know, Yakuza. Even though those games are dark themselves. Again, as I said earlier, you'll see with the bounty list, there is very obviously one important person and one not so important you person. Already dead. That, that's a bit rough, Ken. All right. Yes. Hey, yes. Hey, yes. So, fun yeah. fact: this bounty can't be done until the next chapter. <laughs> this bounty is out in the wasteland. You cannot go to the wasteland at night, and we don't go back to the daytime until the next chapter. So, that's it for the Bounty Hunter stuff for now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head out the gate this way. This is the point. Am I supposed to... No, 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 this was right. Uh, we go to this guy. This guy's a sub-story. I was thinking about home, but no, I don't need to go home. This is fine. Okay, this is fine. So, this guy wants to see his love. Uh, we need to go speak to Kasana, and this is the time where I found out about this jackass. So if we go down this way, remember in the next chapter we need five steel wire and two ancient rubber, and the steel wire is very RNG to get while in the buggy. If I give you two of my 22 one-star incense, there's five steel wire. I wish in the five years of running this game that I knew that fucker existed. He would have helped a lot. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at the game. It can all fuck off. Anyway, you'll see the bounty hunter marker is here. We have to speak to this guy to get told that Zamza is outside of the city, and that's the reason why we can't get them into the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we obviously do sub story. This is Carl. You'll see the car's actually working. There you go. Good on him. Good luck, Carl. And now you'll see we're going to wrap around to the casino. Now you can understand why I'm doing this in this order. Like, all of these are just wrapping around kind of nicely. There's our next sub-story. This little kid's being bullied by this guy. We're going to help him. <laughs> the hell? So we have one issue. The substory that we started outside of the gate requires us to speak to Kasana. Now, there are only, and this might surprise you, five times that we can speak to Kasana when she is not story locked in this game. That's gonna cause an issue. This is part two of No Using Hokuto Shinken. Yeah. So, we're supposed to use our words. It doesn't matter what we say. Now let's talk this out. Yeah. Let's be civil. This man is not civil. Kenshiro help us. We're gonna explode the guy. <laughs> you haven't figured out by this sub story yet. Uh, violence is the answer. <laughs> violence very much the answer. <laughs> In the Fist of the North Star world, sometimes you got blood man's head on. Hey. We get Eden's remedy. That is a very good healing item. That is a very, very good healing item. 
So we appreciate that. But what I was saying before this is that this is one of the only times where we can go and speak to Kisana to carry on that sub-story that we started. So we're going to go do that right now because we can just go up and to the right to Exandris. So now you can hopefully see why I did the routing of the sub-stories in this chapter in this way because they wrap around on themselves. That's our 10th sub-story, folks. Only 70 more to go. We'll be done in a matter of minutes, I'm sure. Oh, cool shit. <laughs> Up we go. Up the bloody stairs. <laughs> Up the bloody stairs. <sighs> I mean, we're also not the only people that can blow people up with, you know, Koto Shinken or similar powers. A lot of people explode in... A lot of people explode in this series. You can see this. We, no. We're asking about the woman that the man's asked us to find. Hmm. And then, that's the end of the chapter. That's all we can do sub story wise in this chapter. Everything else is locked until either daytime or to a place we haven't been yet. So, with that, we finish off the chapter. We go fight good old Ray. God, I hate stairs in this game, but I haven't mentioned that. <laughs> I haven't mentioned how much I fucking hate stairs. Stairs are so slow. Yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I was actually supposed to go to Cabaret uh. first time around, because we get taken out of Cabaret, and then we have to go back in for Lyra. I forgot. I'm an idiot. I am Lyra. Proprietress of this humble listen establishment. Listen to my notes, chat. Pleasure to meet you. Listen to my notes, chat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can get seduction. It's not actually as good as you would think it would be. Listen to my notes, chat. Still fine, but listen to my notes, chat. <laughs> Got down notes. Ow. Begin the duel. So this this fight is like really weird. You see a really long mid-fight QZ like twice if you do it wrong. I see what PS Car does, so I'm fairly confident this cattle skips one of them. I've skipped one of them in the past. I can't remember how the fuck I did that. <laughs> Here I come. Mm. Nanto Sutoki. This is what I'm gonna do. I have seven star, I'm gonna use it immediately. I should probably wait until second half in case I mess something up. But run up, do this. Full stun, mostly. Oh, are you actually caught in that? That sucks. I wanna get one drop kick off and then one secret move. You got. Come on. Don't think this will be enough damage. See. He's ready to be a one HP, basically. What he said. He's getting up. <laughs> He's getting up and doing it again. Yup. <laughs> yup. That's why you need to let him on 1 HP. Hey, let's do it again. Not sure if this ass is bravery or insanity or a mixture of both that I'm here for. All the above. <laughs> All the above. Thank you, Tony D. Trouble for 37 months. Now he's done. 
Actually, I need to kick him at one up the ass. I don't know why, but you have to kick him at one up the ass. I don't know why, but that's why you want to have him on one HP. Anyway. seen that bright before jesus christ <laughs> so now we're gonna spoil a giant plot point of fist of the north star in about two minutes so we learn about ray we learn about ray we learn about why ray is doing the things that ray is doing uh, but we also learn that ray has a sister called Irie, uh, and Irie has uh, like there temporarily no lost her vision after this man truly you know, if you remember the back to the story from Yakuza zero a bit more harrowing than that but the same kind of thing I am Lady Yuri's blood. Because he it's lost true. to a non -to he, it, They now believe me. Surprise. But, but, Surprise. I, <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Perhaps you really. It, am I the savior of the apocalypse? I guess so. <sighs> I almost got half a million already. Only. Shit tons more left. It's fine. What? Alright, good. Oh, my sucker's an ad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, I mean, let's say we're under the casino for the sub story. I'm gonna do just that. Uh, but yeah, as you will see, uh, we're actually gonna heal Irie. Uh, Looks like and then she's she gonna be able to been... see again. Which. <laughs> Yeah, uh, th this takes a while in the Fist of the oh, North Star right. source material and is, you know, what is of it, great I... importance. But in the video game, we're going to finish Wait, this in like two minutes. What? You did this. You goddamn. I... It's one big lead up to the Jaggy fight later on. Yeah, we're just going to, you know. In the very big hands. It's gonna just touch the side of red and just fix her heat, fix her eyesight, as you do. It's a thing Hokuto Shinken can do. The Mangroth rule. We, we, we do bullshit magic powers, make people's heads explode, or heal them in this case. It's still a little hazy. I can take you to my brother Toki, he'll do a better job. <laughs> He uses his hands to heal. I use mine to blow people up. Alright, Flux is actually okay, if I remember I rightly. I think I used Flux for like my initial first few speedruns of this game. Kenshiro, you truly are a wonderful human being. Am I? It's time for me to fulfill <laughs> my end. Am I? You make people good bang. Then tell. I actually don't remember this sub story that I'm supposed to be going to the casino for. Oh yes, I do. It's uh, it's the person we spoke to Kasana about, I believe. <laughs> I believe. You are something else, my dude. You fought off Kyoto. It's anyway. Jaguar's now super impressed with us. We're gonna go out drinking, except we're not. It's off, Jaguar. I'll serve you a drink as of this chapter. So let's but... get wasted. Drinks are on me. Well, Jagra, he's found a friend. What? This is a post-apocalyptic wasteland, remember? He does have we a good a party point. Like... He does have a good point. He does have a very good point, to be fair. Alright, so. This is the point where we're supposed hey. to go home and hmm. uh, find the vase. But we're, uh, we're not going to do that. So this is the introduction to, or the start of the long introduction to Cabaret, uh. aka Manager Ken. Hope you're ready, because May are gonna be, we are gonna be doing a lot of Manager Ken in this run. We are talking like six hours worth. It's going to take a long fucking time. There's the door. <laughs> Get me out of here now. <laughs> now I wouldn't argue with them either. I'm just saying they are. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? Oh, that's a bad spawn point. Should be fine. Let's do this again. This is so much I'm walking to people, but you'll see there is a substory marker over here. Watch these people. Don't get hit by that fight spawn. Hey. What? 
Hey, this dude is uh, just slacking off. Hmm. We're asking about the woman who the person outside the gate at the bottom was asking for. Oh, I needed to know. Anyway. We are now going to go and start another multi-part substory by cutting through to the bazaar this direction. Uh, this is one we have to avoid in any percent, and I always forget to avoid this one in any percent, but I don't have to avoid it now. Kyle? Which is good. Uh, because it is this kid right here. This is Minato. Uh, Minato here is going to play hide and seek. He's a bit jealous because he doesn't have a he doesn't have a dad. Because, you know, the hot tuna can <laughs> things. His dad probably exploded at some point. We are going to have to basically find him. We have to play hide and seek with the kid. <laughs> so, we say yes again. He's going to go hide. But we're not going to go find him. Now, we're actually going to go over here and specifically walk into this one that I keep walking into in any percent as well. This is a specific substory when Ray is around, which means we have to do it now. We could also do this in premium adventure, but if I do it now, you'll understand why I'm doing this now. This all matches up quite well in terms of like substories that are available and where we're going to be going with this. So these two kids are going to head off to the junk shop in a minute. Not the junk shop that's next to us. What? Not the junk Excuse shop me. that's the actual junk um. shop. But a different junk shop that's down to the bottom right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> it's the junk district, not the junk shop. Alright? The difference. Yeah. There is actually a difference. Hello. Weird. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Once we are done with the intro from this sub story, yeah, we're going to start no. the third and the final <sighs> part of the No Hokuto Shinken for You committee. Because they're literally right next to us, actually. Surprisingly enough. Like, actually, surprisingly yeah. enough, they're literally right next to us. I get the right angle for this because you can actually miss them a little bit. It's a bit stupid, but yeah, you can. But the third Hokuto Shinken, or third no Hokuto Shinken, is right behind us. It is over here. The trigger bit for this is like a little weird. It's like either out here. Yeah, it's like it's like not fully out here, but it's like kind of here. It doesn't go like all the way. You can miss it. So the guy is in trouble. We're supposed to go help him. Give me, like, two chapters, my dude. Give <laughs> me, like, three chapters, actually. You might be wondering, why am I going up the gates? Like, why am I actually going up the gate? This is really weird. You don't come up here for anything. But actually, there he is! The kid! Oh. Playing hide and seek! There he is! He basically says something along the lines of, like, he goes up to, like, a really high point in the city. So we just go up there and we find him. He turned into a man! <laughs> Amazing growth on these people in this game. Uh, with this, we can now go outside to the gate to this guy and tell him that, uh, about, obviously, the person that we have been looking for for him. You'll also notice as we come out here, there's uh, unscrupulous people. Uh, the person that he was looking after is basically gone. Uh, someone's being, you know, harassed next to him. And even though this man is, like, on his last dying legs, he's like, nah, I'm going to help out. But of course, thankfully, you know, we're here. So I'm just going to explode the guy. Simple premise. Not a fist the North Star sub story is going to end up with the phrase, I'm just going to explode the guy. Explode the guy. And because of that, you can answer whichever here. You can answer if she's alive or if she's passed on. Uh, it's a little quicker to just say that she is still alive. Fortunately, she is not, but we are going to have them buried together. And with that, 
This puts us in prime real estate and location. What are you doing tomorrow? I think I'm going to go over to my house to go do the story incorrect. Guess who's back? See you, kid. I didn't see you, kid. Oh, no. yeah. We're going to do it again. Thankfully, he doesn't actually go too far, which is great. And now we get to that sub story. This is the bane huh. of fist ass. Hey, this sub story right no. fucking here. Uh, this is the one. No. If you've played this game, yeah. you know which one this one is. This is the one. This is the painful one. What? This is the grind. Hmm. So this lady with a very, very nice looking face. She's being harassed by these two thugs. At which point, Ken's gonna do his Ken thing. And unfortunately, Ken's a bit of a fucking idiot. For some reason, hits her as well. And the vase breaks. I think I've called it a vase and a vase in this so far. <laughs> Pissing everybody off. Yes. So with the tomato now on the floor, this guy runs up and says that hey. the tomato was worth a lot of money. No. Which means we need to find a job. What? What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not this fucking lady. Yep. She is the one that's yes. going to cause this run to be about 15 hours. Yes. I don't want to walk this way. We stop, Ken. Got to go the other way. Sub stories the other way, mate. Yeah, we are supposed to be able to make the 100 million. That is what Cabaret is for. But first, bad fight spawn. I can despawn with a save point. Thanks, fella. I'm going to run down here. Because as we get over to this bit, my danger sense is tingling. Ha! He's up there. Ah. Now you can understand why I do this in this order, because now we get Minato as well. Minato's next part is actually going to be him disappearing because there's going to be some fogs. Surprise, every substory ends in punching people. Not everyone, but most of them. Even our cabaret hostesses are going to end up with us punching people. I could totally go get Toki's Destiny Salisman at this point. Hmm. Not a bad thought, actually. Too late now, but that's really not a bad thought. I then have Toki for the Thouser. Hmm. That's not a bad thought in the fucking slightest. I like that. Anyway, you might think of going over to the cabaret. I'm not. Remember, there are only five different times I'm going to speak to Kisana. This is one of them. I'm going to go speak to Kisana because she has a sub story in this chapter. Doogie Patrol. Anyway, the 33 months of the fuck you, Jeffrey Bezos. Appreciate it. I'm doing well tonight. She's now testing sponsored subs. Testing on such channels, of course, which means none of us are ever going to see this. What the hell? What the hell does sponsored subs even mean? Like. So. Some thugs have uh -huh. basically stolen yeah. some stuff. Yes. People broke into the place. Um. I mean, Jagra's looking around for the stuff. And Kisana's lost something important. Fun fact, because Correct. the fact that Kisana is only available five times, we're not going to be finishing this sub-story until the last chapter of the fucking game. But I have to start it now, otherwise we can't do the next bit of it in, I think, the three chapters from now? Because we just don't go up to the top left part of the city at all. Like, we go up there like three times. Well, more if you count the arcade machines, but that's... Uh, a different kettle of fish that we'll uh, get into when we get into it. Why? Cabaret first. Cabaret first, and then a fucking leave. Ah, yes, because I need the, I need that now, don't I? Yep, I need it for the next chapter. Correct. So that means a company pays part of a sub, so right now Amazon Games pays 50% of 1,500 subs. What? 
I think I'm too tired to fully understand those words, but I don't like it. The hell? I don't like it at all. Yeah, if you want to sponsor me to do more dumb shit like this, I'm never doing this again after today, then please consider subscribing to the channel. The hell? <laughs> I will do other dumb stuff instead. Not this. This dies today. It's been weighing over my mind for two fucking years. So you're really doing it. You never had her food wise. Damn yeah, right. Like this Thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate it. Perfect. That's my full seven. What if I miss blood? I'm not done with you. Because I want this. Oh, what the fuck? And that was a good double. Come on, man. Hey, anyway, full seven. That's good. Do so uh, sub yes. only pay half, they pay 50% extra, so 150% per sub. That's a good question. I don't know. Hey, Lord Mouse, hope you're doing well. Actually, Lord Mouse, I was actually going to get in contact with you at some point. Um, Because I know we did zero, uh, Yaks Zero Bingo back in the day. Um, Would that be easily accessible for me to do at some point? I was actually I was thinking about that earlier when I couldn't fucking sleep ahead of this and was like, man, I'd like to do fun stuff instead, like Yakuza Zero Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Not this fucking shite. That's not the hundred million, by the way. The hundred million is a hidden substory. We have to pay off the hundred million. We can't do all substories without paying it off, sadly. Hey, I'm going this way. Uh, you'll see the substory marker down here. This is the last part of the Hokuto Shinken committee. All good here. And as you'll see. There's these guys harassing them, and the guy got knocked out. We're gonna go explode them. Even this guy is about to be just go blow them up. Right. Uh, I was just saying, is there, you know how we did uh, Yakuza Zero Bingo back in the day? I was gonna say, is that easily accessible for me to do? Because I'd like to do that again at some point. I had that thought whilst I was, you know, what? prepping for this shit. I don't know how I'm this energetic. I've only had three hours sleep. I've been awake for like eight hours at this point. Hello, everybody. I would again. Not you. Okay, didn't work. I didn't get my timing. Because uh, I wanted to. This guy will always be a hit boot, so I don't want to do perfect challenge on that guy. Uh, but I didn't get my perfect challenge from everybody else, so I wouldn't have got full seven. I wanted to come out of this a full seven, but that's fine. <laughs> Basically from scratch, fair. <laughs> fair. Have I done bingo speedruns? I haven't actually done Yaxa Zero Bingo. When was the last time we did it, Lord Mouse? It was like two years ago? Three years ago? That's a long time ago. Uh, me and Lord Mouse basically set up uh, Yaxa Zero Bingo like a good couple of years ago. Um, it's like premium adventure stuff. It's based mostly on the completion list because it was easier to, you know, keep track of that stuff. I think we could easily, like, come up with a good couple of, like, other, like, objectives as well. Like, you know, getting certain types of, like, food items and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think we've done it in a good couple of years. Anyway, we get pen. 15 sub-stories, chat. I'm pretty fast. So this is the reason why we really, really wanted to do... Uh, I should have gone the other pathway with this works. Uh, this is why we wanted to do the Bartender Ken stuff first and why we wanted the Seed Shop. Uh, to be one of the first few friendships uh, that we make. Because there is a specific item that I need to get for a substory in the I next chapter. Good luck on the fist task. Thank you, Flo, for the 31 months. Appreciate it. Hey, cold ones were good fun. Welcome. Thought I'd like some supreme whiskey. Aye. Come back for more whiskey later on. Uh, I should probably actually, like, I should probably route in some whiskey here so I can get faster 7 star. But even though the supreme whiskey doesn't give me full. Um... Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Hold up. Whoa. Went the wrong way, chat. Uh, I need to go this way. I need to run into this guy. 
least. It's time for shoulder pads, shoulder pride. What? So this guy is dealing with a shoulder pad thief, and uh, the nice little Ken's outfit has some uh, pretty big shoulder pads on them. Uh, we will speak to you again. <sighs> yes. Sounds like you're in trouble. Good shoulder pads go to good people, they always say. Who says that? No one says that. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> they have games yeah. to search. Also easy for them for them to say something locally. Yeah, fair. Arrow fingers coming up. Yep. <laughs> know that. Know that. Deal. So they're just going to stand here with a shoulder pad. Just waiting for the shoulder pad killer to turn up. <gasps> yes. Shoulder seduction, chat. Just gonna stand here. <laughs> they sent off new recurring subs first month only. Gifted subs up to 100 per user. First 1500 subs only ends. Is that November? That, I assume that's November, not tomorrow. <laughs> that's a, I, I assume that's not just, yeah, ends tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> Whenever I see Twitch, like, do stuff, I just assume it's, like, American date. Yeah. Uh, they have been in my emails a lot yes. this summer. I mean, a fucking lot. Ooh. Which is hilarious because uh, yes, they definitely have not offered me as much as they did two years ago. And my CCB has grown three times since then. <laughs> all the fucking shoulder pads on the floor. <laughs> all the fucking shoulder pads on the floor. Hmm. Do you think this will actually get the guy to come over here? Well... Would you believe? <laughs> Would you believe? Just sitting down at this point. And now we're asleep. It actually works. I'm not even kidding. It does actually work. On a gift us per user? Fair. It's him. The shoulder killer. What? Ooh. I'm down the guys wearing high class shoulder pads. He's like, you should come work for me. But, you know, for free. And I'll stab you as payment. Which we're not going to allow that. So we're going to stab this guy instead. Don't fuck with a shoulder pad craftsman chat. Brilliant life lesson here. Bang! Hey. He's pretty weak. Sarge, your perfect channel is going to make very short work of everybody. That's why I did the upgrade. <laughs> I think you can fully understand why I did that upgrade now. Yes. <laughs> hey, we get Craftsman's Plate EX, which usually you would think they'd be pretty good for now. They're okay. Uh, we're going to get better shoulder pads the, in the next 10 minutes, so I'm not going to bother putting those on. Good shoulder pads go to good people. Good for you. Good for me. And as you can probably see on the minimap, we are next to... Sub story. This is the twins that we met with Ray. Oh or at least, should be, but they're not here. Ugh. Poor kids got taken away by those thugs. <sighs> Which, you know, we would go and help, but... I'd go sleep. I'm gonna go to bed. Do that in real life. So, we're gonna head home. On the way home, we're going to start the next sub-story. The third and final in the Hide and Seek Minato sub-story. Because I noticed that he's actually not here right now. Uh, but this lady is. Uh, that would be because this is Minato's mother. Minato has gone very much missing. Which again, hey. you'll have to wait till the morning for me to sort that out. No. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. So, Minato's actually, unfortunately, uh, 
away from us right now. If you're wondering why I'm not going for that sub story, it's because we have to go back to see Kasana after this bit, because we change it to daytime, so I'm going to change it to daytime. Go back up, grab that sub story, go back up, come back down. Use my bed. <laughs> so yeah, you raise up story, and then we are gonna unlock a good mini game. But unfortunately, we're not gonna do it in the run, which sucks. I'm gonna go and unlock Doctor Ken. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the introduction to the next big pain in the fucking Excuse ass. Excuse me. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. <gasps> You've hurt me enough. Ken! This is Len. Len is helping out with this shop. Len sucks. Lynn's awful. Lynn's very RNG. This is the start of Merchant Ken. Lynn's actually, if I'm going to be honest, in terms of like the three kind of big ones, Bartender Ken is like actually not too bad, but yeah. Lynn's shop isn't the worst. She's not as bad as Cavalry, which is just going to get monotonous. Um, Lynn's shop is heavily RNG. Lynn is going to ask us for a couple of yes. items. When we come and bring them back, that's going to fill in a bar. Kind of like how Haraka's quests work. Yeah. I have yeah. one point in the run later on at the end that is just literally in my notes, deal with this. However, Lynn's talisman fate is actually going to be a massive boon. She is going to save my ass for me. Lynn's talisman's actually good. That's the first of four sub-stories for Lynn. And one with Lin and Bat. And now you can see I can just go this way and go to this sub story. This is the this is the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Lin does have Haraka's Japanese voice actress. Fugumi Ori. Eh? <clears throat> and then after this it should be go to Kasana, I believe. What? This is the important bit, isn't it? Yeah. So once we're done with this bit, uh, we're going to be story <laughs> uh, Because we're going to have Jaguar with us. So we're not going to be able to do any more sub-stories for a little while. There's a good couple more in this chapter that do unlock, but we're not going to be able to do them just yet. And chapter 7 is also one big set piece, so we're also not going to be able to do any sub-stories there. <gasps> the nice that this guy has a purple HP bar. We're starting to get stronger enemies. Hey, my ass absolutely demolished. Oh, thanks for the reheal. That's not too bad. Can you break Max? Like, that's actually not too bad because that wouldn't have given me seven anyway. Oh, my God, the timing is terrible. I think at this point in any percent, we're only like level 16. So, be a good couple of levels ahead. Whoa. Buddy. <laughs> we, we dealt you, friends. Your turn. Hey. Your <gasps> uncle, right? So yeah, these guys, or like this guy is like their quotation marks, uncle. The hell? Uh, who rightfully took them in and, uh, nope. He's trying to sell them off, hey, if huh? you couldn't guess. Unfortunately, here's Ray with the kids. Yeah. Hey. What? Yeah, yeah, there's Ray says the kids don't need to see this. <laughs> They've been through a very traumatic experience already. Are you done? The hell? Are you done? Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> The 
nice, he doesn't actually have that much of an HP bar. I missed my juggle. I'm gonna get the juggle so I could have just done that. That was perfect, which is a shame, because he's the only enemy, so I can't get the full seven. But yeah, that's the end of that guy. It's not the end of the sub story. They've gone back to the store at the bottom right part of the map, which is where we're going to be going after this bit. Take a look. I should consider. Welcome. You are not full yet. That's a little worrying. I'm going to get a couple of healing items for the trip ahead. Now, there is a sub story on the left here. Well, it actually doesn't turn until chapter 8. I was wrong. Yeah, I forgot. Hello, oh, nice. Thank you very much for the tier 1 for a month. I appreciate it. You're already done. I wish I was. I wish I was. I am not. I was. I hate stairs in this fucking video game. I would like to know how PS Color feels about stairs after playing this video game. <laughs> Fairly certain if you play this game you get a, he a severe hatred of stairs. <laughs> Just fucking stairs in this game suck ass. But yeah, we're now this is now the point where we can't speak to Ksana because we're locked in the story. You can after this Let bit, but Ksana now basically shows us Wait the me, entrance into way, Sphere City. Uh, and how this door doesn't open. Spoilers, it's gonna open at the end of the game. But essentially, yeah, a little bit of backstory. Like, hey, look, there's two convenient yeah. things like hourglasses on the sides of the door. I wonder whether or not that's signifying when it opens. She's One, sleeping. yes, it is. Two, somebody can open the door. The door is powered by, would you believe it? Electricity. Woo. <laughs> this is awful. Yeah, it is. It's worse than Laddishin, which is saying a lot. I like Laddishin, but I don't like Laddishin's completion. Yeah, if this was the Asian version, it would require 100% and fuck that. I don't know why they changed it to 50% in, like, the Western release, but oh my god, I'm so glad they did. But even then, you still have to do all of the Destiny Talismans. Anyway, Xana, who has last seen her father go inside a Sphere City, she doesn't know where he is. Spoilers, he's watching us right now. He's actually not in Sphere City, he's above Sphere City. That sounds a bit creepy. It is. <clears throat> you have to go deal with him. My I'm gonna get clarity. I don't remember what clarity does, therefore it must hey! not be that good of a talent. So this is where you've been. Shut up, Jagra. Uh, everything. Something wrong with everything. <laughs> yeah. So we gotta go. We gotta go to the cursed village. Jagra doesn't want to go to the cursed village. So apparently, there's ghosts there, and Jagra is afraid of ghosts. <laughs> We gotta go to the Cursed Village, and this is gonna whoa, start whoa, whoa. off Hold a Don't be long story chain of back and forth fetch quests. Well, I sure as shit ain't going. You wanna die? Then go by yourself. He's coming with us. <clears throat> he doesn't have a say in the matter. Friend? Well, if this was any percent, we'd only be about an hour and a half go. away from the end. We are so very, very far away from the end. I'm really hoping my 15 hour estimate is a high ball. God, I'm hoping it's a high ball. I really hope it is. Anyway, this is unfortunate because this is one of do, uh, the one of uh, Fist of North Star Wars Paradise's best editions. This is Dr. Ken. Unfortunately, Dr. Ken does not make an appearance in this speed run. It's a shame, because there is an item we need yeah. on Dr. Ken, but we can get it quite literally faster in two other places. Actually, that's technically a lie. 
Actually, no, that's not a lie. We just buy it, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, no Dr. Ken. I tried routing in Dr. Ken, but once we start leveling friends in the Bartender Ken minigame at the start, we can buy the thing that we need in Dr. Ken. So there's no point in doing it, sadly. Mm. Dr. Ken is a rhythm minigame. It is very good. It is very fun. Turn it because it's cool. I technically could, but I don't want to extend my time playing this game, if I'm being honest. Just in case that 15 hour estimate is right. But you do, however, hear, get to hear this game's amazing rendition of yeah. Ode to Joy. You are currently hearing it right now. I'll shut up so you can hear when the chorus kicks in because, oh my god, I don't know what they did, but kind of down. And here we go. I don't know who decided to add rap lyrics to Ode to Joy. I don't know who decided to add the words motherfuckers to Ode to yeah. Joy, but you know what? I can get behind it. Oh? Okay, it's a ton of stupidity, God. So, this is basically a healing clinic yes. that uses music to heal. Uh, but unfortunately, Ken uses his fists. It's a really good minigame. I wish I could do it. I should probably just fucking do it. <laughs> I love this minigame. Yeah. We, we are gonna lose like... A minute and a half to this if I do it. I should probably just do it. It's 50 hour speed run anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that sub story. Three sub stories. I do appreciate that. So. We now head down to Respite Alley. Uh, which is this one right here. Because this is the last bit of Minato. Nay. And go save him. No. These what? thugs think that he was trying to steal food when he was just playing hide and seek. Poor kid. <laughs> anyway, here I am. I think you know what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise, I'm about to explode them all. We get perfect channeling, so I can just seven. <laughs> Oh, I can't get my perfect channeling correct. There's the perfect channel. At this point is too late though. <sighs> my perfect channel timing needs to get better. It needs to get much better. Hey, it comes mother. Everything works itself out. And then everything at this point is going to be... Ah, that bizarre yeah. bell is phenomenal, by the way. That reduces the price of all items in the bazaar. The bazaar bell is very good. I'm going to be using that a lot. How about this? We go this way. So at this point, we now need to go... Do the actual story, which is going to lock us out from doing sub-stories for the, the entirety of this chapter and the next chapter, because it's a big set piece. But there is one more sub-story we can finish off, and we want to finish this off before Ray buggers off, uh, because it is the last part of the Ray sub-story with the kids who are just oh, on the other side of these jackasses. I am stunned I've not gone into a random fight spawn so far. No. Huh? Nice, yeah. happy end. <laughs> because we helped him out, Ray is going to give us a gift of... Wait for it. We did to this earlier. This fight spawns here in five. Again, that GDQ hotfix run of five with my part alone, those fight spawns were evil. Aggressive. We get Ray's color plates. And they're actually really good. We're going to be using them for the rest of the run. Like, actually. Yeah. Right, we're just actually going to be using them for, the, like, the entirety of the rest of this run. Uh, there are better ones out there, but, like, 20 sub-stories, chat, 60 to go. 
But for now... Yep. More health I lose, the stronger I become. I'm putting the Bizarre Bell on for later. Oh, Jagra. Hey. Hmm. No. So, we don't have any all-terrain vehicles, so Good. we need to go get the wheels for it. Yeah. Good. Now, here's the thing. I do have the wheels. I actually do have a set of wheels that would work perfectly. Uh, unfortunately, the, I, the materials we need for them, we can't get them yet. So, we still have to do this bit. My monkey will. <sighs> Get used to this. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this. We're gonna be getting a couple of materials on the way through. Again, we do need the steel wire, but we've got all the steel wire we need. But there's other materials I need for the bit after this bit. Uh, so I need to go grab a couple of things along the way. Wow, look at that steel wire. Look. Whoa, hello. Oh, is there a fight spawns around me? No. I'm gonna get into a fight. They despawned off the face of the planet. Good. Uh, the stuff that we really want to grab is gonna be when we get to the bridge. But we are also on the way. We're gonna do one other very important thing. I need the red one. That is one of the things I need. Uh, we are going to very specifically drive into this. Uh, this is the hitch a ride point for this part. Uh, we want to unlock this for later. Thankfully, we can do it when we're with Jagra. I could replenish my fuel if I want to here, but I don't need to at the moment. You'll understand why we're doing this in, I think, two chapters time. I think that's when we start it. It's either two or three chapters. I think it might be three because of the Canyon Village stuff. So, you know the drill. We are looking for specifically the Ancient Rubber. We do actually need two of those to be picked up in this part. If we don't get them, that is going to be an issue. But I also need that. I need plastic. And that. Silver chunk's going to be useful later. Very good. Very, very good. Hope you're ready to hear a lot of monkey ball chat. Ah! There's one ancient rubber. The ancient rubber is on the green items. It's not like on the red rare ones. Which is a shame because obviously, you know, now they're diluted into this pool. Hey, there's my two. Perfect. I still need to get some of the rest of this stuff. I would like one more plastic if possible. It's red. If durable string is something I need. Boost so we can get past these enemies in a second. Good. I should have, if I remember rightly, everything I need for all the sub stories that are in here. There are four sub stories in here. We can't do them because, again, we Good. are with Jagra. But there is actually one sub story we can do in here, and it's story based because we're going to do it right now. Ah. <sighs> Kendra can chat up the mayor. Yeah, sure, fine. I'll do your fucking dirty work. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, this is Yosemi's Seeds. I don't know why this is a sub-story, but it is. Yosemi is actually gonna turn into a sub-story. Nice. I got some good RNG. Yes, same. <laughs> yes, yeah, same. A lot of these items we're also picking up in this area are going to be very useful for Merchant Ken. That's why I'm going slightly out of my way to get this stuff.
<sighs> Not a good sign. Well, I wish I'd gotten more sleep. Thank you very much for the Prime Gaming for nine months. Nine months of the fuck you, Jeffrey Bezos. I appreciate it. Very much. Good. Good. Alright, that should be all the stuff we need. Let's go. Ah, oh, she needs to be hockey now. <laughs> oh, I am. Hey. Fortunately, feeling the tiredness already, which is not good. We are barely in in the middle of this. Oh, Seven Martin. Thank you very much for the two gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Yes, no. So Yosemi here is actually going to be the trigger for a good couple of sub-stories. Uh, we obviously have to do this one as part of the story whilst Jagra tries oh, to find a vehicle, which he's not going to do. <laughs> we also get Fertility Augment, which like, I think it like doubles the items that you get from the Wasteland, which... Sure. Sure. I particularly care. Hey! Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good job, Ken. So we need reinforced no. tires. No. They're all being oh. used. They're all, you know, mm. good. Actually, you know, all beat up. But we can go and fix these, or we can actually go and find them. We get like, we get told that the back can help us out with these tires. So we're just gonna do the hitch a ride here. Go back to the city. That was the ass. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. And I'm falling asleep already. It's not good. <sighs> Fuck it out. I'm gonna get a cup of tea at some point. Should have made a thermos today. Would have been a good idea. Hey! Ganado. Hardly working. Fuck you, you bat. They have to do your bullshit later. So, we now need to do a race. Ken. The starting race here will give us access to the tires that we need. We have to be careful, your buggy doesn't replenish health in this. Actually important for later on. Can you get out of my way, please? Okay. Light those BP for later, but that's fine. So the nice thing is, they're not gonna catch up. guy's actually catching up for once, which is really weird. Pretty shouldn't be. I guess I do use more boost usually, but can't right now. Is that range of the nice? Yep. Yeah, I've made that comparison before as well. Very good. Alright, so with that, we can now make the tires, which again, thankfully, we already have the parts for, because we have the steel wire from the trader, and we have the ancient rubber that we picked up on the way to the place we were going to previously. 
Get in the village. Hey. Customize boogie. Tires. These ones. Yeah. I said the other ones would work, but we do not have we do not have yeah. anywhere uh, near the materials for it. Wait, the J. Oh, oh the Jagger, it's now speed to bat. Don't want to get the save point. This, fun enough, this save point is not actually a hitch a ride spot. It's a pain in the ass because we are coming back here later on in the story. That's a lot to the both of us. It's time to go fight some ghosts. What is it? No, what oh. is it? Oh, hell no! I can't back out. Like it or not, I'm coming with. No. Right. So. These enemies are going to be special. They're going to be like zombies. They do not give you any kind of soul stuff when you take care of them. So we're just going to deal with them. <laughs> That's I've ever done, pretty much. What happened, Chagre? Get back here! Pretty much. <laughs> Obviously, not using my seven stocks, I'm saving it. Any good casually? It's alright casually. It's pretty decent. It's got some bits that aren't super great, but still good casually. Oh, I hate these enemies so much. Hey! I don't know how to do that. <laughs> what happened? There was nothing. Sorry about that. Now, nah, Judge Ass was ten hours. It was ten and a half. Hey, right, this guy's the issue. He has a hammer. Damn it! What are these things? Great question. See, it's still a perfect channel, even though I don't get like any like benefits to it.
not useful. Not useful, my dude. Ugh. Thank you, uh, uh, brave warrior. Okay, now I need to do a big level up for the die. Ugh. Should be mostly the mind. Trees village. I could totally, and I probably should have. I should have refined Toki's talisman Jack for Rick. this, so I could have used Toki in this fight, but and then had him for Thalza with everything that we do. That would have been but smart. Oh well. We got a video game. All right, so we're gonna go into our mine tree. I'm gonna get a couple of things up here. This is going to increase my burst time, which is obviously really useful. So now I can stay in my burst for way longer, and I'm going to increase my damage when I'm in my burst. And hopefully get a couple of secret technique uh, yeah, power-ups as well. See how we do. See how we do. So here comes man. It's out on the rock, actually. <laughs> He's just chilling. Man is just chilling here happily. Then all of a sudden, you know, he jumps at me. Of course, he does. Fist of the after all. This right. Go off. Effect shattered point. Wanna do a bit of damage before I go into seven? You will lose every item at this rate. Wanna do this early, my boo? It's fine. <laughs> That is actually fine, that's good. Okay, that's actually fine. Fine, GG. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be bad. That wasn't too bad. Good. Good, 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 good. So this good, good, is Hokuto Shinken. That is Hokuto Shinken. How is Kisana? Is she doing well? It's surprise, it's Kisana's dad. Is that Steve Blum? I ask this every time. <laughs> no, I'm just like, is that, is that Steve Blum? Never bloody remember. Steve Blum. <laughs> hey, son, that's Steve Blum. Might not be, actually. Uh, but yeah, no, that's Nudai. That's Nudai. We'll get to see him later on. Uh, if you were paying attention in the middle of that fight, uh, when he went into his EX mode, uh, he was kind of channeling the power of electricity. Surprise. Look. Hey, the nice thing is, this is just one big long set piece. So, this is pretty much the same as the 80%. Because now Fowls is in town. Great. Although Fowls has one of my favorite fight themes uh, in this game. So. Someone <laughs> chapter again. Yeah, this one will be as well because there's no extra stuff. The next one won't be. Jagre! The next one is the start of what I like to call uh, driving time. What? Never guess why. <laughs> we gotta head back to Eden, so we're just gonna run off. Speak to the Jagger. Uh, buddy. We're off. Where's my Bevins? Okay. Cool. It's hit because of cab rate. Surprisingly not. We're gonna do a bit of driving. Weird, I know.
this one. of this buggy. They don't make any sense. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I should actually have to level up in this chapter because I did the big level up before in the die. Should be fine. Hey, I need to buy the junk chips, don't I? Thankfully, the junk chips, I don't need uh, friendship for for Amori. Because my Amori friendship is only at two at the minute. I do need to get him to three. Definitely need to get him to three. I'll be fine for now. Shit! They're already in! Let's take out the trash, Ken! Alright, buddy. Yeah. Alright, best bud. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I think next yeah. chapter is like, other than the finale, second longest chapter in the run. And the finale is only the longest because of uh, obviously being the finale and also uh, Cabri. Ah, oh, perfect seven. Ah, ah, ah. Good. Hello, goodbye. Again, this is where we're going to start chaining up perfect seven. Because as you can see, boy, is it good. Boy, is it good. We just want to keep chaining the seven constantly over and over and over and over. Good. You can see that all the kills are still scrolling on the right-hand side. But it's fine. What? Yes, it is gonna be easy, guy behind me. <laughs> Back. Not useful. Good start. Good start. Happy with that. But yeah, basically, much like, again, with the Yakuza games, RGG loves to make the city into a set piece, and this is this game's one. So, Fowles has obviously brought his army. He's trying to take over. We're gonna stop them. Jag is gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way. A more of a direct route. Unfortunately, this part here is going to introduce us with a brand new enemy type. One of the worst in the game. Not this guy. The guy behind him. Nice. Flamethrower guy. Thankfully, that's full seven. How did you not... Alright. Uh, you didn't aggro, but sure. Hee <laughs> hee. I missed. <laughs> Who's alive? You're alive? Alright, that's not the first I expected to survive. You'll regret disobeying us. Really now. 
入るんじゃなあっとナイスナイスナイスナイスイメージがあるのに、それが一番大事なことです。ああ、それは一番大事なことです。Yeah, no, I should have. Yeah, especially with the extra stuff we do in this next chapter, I should have done Toki's、uh, Destiny Talisman in previous chapter. I could have used it against、uh, Fowler and then had it for Jaggy. Because normally we wouldn't, but God, I would have had the time. Hey, ignore this guy. So, this is actually a good protagonist moment where there's like, you know, chest high fire. And, like, you know, usually in a video game, if you even have, like, a, an a like an ankle high wall, you won't go past it. But Ken's like, y e a h n o w fuck this, I can jump this. Like so. Thanks, Ken. Wish other protagonists took that initiative. I wish you would take that initiative, Ken. <laughs> It's part later on where he could fucking well do that and save about 20 minutes, but nope. See you. He's g o n n a get stunned when he stands up. I have to take care of him. Okay, that's actually an issue. I do need to heal now. Gathered up at that point, but not. Well, I'm just as you can see, I'm just really trying to chain the seven star constantly. I just want to have seven every opportunity I can get. You can tell when I'm getting that perfect moment in gold. Take care of this guy first. Always take care of the flamethrower guy. Always take care of the flamethrower guy. Always. Always. They're some of the most annoying enemies in this. Especially later on when they are like a lot higher level, they can do damage. Mr. Kenshiro! Mr. Kenshiro! What do you think you're doing? Got it. Yeah, I did say shitballs. Please, wait! One of the,、uh, one of the unique death cries. What? The Emperor posted soldiers along. Oh no, not soldiers. What am I going to do? I have no idea. I'm just gonna fucking run over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking run over there and just deal with it. t o l a s a s s yeah. I hope it isn't 12 hours, but it probably will be. It's gonna be a lot. Cabaret is just gonna take up like six hours alone. Hey. 
In fact, we actually start cabaret in <laughs> next chapter. In next chapter, I we're going to be doing. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a bunch of driving around. We're going to be doing a bunch of uh, the rest of the bartender Ken. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of cabaret. Next chapter is a lot. Next chapter is a lot. Take the walls of cabaret. It's a tiny bit of cabaret. It's like eight missions of cabaret. There's a reason. There's a reason why I'm doing it. You'll see. Where's the fine frog guys first. What's up? Time for one of my favorite boss themes in the game. I like this boss as well. Yes, you have to wait for all the fucking things that end on the right-hand side. This is going to be an issue later as well. <laughs> it's going to be an issue for the rest of the fucking game. Anyway, shout out to Fowler and Fowler's theme. Alright, Greg Chun, by the way. Second time. This isn't over. I just need to do damage, which I can do. Uh, this is the most star spoilers in this fight as well, by the way. Come on, attack me, buddy. If he attacks me, I can get free jump kick off. That's bad. Yeah, that's all I just wanted to get in there. I should have probably just done the ground slam. Time for big spoilers, by the way. Is it, dog? I know the secret you've been hiding. Then go ahead and try it again. Turns out, it is useful against him. Now we can start doing the channeling stuff. Your body's internal organs are all reversed. They're on the opposite side. Yup. Yup. I got to be full seven, by the way. Yeah, Thousand's theme is great. Thousand's theme is amazing. And I'm not catching you. Maybe be a bit careful because he could actually commit this HP value. You're wondering, yes, I will seven star, but I'm intentionally doing this first. Actually, I don't need to. GG. Bye. Well, second form. What well, second form? What well, seven star? <laughs> Rather not, Greg John. Thanks.
Yes, it is, because I hit the right button this time. <laughs> well, so you're on one HP, so it should be over. Don't even need to do this one properly. Like, he's just dead. I think certainly you can skip that QT anyway, because like that's the end of the fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, GG. Don't miss, yeah, God. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Fuck, no, I'm dying. Kisana! You okay? I'm not surprised. I still have like hours of this left to go. <laughs> Jagray! And the What? It and by Bowser, time to leave. Take the hint, Bowser. I do love this. I do love this fight. I love this fight a lot. It's good. Alright, that's back to all sub stories. Here comes the long stuff. It does come the long stuff. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> they sponsor discounts. Yeah, we were talking we about were them earlier. They were fulfilling our duty uh... as her guardians. Nothing more. Oh. And now... <laughs> They're weird. I don't know. They're weird. I don't know. Friends us probably? Probably not. No. God, I am half asleep. This sucks. <laughs> this is bad. I I need to get some energy in me now because this is the uh this is the, like where where all sub stories already carries on. This is like the big majority of it. I appreciate nothing major, but Emperor Thouser, he'll definitely return to settle the score. No, he won't. <laughs> but uh although fun fact, we'll have to fight Thouser four more times in this run. It is isn't Bowser. Trust me. Tired. Ugh. If I need to, I will split this up over two days, but fuck me, I hope I don't. <laughs> not not breaking my health over fist ass, that's for sure. I really knew not getting any sick last night. It was gonna hurt me. Ugh. I definitely might take a break at some point and go grab some, uh, go grab a cup of tea. Supremacy. I don't remember Supremacy being, like, terrible, but I don't remember it being great. Is that some more bad health? No, no it's not. Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive, what the hell does that mean? confused. Does it mean speed runs faster? Cause that shit just that shit just gets installed to the fucking hard drive anyway. Now watch 8K Blu-rays. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna watch 1080p anyway. But we'll see. I'm taking each chapter as it comes. A lot of the later chapters aren't as gonna be as long as this one, but this one is gonna be long. Um. Alright. I forgot to split! Fuck! Eh. <laughs> I just I forgot to split my splits. Damn it! Actually, when do we do chapter nine? Let's... You're right. I know it's don't tell me when I get to chapter nine. They tell me when I get to chapter ten. <laughs> uh oh, I've got an issue. <laughs> I've got an issue. I don't know when chapter when I go to chapter nine is. Um. Hey, fun fact. Uh, we can't do sub stories when we're with Ray. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of Ray. No need to rush, Kenshiro. I got me a speed run, my dude. And there is a need to rush. Too I today. also want to finish this so I can go and die in my bed. Thanks. Sleep forever. 
Actually, I'm going to sleep until Gaiden comes out. I think that's a good idea. <sighs> Ew. Alright. Go on over, buddy. I have to de-aggro them. There's a fight spawn in front of me. I don't want to take... You don't want to take any extra fight spawns until we get to the point where we do want to take the extra fight spawns. There's a very important time for that, and you'll understand and see why. Uh, Mr. Kenshiro, what? that's me. It's my father. It's my father. Right. Excuse me. No, I split. You just can't see that I've skipped the split. I literally mentioned like a minute ago that I forgot to split. I'm not going to split late, am I? I don't need to go buy food. Yes, actually. Alright, so. Let's get into the other pain in the ass fucking set of sub stories that we've got to do. There are two sub stories. Ew. That are an issue. Uh, the first of which begins right now. This jackass. This jackass is running a business. It's called the Arcade. This is one of the reasons and one of the big reasons as to why I will always complain about Fist and All-Star and its grind and why you should play any other RGG game if you just want to have some fun. Hello. The issue with this is that the arcade has no fucking arcade games, which for an arcade, slight problem. Yeah. <laughs> the issue is he wants me to go and actually get the goddamn arcade machines. And that's the issue. Because the arcade machines are very, very RNG. I'd like to one. We have to get treasure maps. We get treasure maps by getting into random fights. Also, remember this road for later. We'll be here, right there, later on. The hostess there. We need her. She's good. Uh, but yes, no. We have to get into random fights to get the treasure maps. <sighs> now, thankfully, the treasure maps, if we do the fight spawns in the right places, will always be guaranteed to be the treasure maps. And we'll see where to get those. Not march right on. And also, okay. these are very good Destiny Talismans. Uh, Lin's, basically, if you go down to zero HP, she'll revive you. Uh, Toki's you'll see later on. Uh, Toki's you'll see in this chapter. Toki good. Toki good. Toki very good. Should have had it earlier. Should have had it much earlier. Uh, is this now this guy? I think it is, right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go over to the place where we found uh, Minato that one time. We're going to find this guy. So, <sighs> this guy is the start of what I like to call Mega Dr Wasteland <sighs> Driving Time. Yes, Mega Wasteland Driving Time. Oh. <sighs> You'll never guess why I call it that. <laughs> Might be because it's Mega Wasteland Driving Time. Yeah. So, <sighs> this guy rescues people. Yeah. However, yeah. his car broke down. It'd be such a shame if I had a car that could help out. Yeah. This is a, I believe, three or four yeah. multi-part sub-story. Mm. Yeah. So let's go... Go save everybody, shall we? Go save everybody. No monkey ball for this. This is very serious. This is very serious. First one I want is like just this way. Yep. And the second one is southeast. So we just have to drive to the people that are just like out in the wasteland here. Uh, okay, we're going to be doing yes. this a fair bit. Their positions are actually kind of a pain in the ass. Trust in the notes. Trust in the words that you have to put. <laughs> then east. This way. But yeah, this is, this is nice because this bit is just saving people. There's no fight spawns, which is good. Uh, when we come out to the wasteland properly, which is in like the next 10 minutes, then we will be getting into fight spawns and stuff like that. 
I think this one was at the bottom, right? Yes. Remember We're on the other side of this rock. Why are you here, oh, my man? Mate. What are you doing? Success! Right. Hey Panda! Thank you for the luck. Appreciate it. Need it. Got a bad stomach. Three hours of sleep. Playing this crap. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is... You know how in RGG sub-stories that have multiple... Uh, you know how you can just, you know, walk away and walk back again? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Unsurprising, I'm gonna do that. So, like, I can't speak to him now, but if you keep watching him... Oh, he reappeared out of existence. Now I can speak to him again. What do I do now? In hey. that short time that I walked away, he has got more problems. Huh? Here's something wrong. <laughs> um... Hey! This is round two. Yeah. <laughs> Help out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trusting my notes. My notes are very simple. The first one is head west. That's that direction. Direction? That direction. Hmm. Head west. That direction. We'll put some binary domain on because, you know, this is, you know, actually, you know, tension. Uh, the last one of these is actually genuinely like, kind of tight time-wise. The bubble below the giant rock. Just the left. What? Penrust, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate it. Thank you very, very <laughs> much. Uh, next one. Southwest, next to large wall between rock. Ah, oh, I know this one. Yonder! That's the rock and the large wall. What do you mean it? Yeah, it's actually not going too bad so far, considering everything that's gone wrong, IRL. <laughs> I'd be safe with the curry that I ate. No. <laughs> curry is causing me stomach problems. And lack of sleep. Very nasty combination. Also, we're trying to get some items on the way through for in shop. Go off. And the last one is just head east. Hey. Yes. Yes. Tough. Still why? I don't need that anymore. Actually, Lynn, I think, does ask for steel wire. That's kind of wild. Based on this one is on the top end of this big rock. Well, like, they're on the other side, but it's better to go by the top half. I don't know any music, by the way. Thought to us doing runs of that soon. I made it. I made it. Kill me. <laughs> I don't know this game. <laughs> Told you I was gonna be I was gonna be fucking down for this run. <laughs> Hate this run. Uh, actually not too bad so far. Like, it's gonna start getting bad later on, but at this point we're actually doing sub story yeah. stuff, so you know. Not too bad. Oh, so we get to go and drive around uh, the yeah, wasteland. Yeah. Honestly, not too bad. Near a big rock. Yeah, pretty much. The nice thing is you can at least look at your map and see where they are. This one is the hard one. So all of them so far have had like, you know, three to four uh, actual people. But this one has a total of five. Uh, this hey. is the one where we actually really have to start boosting. Hey. Go to right of Cassandra. Oh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Huh? Yeah. Mind you, my notes are kind of crap. Yeah. For this one, it's go east, head south to go to right of Cassandra, head forward and slightly left, head northwest, huh? head west. Yeah. Good. <laughs> You're good. Worked so far.
This one's like all the way on the right, under the rocks. I think. Should be. Again, these are stuff that Lin can actually ask for. Well, not those. But the uh, the fine chain stuff is, so I do want to I do want to try and get some of those. These ones are harder to see because they're collapsed okay. on the floor. I want to go this way. You want to cut across this bit. Bit more this left probably. I think they're on the other side of that rock that has the smoke on top of it. Not the one on the left, one on the right. I said right, Cassandra. I meant to the right of that. That's actually an interesting warp. <laughs> it's not great, but... There they are. That's what my notes meant by right, Cassandra. Hey. Head forward and slightly left. That is a slight left. Is that so far? It's putting me to sleep. Not useful. Going alright. It's not going horribly. Hey. West. side of this rock to the left, I believe. That's last one. Okay, I made it. Good. Remember to bat by uh, Amori's food purchase junk chips. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Hey. Huh? So this guy is going to mention the name Gurren. Hey. Gurren's going to be uh, turning up in a bit. The next part of this sub story, which isn't actually going to be for a while. Like not for a good couple of chapters. I should have gone the other way, because the other way didn't have bloody stairs. Oh, wait, I should go to home, though. I should absolutely go home. Get while I'm here. Should I? No, because that changes it to night time and I need this to not be night time. I think we just do the rest at this point. Uh, again, I am going to go see Lynn and see if I can hand over anything at this point. I'm getting like this. I can, actually. That's actually good stuff to hand over as well. Is that everything? 
It's not too rare a stuff. Welcome. Not stuff that I need later Thank either. You. Hey, Fub, good luck Thank with you. the run. Yeah, so nice skill. Thank you for the 500 bits, I appreciate it. So, you can see the bar at the bottom, it's about one. Uh, we gotta finish off this to max, which is four. Ah, oh, I gave over too many important stuff. No. You've helped a lot. No, I haven't. Leave me alone. I'm gonna help out a lot more. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. That junk chips. Ow. Whoa. Hey, fella. Welcome. Junk chips. If you're wondering, we need those for a sub story coming up. And fight spawn. Come over here, you bastards. Oh, that was weird. That shouldn't have worked. They're going to be also aggro, aren't they? Yes. That's fine, because I'm going over the back. Alright, so we're going to start by going to the wasteland. We're going to start by drying. Drying? Drying? Driving. Drying. <laughs> drying. <laughs> I'm going to dry my washing. We're going to be heading straight south. Drying. Well, so this is cool. Thank you very much, Lauren Roberts. We're done. We're done with the, the, the dramatic music. Love you, binary domain, but no more. You haven't. Oh. Turned up just yet. Uh, I want to go to this rock. Reason being is that this green pillar of light is actually important. So when I hit the screen pillar of light, that's the broken cassette player for our uh, for one of our bartender sub stories. At which point I drive the other way. I like that quite a little bit in the city. Little careful, considering. Do, do, do. Anyway, you'll remember that when we were with Jagra, uh, I unlocked the fast travel option for the Western Highlands entrance. Go to that right now. Told you there was a reason why I was doing this, and you are about to find out why. Unfortunately. To do Bat's sub-stories, I have to subsequently unlock the Grand Prix races in certain areas. And this is the jackass that does it. So we're going to start by doing the very first one, which will unlock Bat's first sub-story. So these races at the start, they're not going to be too bad. These first ones are very, very easy. Uh, for this course, if you're starting to struggle and lack behind, boost uphill. Because you obviously go a bit slower when you're going uphill. I should not be hitting the side. Bad. But yeah, boosting uphill is just... You look at the mini-map on bottom left. Look how far ahead I am already. Get your HP doesn't come back, please. Last two races are going to get a little tight, so we have to be a little careful. Grab these BP because I would like these BP just in case. There is something I would like to look for, but I not, might not be able to. Those also get rid of durability. I couldn't remember that much, so I was being a bit careful there. Is that all? Anyway, thanks to doing that, that will unlock a substory on Bat, which is going to be about six substories long, and unfortunately, we're going to have to do more of these races to be able to get more of them. But for now, we're going to carry on and do other stuff. Wasteland.
So we're actually now going to hitch a ride to the Highland Village. There are actually four substories in Highland Village, and we can now chain them all together because we have all the stuff we need for them. Walk forward. We are looking for the... This is the second of our bartender substories. We are looking for someone called Lisa. <sighs> Time, We're also going to speak to oh, the name. Oh, yes. I go that way. And this is the point where I'm praying. I'll you you see me? Locked off? Where is he? I wonder if he's locked at the moment. He shouldn't be. Really shouldn't be. He might be locked behind this one. <laughs> If your audio is out of sync, refresh the stream. Whenever that happens on Twitch, refresh the stream. Hey, this is Lisa. We found Lisa. What? Oh my god, Lisa. <laughs> well, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh Ugh. my god. Yanni, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. I'm gonna need another bathroom break in a second um. here. Bad stomach issues hey. again. I'm having bad stomach issues today. And again, as I said, I'm not wasting ruining what? my health on a 15 hour speedrun. Not this one, at the very <laughs> least. I don't want to keep pausing, but yeah, I do. I do need to. Anyway, it turned out she, they, he had a crush on her from a long time before, but it turns out she moved on with her life. She obviously has a family with someone else, and he's just happy. He's just happy. Fortunately, this is gonna take us out of where we were. It was here. Hey! Hey! Oh, as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna pause and then just go use the loo. Get a fresh drink as well. That was replaceable, as you thought. So, he gives me a light fender, which... Boy! I wish these car parts didn't take forever to fucking get the materials for. <laughs> 25 sub stories, chat. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Stomach bad. Be right back.
All right, chat. Where were we? <laughs> Where actually were we? I don't remember. All right. Carry on. Uh, actually, where was I? Uh, we just did Lisa, didn't we? Uh, Highland Village. Back to Highland Village. Whoa. I will definitely need to refuel my buggy at some point soon, so I might as well just do it now, to be honest. So, I could do this out of order, actually. Uh, I could do... <sighs> I could do this. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be doing this in a bit. No. So we should be fine huh? just to huh? carry on. Ignore this. Oh. This is the first of Matt's multiple sub-stories. Uh, where we do have to race across the wasteland. Oh my bloody stomach. Hmm? <laughs> Lack of sleep and curry have uh, messed me up real, real bad. Hmm? Should be, yeah, it's 29, that's good. I'm glad I kept the sub-story numbers here so I knew which ones I was on. Uh, but... Hey, Gallagher, thank you for the luck. Need it. <laughs> Gonna need it. If this was any percent, we could be done in the next 15 minutes. <clears throat> We're not even halfway through the game yet. <laughs> I didn't refuel, so I'll refuel here. Oh, excuse me, fucking hell. Fuel up! That way we won't get a random ass game over. <laughs> That'd be bad. Uh, Highland Village. Because I really need to get Yosemi done. If not, I can, I can just go around and it'll be fine. Uh, there he is. Yeah, he was blocked. He's been blocked by the other substory. So, Yosemi now wants hey. us to get a couple of items. These are the items oh, that I was trying to yeah, pick yeah. up earlier. I know, remember, plastic is one. The fine nail is the other, I believe. There's one more that I don't remember. So I'm, uh... Yeah. Rain, I've got him! It's fine now! Hmm? Yes? Yeah. What? Just sorry, good. <laughs> yeah. This this is the bit that on my notes is literally just pray you've got the stuff. All right. Uh, Western Highlands. This is the other reason you might have seen the substory marker on the map. So fun fact. Uh, this is actually the way to get down to the southern part of the map, and we have to go down there at some point because there are going to be two substories that actually appear down there. But we have a little bit of an issue. And by little-ish, I mean a big fucking issue. We can't go all the way to Canyon Village until we get a piece of uh, our, bu our buggy here that can break through rocks. Sound fucking familiar? So we're gonna go and start this and then end this later. Uh, but we are gonna go down there because we can actually... You can see that already we need the thing for the tires to be able to get over this bit. But we can start going down there now, and then we can bust through it later on. There is a hitcher ride that is right on the other side of this canyon. And there is also the second race for that. We can actually access now. Yeah, there. So this is how you break through this bit. Would you be surprised if we're about to punch these guys? Shocking, I know. There's that. <laughs> oh yeah, my refill bit was actually after this bit, so we should be fine. It's over for you. Is it? That's nice. I think it's over for you. You are already dead. Double seven star. I didn't mean to use this one to be honest. <laughs> I missed a hit. Come on. You are dead. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. And that's how you open this up. So if you ever wondered how to get to the bottom half of the map, it's this sub story. He's too strong. You're damn right. And they're going to open up the way for us. So we can go down to the bottom part. We are going to go down to the bottom part now. Get that uh, save point as said. Uh, and also do that race as we said. <sighs> That's up my stomach, to be honest. 
We got the Wasteland Talisman. I don't actually remember what that does, if I'm being honest. I'm not sure I care. Now I drive. Drive to the dulcet tones of the monkey ball. Hard plastic. Uh, I do want to get some of the items here if possible. These, some of these are necessary for parts. Some of these are necessary for Lin. Lin's final level. But you'll notice there's just one long, narrow path through. That is actually another thing that Lin needs. Hundred materials. You'll also notice in a bit, some of the stuff that we're picking up here is actually the stuff that's necessary for the next uh, upgrade to the front of the car that we need for later on. We're not going to get anywhere near enough. We're still going to have to grind up for the rock splitter, but it's this is where you actually grind up for the items. That's why you can't get them normally in like any percent, etc. I mean, kind of wish that I could jump off the side, to be honest. That'd be pretty sick. Now, what you can't see is hiding on the left-hand side of this exit. Jean. Because this is race number two. Or Grand Prix number two. That's a race. It, don't worry about it. He's like, Whoa, look at this sick road, dude. I'm really jacking it off. Let's go race. Paraphrasing, but essentially he does jack it off to racetracks. I just fist ass. He just wants to race. Once again, not a hard race. It looks like it should be, but if you just, you know, boost. Make sure we hit the boosts. Make sure we don't explode. Not actually too bad. That guy didn't even take the ramp. Uh, the nice thing about these race courses, if you see the different colored arrows, like those yellow ones, that indicates a tighter turn. And don't forget, if you're going uphill, just boost to go faster. But look, we're already, like, way further ahead than everybody else. But you should be saving your boost for, like, the uphill stuff. Yeah, but we haven't done any upgrades to our car yet. We don't need to. We really don't. Not until later, which, at that point, yes, we will need to. There's a point where the car buggy upgrades are going to be necessary. But just don't ram into the walls. Don't blow up and you'll be completely fine. said don't ram into the walls perchance and all the explosive barrels they explode would you believe shocking I know Doing that a bit faster I was a bit worried I'm not gonna lie is that now those heart earrings are full cabaret that's gonna be useful later so because of that We've now unlocked that Grand Prix, and we will unlock the next one of Bat Buggy missions. For now, we can't actually uh, we can't actually do anything else here. So what we're going to do is unlock the Hitcher Ride, and we're going to go back to the Highland Village. Yeah. And this should be the end of sub stories thirty four and twenty five. So speak to the mayor. Really We've now good. dealt with that little what? situation. I got me some wings for my buggy, which again, I'll never be able to fucking make. Jimmy, that's the end of 25. And then we'll have some jackass who's looking over our car saying, your car's shit, mate. I know. Thanks. <laughs> I know. Yes. But Yosemi becomes the trader in this city. That's why you can't do the trading with him straight away, is because you have to do all of that for him. But yeah, this this guy's just like, your buggy's crap, mate. 
So this guy, cheeky as he is, uh, he wants two items. Yeah. First, he wants some really delectable no. alcohol, which was the supreme whiskey we bought. And he wants some potatoes, which is the junk chips we got him. Fuck this guy. All right. Yeah. Now, this guy's actually not too bad because he oh. gives us the ability... He gives us the ability to be able to repair yeah. rarer, uh, rarer oh. actual stuff with um, the buggy. It's yeah. gonna come in useful later. Oh yeah. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At this point, we want to hitch a ride. For the good old baseball field. Let's see why in a second. I guess game actually 6.5 or 7 out of 10. It's not RGG's finest. I like it and I like the combat in the game, but this game, it's very grindy. It's very grindy and it's not apologetic about it. We want to go right here, funnily enough. You might just be able to see on the corner there is a little bit of a kerfuffle happening. Fuck, you know. Not that close. Close to me. <laughs> Went a bit far. So. What? Basically, this guy is getting some shtick from this guy. He's built himself a track here and this guy's like, it's impossible. What? How's anyone supposed to beat it? I'll do it. Right now. Watch me. You have to be a bit careful here, to be honest. So, first of all, we have to deal with this. This guy. He's yelling a lot. Deal with him. I dealt with him. <laughs> Every time. And then this guy is going to challenge us yeah. to yeah. basically do his yeah. horses. Yeah. Let's try it out. Yeah. Yes. So again, this is very serious, so we'll get the binary domain music out. Now, the physics in the car ain't great. Also, my handling is terrible. You might notice, with me almost falling off the building, you might notice that the uh, the pathways are starting to get a bit smaller. This side home line, so I can just round it. Ram the end, and everything is fine. Yep, you'll notice that, yep, things are indeed getting a bit, a bit small. We're gonna go too fast, we're fine. This one is all about being steady. This one is very tight. This one we have to get like the perfect angle at. That guy gives us a really fast engine. Appreciate it. Useful. I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> I, I have no fucking clue what just happened, if I'm being honest. Hey, anyway, back to Eden. That way. <laughs> this game sure does like to, to make it a bit scary at times. Physics in the buggy that kind of don't exist, as you can see. It's good. It's a good video game. <laughs> You'll also notice I'm already down to half fuel, by the way. Can't be refueled earlier. Okay. You already see me make an ass of myself again in a minute. Coming back. Come back to bartender again. So. At this point, we are now going to do the bat race that we unlocked. So that's why I didn't do it earlier, because I knew I was going to do it now. Uh, we can actually do this now. We yeah. don't need any upgrades for our buggy. Uh, bat races are going to become are going to become impossible with the default buggy at some point. But don't worry about that. Let's 
go past them. Just make sure we we boost up uphill if we need to. You see, this is the same course as obviously the one we just did, but we've got obstacles in different places, or we've got new obstacles. I think this is not like LED where we need to get like enough rings or BP. It's getting BP because there is stuff that I would like if I can potentially get it. As long as we get all the boost pads, this is just fine. I miss those. there. Again, just making sure I leave enough damage in case I hit one of the obstacles. Just in case. <laughs> Is that all? Alright. So, that's the end of that sub-story. Which again, means I can do the next one because I have already done the next race, but we're not going to do the next one. Leave that next one for a while. <laughs> like that. Yep, that was all yeah, you. Oh my god. What? Angela the Wizard, thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. <sighs> yeah. Appreciate it a bunch. Hope you're doing well tonight. Yeah. Hope you had a good stream. <sighs> right, anyway, I'm going to the junk shop. The actual junk shop. That one next to us. Not the junk district. Not the other junk shop. That junk shop. Not the scavenger shop. The junk shop. 30 sub stories down. 50 to go. <sighs> the reason why we're going here. Please don't fight someone. Please don't fight someone. Good. Sometimes you get a random fight spawn just in here. Uh, we're asking him to fix the cassette player. And if you remember what I said earlier, this is going to be the thing that triggers the second and final round of Bartender Ken. So at this point, we have got a couple of sub-stories that we need to finish in terms of the bar. You think you wouldn't be able to work in the day? No, you can. Don't worry about it. So, with the old beatbox, we're waiting for the guy to basically hey. turn back up and we serve him a drink and then give him the cassette player. So that could take a while. Welcome. Or, Yo. here's Jagra. Here's our first sub-story. Good lad, Jagra. Certainly. Good lad, Jagra. Atta boy! <laughs> Atta boy! So there are six sub-stories we are doing in this bit. Oh, we're starting six sub-stories in this bit. Hans, Jagra, uh, Kisana, Lyra, Dapper Gentleman, and Bartender. Uh, the nice thing is Kisana is locked behind Jagra. Lyra is locked behind Kisana. So getting Jagra nice and early. Good stuff. Like that. Like that a lot. You are already drunk. God, I wish I was. I will go and get my rum. <laughs> the bartender came back to bartender. This is the Damn, second round of bartender. Good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So Jagra's upset. If the game hasn't hammered it into you enough already, Jagra's in love with Kasana. Nice. Oh. A lot of cups behind me. I've never noticed that before. Um... <laughs> There's this girl, he lets slip his Kasana immediately. Uh, and he's like, you know, what should yeah. couples do, you know, in love? Uh, they should eat together. That's the option you want. Because <laughs> no. that Whoa. brings in Whoa. some no. funny music. <laughs> Jagger is insecure and doesn't know how to ask Kasana for a What? She is! Uh. A coincidence. She's here to see Ken, but then she asks Jagra, hey, What's yeah, good sure. here? The junk burger. I'll have a junk burger. I don't want to eat something called the junk burger. The burgers are junk food enough. So I was tempted to order a burger for tonight for food, but considering I keep, you know, trying to shit out that curry from earlier, I don't think it's a good idea all of a sudden. Anyway, there's that sub story though. And with that, we work again. Hey. Keep working till we do all the sub stories. Welcome. 
Hear me out. Uh, Hello. Kyle Hello. is somebody that we do want to Certainly. do. Kyle, good. There are two extras that we do want to start serving drinks to here. Kyle's one of them, and Alan is the oh, other. Oh. Hundred shake rush. A big aim here is to finish Alan. Shining off. shot of death. If we can finish Kyle off, that's an added bonus. Good stuff. Let's well next done. order. Hello. Hello. Oh. Certainly. Right, can't make pushing look faster. Yeah, I mean this isn't fun. <laughs> This is also where I make myself look like an ass, because, you know. Southern Cross Metropolis. Ah, delish. Delish. So this is someone that does take free drinks, and then he'll just have more stuff at Rob's bar. It's not super important. Welcome. Bar, but this guy is. This is hands. Certainly. This is a free star, so this one is actually kind of tough. Why the fuck do they have a spin the right stick one? You could have done like an alternate shoulder spin, buttons spin, one. Spin, 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 Drink it good now. Oh. Well, your core shake motion, good. So yeah, hands no. is continuation of the cassette player. So the cassette is of his daughter, and literally is like a, a nice message, as you can probably guess. His birthday. Obviously, she's not around anymore, Correct. and ends like continue living for your sake. Yeah, it's a nice sub story. He saw it. Get it? Because it's like cassette. These odds. Get it? Stop. Hey. Welcome. Hello. Nobody I want to serve. If there's no one you want to serve, quit out. Quit out. A dapper hey. gentleman might not turn up to rank B. But at the same time, I can still get Rob and I can still get out. Welcome. I do want to do Imori. Imori is important. Imori Certainly. is super, super goddamn important. of souls. It's a good name. <laughs> you can tell again RGG's localizers had a lot of good fun with uh, with the localization of this. So now Emori's will sell everything. It gives me a fertility org, right? Which Welcome. don't necessarily need that. Seed uh, shop, we also need to finish off. Certainly. So the nice thing is by maxing out Imori's, we actually get an item for Cabaret that is busted. You'll see. Oh, it's gonna be great. Spin, spin, <laughs> spin, 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 Good arm workout tonight. It's probably not very visible. There is a red dot appearing in the middle of my hand where I'm just burning it. <laughs> Yuria, eternal. This is why I broke this up into two parts in this run. <laughs> oh, oh. It'll give you a speed muffler, I'll never make Welcome. it. Welcome. Heck, how goes it? Tyler. Uh, Tyler is not someone. It's Certainly. Tyler. 
I remember what Tyler gives, but it's fine. <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> shake, 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 I also don't think Lyra turns up until rank B, so doing all of this is important. Now, I wonder if Lyra is now going to turn up, like, immediately. I do get a good bunch of money for that as well, which is nice. Um. Hey. Why not? Welcome. Oh, hey, Xana. Right. That's Enjoy. who I meant, not Lyra. So, you gotta find out something about Kisana, though, this substory. <laughs> So, I get her a drink. Break, 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 Divine. <laughs> yes. Hmm. See, Kasana is a mean fucking drunk. <laughs> She's a very, very angry drunk. She's gone. <laughs> trouble is, so am I, because she's ran into trouble outside. She is a very, very mean drunk. The middle of the day, Kisane. What have you been drinking? <laughs> like, hello? You are absolutely drunk in the middle of the day. Oh, these don't give me my soul back. Fuck, I've wasted my seven star. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, that's fine, because we have the bounty list. I can just get it back. Hey. You know, I'm in chapter... I'm in chapter bloody eight at the moment. I'm looking at my notes. And there's no chapter nine. What happens in chapter nine of this game? Yeah. Let's see chapter ten. <laughs> huh? She's like, hey, I'm gonna come back for a drink. And I'm like, no. God no. I was alright, yeah it is. <laughs> yeah it is. And going back to work. God, I got more customers to serve. So at this point, Lyra can hey. now turn up. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish Alan off. This is an issue. Certainly. I am gonna finish Alan off. I am gonna specifically finish Alan off. Alan despawns enemies. <laughs> The one and only solace I have in the speed run coming up. Thanks, Alan. Mix, 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 Perfect. You are already drunk. I've said this multiple times, I'm goddamn not. I'm way too sober. I know, chat. I'm gonna find out something about Lyra in this sub story. Welcome. Hey. Now I have to do the other one. Certainly. As, well. as you probably noticed, Lyra wants every type of drink. You never guess what's gonna happen. After this one. Suplex drop. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Is she remembering the time she spent with Ksana? Welcome. Oh, hey, look. She wants another one. Certainly. Need it. Inebriation of souls. You all inebriators yet, chat? Should be. <laughs> Should be. The eighty percent of speedruns finished at this point, by the way. <laughs> anyway, you're about to find out about Lyra. Uh -huh. Hmm. Never guess what? She's an angry drunk as well! <laughs> they all are! What's up, Jagra? I'm gonna walk outside! <laughs> uh. Yup. <laughs> you might have seen this scene before. It is the same guys, by the way, even though I blew the heads off. Hey. They're even like, hey, I remember you! <laughs> that guy from last time. <laughs> Lyra is just enjoying this. <laughs> that shit, don't give away. No. You see, Lyra's very much enjoying herself in the corner right now. <laughs> She's enjoying this. Uh. Anyway. Down to that guy. Hey. Yeah. And she's passed out. <laughs> he has been heavily drinking in the middle of the day, after all. <laughs> Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, so we have two more. <laughs> the the, the game. No, you're not coming back. We have two more sub stories that we can do in Bart's End again. One is the dapper gentleman, and the other is the bartender standing next to me. In that time, I'm going to be aiming to finish off Alan and hopefully Kyle uh, in terms of customers. Definitely Alan. Hey. Alan is like priority one right now. Welcome. Hey, how goes it? Hey, junk. Dude, how goes it? Uh, hey, I do need the junker. Certainly. What you doing? I think I do. Pretty sure I need the junker. He has stuff spin, for, uh, spin, spin, Lynn. Spin, 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 All right. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate it. After a while, I do wish I could skip this. I can't. <laughs> you are already drunk. Game, once again. No, I'm not. <clears throat> wish. <laughs> I can't damn wish. Thanks, dude. Dude. Welcome. Hello. Here's the dapper gentleman. Oh boy. The sub stories are coming in actually really quickly. <laughs> a lot quicker than they should be. So, Certainly. bartender kind of gives the impression that he knows this guy, uh, which is supposed to be your hint here, because this guy has amnesia. Or at least he's getting old and has dementia, one of the two. He doesn't remember. He actually used to be the co-owner of this place. Suplex drop. Yeah, drink responsibly, by the way, chat. Thanks a bundle. <laughs> huh? The fuck is chapter nine in this game? I really don't remember. Hmm. Yeah. What's the issue? My notes don't say chapter nine. Yeah. Huh? Or have yeah. I accidentally? No, I don't have two chapter tens. So I have chapter eleven after this. Hmm. What the fuck? 
Ah, I fucking know. Fucking no. Fucking no idea. Uh, is this outside for this one or is this inside? This is still inside, right? Yeah, it's still inside. Just work hey. again. Could remember this on whether it's uh, work again or if it's welcome. Done. Hello. Hello. Hear me out. Hi. Oh. Yes. Hands. No, I don't Hear need you anymore. Hell, I do. Certainly. I haven't been too painful so far. Uh, I've had three hours of sleep. The curry that I've had is giving me the shits. Um. Kinda. Hokuto, hundred shake rush. Kinda. Run itself hasn't been too bad. But. Shining shot of death. It's not lost on me that the any percent run would be done at this point. <laughs> I really need Alan to turn up, and Alan hasn't turned up once. This is really bad. It's actually really bad. Looks like we'll be able to finish off Kyle at least, which is good. Welcome, hey, Alan, my boy. Certainly. A fucking time. Again, I get to look like an idiot. <laughs> this one's kind of hard. Still bartending. This is the second round. <laughs> this is the second round. I'm not still bartending. This is just round two. Bloodstained Mary. Fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Again, if you're wondering, our boy, yes. our boy Alan here, he gives us the accessory that despawns fight spawns. He is important. I want him done. <laughs> I need, I need him. Welcome. Never needed someone more in my yes. life. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob's bar. Certainly. I'm actually going to use Rob. Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Ah. Mix, 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 in total, over the run, it's only taken like 30, 40 minutes at most, which isn't too bad. That's what I was hoping for. But we are literally just waiting for the one to turn back up. Hey! Can't do it all at once. I mean, I can't do it all at the first time anyway. Hear me out. Kyle! Kyle! Hear me Kyle! Out. Kyle! Kyle! Certainly. My boy! Why the fuck does this exist? <laughs> Good arm movement. <laughs> Good workout, baby. Bloodstained Mary. Yes, you can actually have the tuxedo outfit be an optional outfit in this game. Good stuff. That's why I like car. That shirt Welcome. isn't like the best shirt in the game. Uh, but it's a very good shirt for now. Certainly. Alan, my boy, one more time! <laughs> it just doesn't get any better. Now I'm shaking! <laughs> Help! No wonder I got the shit. <laughs> Bloodstained Mary. Why did we bloodstain Mary? What did she do? She didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> mm, not bad. If you are wondering, I am on chapter eight, by the way. I've got to split for chapter seven, so I have to skip. Welcome. Hey, howdy. Hey, dude. Uh, we do want the junker. Junker has Certainly. stuff that we need for Lin shop. We're almost done. I just need that other sub story to turn up. Because once you get the other sub story to turn up, uh, the bartender turns up like almost immediately spin, after. Spin, 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 spin. <laughs> shake across the tassis. Yeah, God. I know I'm not doing it exactly, you know, very well, but I'm in pain. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Southern Cross Metropolis. It's a good, it's a good workout, at the very least. <laughs> dude, you rule. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I needed positive affirmation. <laughs> Alright, so the junk shop has more stuff. The junk shop's gonna get a couple of materials that we're gonna need later on. Uh, that's super important for that sub story and lens. Hey. Yo, can the uh can the dapper gentleman turn back up? Would appreciate that. Welcome. <sighs> Alan, my boy! Certainly. We're good now. 
I might leave the bar and come back in just in case I need to do that to trigger something. I don't think I do. 11, 11. Shake, 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 I might do. I might need to. Bloodstained Mary. Ben, pull Mary. So, this is the whole reason why Alan was prime target number Ooh, one. Not bad. This is the stealth hood. The stealth overcoat. The stealth overcoat Welcome. literally uh, hello. literally gets rid of every fucking fight spawn in the city. Ah boy, Alan. Ah boy, Alan. What's going on right the fuck now? And also, Carl Shirt, you can see it gives a whole... It actually drops your overall defense, but it gives you, like, plus 25 hey. to blade and knight and blade and gun. It's actually not that bad. Welcome. Hear me. Hello. Howdy. You'll notice I'm bailing out. I'm bailing out because I'm looking for specific people at this point. Like, you don't have to do this. It's random who hey. comes in every time again. I might just walk outside and walk back in just in case. I don't think Welcome. I need to, but... Yeah, I'm gonna walk out and walk back in just in case. I don't think I need to, but I'm just a little concerned at the minute that he's not turning up. He's not, like, he's not tied to, like, rank A or anything like that. He's just not turning up at the moment. I don't think this really does anything, but, you know, the power of imagining that it does, you know? <laughs> I also might need to do like one round. Hey. I might need to do one round with someone for him to turn up, but I shouldn't have to. Welcome. Here, uh, uh. Definitely finish the junk off. Certainly. It might actually be tied to the amount of like people that we've made like friends with. Oh my god, please. Uh, this is bad. Please, I need this guy. Mix, 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 hey, with the Junker mix, finished, mix, mix, that's also mix, good. That's pretty much the last mix, of the optionals mix, mix, I need, and now mix, I just need the sub-stories done. Mix, 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 mix. Perfect. Yuria. Eternal. 50 many games. Amazing. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Dad. Dad. Welcome. Here, hi. How goes it? Hi. How goes it? Sure, uh, I'll do Tyler. Certainly. <laughs> He's a kid in the game of year, right? I'm gonna end up tossing this fucking controller at some point. <laughs> this battle, I like this controller. <laughs> Bloodstained Mary. Just need Good. that one guy to turn up, and he's just not. I don't remember what Tyler actually gives us at the end of his uh, friendship. Welcome. Howdy. Hi there. I'm gonna do Rimey because I remember Certainly. in my in my practice I did Rimey, which led led into the Dapper Gentleman. I don't think she does, but I'm gonna recreate the conditions. You know. We're like literally just two two customers away from being Wolf done with the bartender. Hundred proof rush. Thank you. Now, this one isn't an hour and a half. This one is actually hey. about 45 minutes right now. Because we had a chapter in between. Welcome. Oh, hey. Thank you. There we go. That's the one. Certainly. If ever you see a customer on their own, they're a sub story. And this is the next part of Dapper Gentleman. Again, I don't know if I had to. I don't think I had to do Rhyme before she turned up again. But. I recreated what I did in practice, and there Suplex she is. drop. And at this point, I've done everybody else, so I literally just need this to end, which it should do after this one. 
Because we just have the bartender. I will double check I've done everything in the list. Oh? Huh? Have you been sleeping well? No. Same. So unfortunately, all of everything that we've been doing up until this point has given the bartender a bit of a complex oh. because of the fact that he doesn't need to be a bartender when he has us and that we're so much better. <laughs> he remembers, chat. He remembers. Power of alcohol, it can make you remember and forget. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're doing well, Kios. Should just be the bartender. 35! Almost halfway there, chat. Hey. So yeah, our last customer is him. We go behind the bar. Welcome. Bingo. No. Certainly. We're getting to stance. <laughs> I gotta get ready. Hey. Unfortunately, I have to do one more drink. <laughs> Bloodstained Mary. But yeah, this should be the last one. And I will double check this one when I actually finish it. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like my next set of notes. It's your ride to West Highway and go to sub story. You mean go to sub story? Where the fuck's the sub story? Excuse me. Hey. Challenge. I don't actually remember which one of these it was. I can't remember. It was Shaker. Welcome. It's it, Shaker. Yeah. This is a red star one, so it's harder than usual. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> I'm a shake for my life. <laughs> Of workout chap. All that jerking Hold off all my life. There we go. Shake rush. <laughs> We're done with fucking bartender Ken. Bloodstained Mary. And <laughs> we should hit the come button. Yeah, you can't hit it for me is the issue. <laughs> Appreciate it. Play six is shaking our baby, damn right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tender boy, Who are you talking to? I'm out. I'm yes. done. I quit. Yeah. What? He gives me a light fender, which actually is pretty good for the car, but his back fucking pops out again. I'm not doing this again. Fuck you, old man. Uh. I can't quit now. Yes, I can. Okay, so everything from Cheers you can, so I can't quit now. We're one space in the middle. Toki, God, yeah, get him, get him fixed. Uh, yep, that's good. Yep, good. Part ten, the can is done. Thank fuck. <laughs> I go home via West Bazaar. So here's the nice thing. At this point now, for a while, you'll never see a fight spawn ever again. We've literally got rid of all the fight spawns. This is going to be the nice part of the game where, you know, I don't care about fight spawns. Uh, I do need to go and see two people specifically, which I don't actually remember where they are, but I am going to speak to Lin on the way through and see if I can hand anything in. This just makes Lin go a bit faster towards the end. Uh, nope, not just with a grass. That's kind of ass. This is us. These two. So these two will tell us about... Um, hey. Remember the guy we did all the buggy missions for? They're going to tell us that he's out in the wasteland, which is what my next note is about. But... Oh, no. Correct. He's gone to see Gurren. Oh, right. He's in the middle of the fucking desert, isn't he? Yeah. I remember. <sighs> Rescue. A rescuer. All right. Fuck. Welcome. 
Now, Lin Shop will not have changed. We'll talk about Lin Shop a lot more later on when we actually have to do it. Um, you'll understand. Uh, it's a bit stupid. You'll understand. Um, you change time to night. And then there is a sub story that we've already started uh, that we can only progress at night for now. Uh, and that is the Kisana one, the one where uh, a thief broke in and stole a bunch of stuff of Kisana's. Kisana's? Yes. Fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, this is the point where it would be good if you had outruns, a hand over outrun. Uh, I think this is this is one of the things I think in in the run uh, where I could put this bit in a different place. Because here's the issue. We can't actually speak to Kasana to finish off the substory until the finale. I think that's not the guy. I think it's a guy up here. Yeah, it's these two on the left. This is also one of the points where I would have liked to have had one of the arcade machines by now. Because then I would roll around and like hey. hand it in here. Huh? Really? The hell? Well. Oh. Goodbye, dude. <laughs> These two have no idea. On left goes Hidebu, so we're gonna try and get our seven star back to this guy. We did hit circle, thanks, Ken. Perfect channel. You go away. I need this. That's perfect as well. Good All right, good. So, the reason why we need to do all of our sub-stories basically now is because for the rest of the chapter, we're going to be unable to do any more sub-stories because we are going to be locked in with Ray. We're going to be going to find Jaggy. And pretty much from this point on... Uh, we have a little bit more that we're going to have to do in a little Excuse bit. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of the bounty stuff, actually. Um, I really not do anything in Chapter 9? Mm -hmm. Something seems off. I have no Chapter 9 in my notes. This is where I find out I'm missing like half of my notes. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Mm, hey, there's yeah. another there's another bit coming up in a little bit but i'm hoping to get uh the second arcade machine or what would be the second arcade machine but will now be our first if we don't get the arcade machine straight away that's fine there's a bit allocated at the end of the run to you know get the arcade machines all right i had to just go inside oops the important part is I got all of my shops to max rank, which is what I need to do. Yeah, at this point we're now story locked. And what happened? I see. Oh yeah, we'll be coming back here in a second for the bounty, won't we? Come on, right. Oh, let's go. Where to next? Is it? Is it this chapter we start, Cabaret? What the fuck happens in chapter nine of this game? I actually really don't remember it. It's really throwing me off. Well there. Who's after Jaggy? Ow. Is it actually Rao? No, because he's chapter 10. Right? Huh? <laughs> huh? Nine is Rao. I think my notes are wrong when they say chapter 10. I think they're supposed to say chapter 9.
Yeah, maybe I've accidentally just labeled my chapters incorrectly. Very possible. <sighs> Good afternoon, this bit sucks. Nice though. No fight spawns. Just at least a 3D run in the wind. Not care in the world. God, it's nice. God, it's really nice. <laughs> it's, it's actually genuinely really nice. That's right. Come on, boys. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Going to the Coliseum. Come on. I feel, I feel like that child was asking me through the game, why am I so obsessed with fist ass? And like, yeah, I don't know. It's a great question, honestly. I wish I had an answer. <laughs> I might buy the healing items right here because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do so for a hot minute at this point. Is this going? Taking that back and bury it. Yep. Definitely not going to be running it again for a long time. By that, I mean any percent, obviously. Sounds like we'll be working the graveyard shift. I trust you fellas are gonna hit the streets too. Emmy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Her, maybe. Because yeah, at this point we're supposed to go home and make it nighttime, but I need to do a bunch of the bounty hunter stuff. So we're going to go do that right now. And then we're also going to get another time-locked bounty mission coming up. So we'll do that in a bit. Oh, hello, Mori, my dude. Mori Welcome. actually has some really good uh, jerky for cheaper down here. So I'm just going to get like five of those. Should probably get the Vogue Confectionery right now, huh? I would save a bit of time later on. I can get it on the way back, but I definitely want to get some for cabaret at some point. But, hello buddy, here is race number two. Do I need to do race number two? Excuse me. No. <laughs> really? Say <laughs> what? Mm. Number thirty. I'm not gonna do number first. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. Doesn't say. Ken. I know there's one I can't do yet. I can't remember if it's that one. I think it's fine for now. I think it's fine for now. Uh, if we get into a fight in this bit, we will try and get the first five arcade machines. Because we are going to be heading to the top left part of the map again. So now is like a really good time to get the treasure map. So there is supposed to be a substory that spawns over here, but it hasn't spawned yet. So it's good to know. So yeah, I will actually be going... Because I need to go yeah, down here. Uh, I will be going to down this part. So I'm going to get into this fight spawn specifically. Ideally, what you want to do is get a high rank in the fight because that gets you a higher chance of getting the treasure map. Where that 
pesky doing a run part. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. How long are we fight for? Please. Hang. <laughs> uh, my notes say to go for the hitch or ride for the fast travel unlock, but we actually don't need to. And you'll see why later on. Yeah, there's only certain places you can get the treasure maps. This is one of them. Stop that. Yeah, being aggressive. It's perfect, so now I can start killing enemies. I need back. There, buddy. Unfortunately, I do have to wait for all the stuff on the right to finish anyway, which sucks. Shit! Ah! Uh, can't eat an orange. Actually, it's something for Lin later on. Hey, like that. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I actually don't remember where this fountain is. I know it's like down here somewhere. We didn't get our treasure map. I might just wait for the treasure maps until the end at this point, because they are, like, wildly RNG. Uh, hello? Oh, you're right there. How <laughs> did I miss them? Hey. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What do you mean hitch a ride to West Highway and go to Sub Story? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, shit. Alright. I know what I've done wrong. Look at my enemies being really aggressive. Are you alive? Yeah, you can see like how good having like extra extended like seven star is. I don't know why I wasn't getting that in runs earlier. To be honest, it's really good. I was supposed to do a different sub story before this. Oops, a daisy. Hey, yeah. Don't mess with me. <laughs> it's fine, so I can do it in this order. Game crashed for a second though. Okay. Yes. Um. This is a pain in the ass. I did not need this to I did not need this to transport me back. I've done things in the wrong order. It's the first first time in five hours I've done one thing out of order, so that makes me kinda happy, but yeah, no, I've done this in the wrong order. Uh this guy, this next bouncy, is uh he's trying to, to kill Jack. Uh Actually, this guy is very close. That's why we do this guy now. Yes. Hey. Uh, yeah, don't mess yes. with me. Can I control the crash? Yep. Good. It's just the way that it just suddenly like cuts to black there when it usually fades out in this game. I was just like, oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've ever had Fist and All Star crash on me. I should probably make a save at the end of the chapter just in case. Mind you, if it does crash, like, you know, 30 minutes into a chapter, I'm not doing it again. It will just, I would just quit. <laughs> okay, so this guy's bounty mission is literally just right outside here. So what we need to do is go out of the gate uh, we're trying to bait out Jagra to death. Noble, noble attempt. Uh, but obviously, we are going to stop that. Supposed to look around the area and find out where the guy is. He's apparently going to kill Jagger with a crossbow, but you'll see in a second he's in a pretty obvious location. Not even trying to hide. <laughs> Just secret. Huh? Huh? 
Unfortunately, the, yeah, the members of the watch are just like, no, Captain Jack, we don't go out there. We don't want you to die. Yes. We just phase into existence. <sighs> no. And they're like, hey, Jagger, you should go back inside. Now, try and play spot the enemy. I wonder where they could be. Hmm. Hmm. That's probably them. <laughs> Well, a good crash. I'm gonna crash completely once, uh, once I'm actually, like, done with this run. I'm gonna sleep a long time. <laughs> Alright, still gonna take care of this guy. You know the drill. Hey, buddy. Hey. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought he'd actually be in position to... Really? I won't forgive you! Get my timing. Get my timing. It's, okay, it's a bit late to Perfect 7 at this point. <laughs> I perfected all three of them. Cool, cool. All right, so that is the attempt at assassin. Yes, yes, yes. So he no, mentions me. a name, Zild, I believe, which is someone that Jagra recognizes. So fun fact, the next bounty we're going after is a guy called Zild. Almost got him. All right, it's time for sub story 69. Nice. Unfortunately, it's not the 69th form we're going to finish, but it is number 69. I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> I'm actually losing everything. Uh, the missing thing that I didn't do uh, in the Wasteland, I can do it in a second, because we are going to go back to the Wasteland after this bounty mission. Again, it's pretty obvious which is the important one because there's one that's like 450 and there's one that's 10,000. The yes, yes, yes. No, yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, no, this is the one we go to the wasteland with. Never mind. Cool. Yeah, so this is the one we'll do. I'm really surprised about that sub story. Did I just not write it down? I built a car Ken! I must have written it down. I'm stunned. I just don't see it. Yeah, because I'm already doing the rest of them at that point. I must, I must do, I must do back now. And if not, it won't hurt to do back now, because I, I know I can do this, this race without needing the uh, better buggy part. The one after, that's a problem. Uh, okay, so let's go do the actual thing. Uh, you can see on the mini-map where the sub-story marker is. There we go. Oopsie! That's the one we messed up. Should be fine. Follow the road. Let's give you some uh, Receive You North Star, shall we? Follow the road? Yes. Song hey. does go hard. It's good. <laughs> hey, this is the Gurren dude we're coming to fight. Surprise. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I think this guy killed this guy's wife. I think. Let's kill him. Die. I'll he make didn't. This quick. Hey, uh, hey, no, I'm trying to aim for these two. Uh, oh, good. Uh, 
as you can see, that's full seven. I'm doing a lot of damage. Thanks. Yes. What? What? Ken? As you already guessed from sub-story missions, you can't get treasure maps. It's only from random encounters. Just a shame, because that would have been really good. Yeah. Am I going for this one? Drive east. Oh, is that the one that's at the top of the map? That might be the one that's at the top of the map. This item, the Miracle Flag, this is something that helps with flight spawns in the Wasteland, which is an issue because I need them for the treasure maps. Uh, it makes it so that flight spawns don't aggro onto you as long. It doesn't quite despawn <laughs> them, but you can get away from them a lot easier, which is good. Back over the save point. Travel over to the right hand side. Oh, I'm going away. I feel I should refuel just in case. My next refill is for quite a while. You can see it's at the top right. So that's where we're going. Ideally, again, I'd love to get into the fight to get the second arcade cabinet here. Uh, or what would be our first. But I can always get them at the very end of the run. Aiden, clean up. I, like, I know I'm not going to have, like, normally all of the arcade cabinets by the time that I need them. So... I have a section just for, you know, hey, you gotta go get the rest of these. It's unfortunate when things are tied to big RNG. So that should be everything at this point. I'll get into this fight one. We might be able to get the map out of it. It'd be very useful if we did, because we just are going up to the top, uh, top left part of the map. Right, spawn! Okay, so this is uh, Zild. Make sure we do the next one or we'll start the next one. We just can't carry it on until a little bit way through this chapter. Really? Can. You have to wait for everything on the right to go through. <sighs> yes! Right, this should be rank D. Perfect. Uh, what else is that? You do have to check every time. It's on the other side, you asshole. Uh, we'll get Zill first, and then even if we have to go back out to the wasteland, we'll go get that. That's our first arcade machine. Uh, technically first of four, but it's actually first of five. So this is good because there's a route that I'm going to be taking here that takes me up towards the arcade guys. So I can bring that over to him now. What? No. What? Hmm. <laughs> Might go make a cup of tea at the end of this chapter. Just get my energy levels back up. I'll kill you. I am the Will. I am the law! I mean, you're not, but sure. Tee-hee. <laughs> Tee-hee. 
through all. Might actually use Hidebu here. Any, any enemies there are? Okay, kill till. That is not a perfect Hidebu. Kill. You are. Yeah. It'll do, but it's not a perfect Hidebu. I don't know why I didn't perfect channel that. Do them. Right. I said the Zil. You can see in the, the left hand side as well, the timer for the treasure map is still going hey, down when I'm in a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I don't actually remember if this takes me back to the. We did decapitate him, by the way. It's just not sure. Just trying not to show you. I think it does take me back, uh, which is fine. Uh, I can just go grab the thing now, because hey, it's actually yeah. really relatively yes. close if I uh, go from here. So, the next bounty hunter mission, pain in the ass, surprise. Uh, we cannot do this one until night time, uh, which we are going to be able to do in this chapter, obviously, because we have to make it night time. Go see Ray. 40 sub stories, halfway. Unfortunately, the long shit is still to go. <laughs> we haven't even touched Cabaret yet. I hate a Valiant. Yeah, this is, uh... This is rough. <laughs> I'm also only on three hours of sleep, so I'm very... Mm. <laughs> very... Mm. There's obviously the RNG aspects, as you well know, like the treasure maps, which we just got our first. Uh, I was hoping this would be our second. Uh, but unfortunately, my efforts earlier were fruitless. Nice thing about doing Bartender Ken is, at the very least, don't have to worry about fight spawns. Thank God for that. Ken. Okay, uh, Wasteland, Western Highway to go get the arcade machine. Uh, this is the first one, so it should be... Post area? Outrun? One or two? But with the, with the, uh, the other arcade machines, in the run, I've got two more places... Uh, where I can go and try and get them there, or I've got a catch-up bit at the end that is just, hey, go get machines. Which is probably what I'll do. We were fueled up recently, so we should be fine. Actually, yeah, baseball actually should work for this one. Hey, Rebel. Thank you for the luck. Appreciate it. Ah, thank you. Thank you for doing the run. Run was great. Run was very great. I think the, I think the whole fix weekend went really well. Um... I could, I, I, I know, like, all of us who did our runs could nitpick over, like, a couple of things. The, the fight spawn luck I had over both Kiryu and Saijima was god-awful. And I am, I am mad about that one fight spawn in Tsukumino. That is a load of hot garbage. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, no, you're actually coming towards me. This is a, this is a fight. Guaranteed. <laughs> So here's the downside. You can't get two arcade treasure maps at the same time. You're going to get the one. I have to get this, get the machine, take it back, and then we can roll for another arcade machine. Which is a shame. So this is the first uh, optional fight spawn, which sucks. Perfect sack gives my seven back. Maybe I should have been close to these guys for this. Not pick for everybody else. Got kicking this game so good. So is the key field. I actually have been wondering about the key field early. Oh, Quail, thank you so very much for the gifted sub to the Valiant. Appreciate it. Again, I have to wait for the entire right hand side to fill up. This is why. This is why this sucks. <laughs> when, when you get too strong, it's just. All right. I do need those Eden oranges. Those are for Lynn. So I have too many of them. Go away. Stop, Ken. Yeah, this will be our first arcade game. Get fancy graphic. Outrun. <laughs> Outrun jump scare. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the first. Uh, we obviously go through... Would you be surprised? It's obviously the same arcade machines that you'll find in, you know... Obviously, everything from Yakuza 0 onwards. Um... I 
I'm just gonna go back to the wasteland one here, uh, to the fast travel back. I'm actually almost done with this chapter. Uh, there's not that much left that we need to do. Um, do I do... Do I do it now? I feel like I have to do it now. Because I know in a couple of chapters I'm already starting with the rest of them. I think I need to... I think I need to do the next bat race. I can do the next bat race with the basic buggy, and I think I can do the one after that if I remember rightly. But after the third one, that's when I need a better engine. So the way that I've done this is I have routed it so that there is a sub-story we do when we can get to Canyon Village, which we can't get to until we get the rock splitter in chapter 10? Um, 11? The Nautima chapter. No, it's not the Nautima chapter. But yes, it is, because you go after Hello. Yeah, it's after chapter 11. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this now. I'm fairly confident I can do this one now. And then everyone after yeah. this one, I have to wait specifically till I get the engine upgrade. Again, this is going to look like I'm not going to be able to win this race. Again, all you want to do is on every single, like, uphill, you just use a little bit of boost and you get your speed and it's fine. Don't be terrifying that one. It's true. Funnily enough, like, a lot of your opponents in this tend to drive into the obstacles. You actually really don't need to, like, boost that much, surprisingly. Again, everyone just goes slowly up hills. As long as you just, you know, boost uphill, you're fine. I think if I remember rightly, this one does have a repair in the middle. But yeah, basic, basic truck is actually fine for the majority of this. Like, even just, even just unlocking the races themselves. Do not go into these barrels, though. There's one person who is rather behind me. That's bad. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's fine. That's the tiredness kicking in. Yeah, like, if you look at the mini map, we're already, like, getting quite far ahead of them anyway. That. We don't really need the BP. So the BP can actually be used in quite a positive manner. The rock splitter is the front part that we have to farm the pieces for. There is actually another one we can get by trading the BP over to that. But the issue is the materials you need for that are rarer than the rock splitter. And the game doesn't spawn them in unlike it does for the rock splitter. Is that all? Please ignore the fact that I exploded there. Fine. Fine. <laughs> so, honestly, it's still worth just getting the rock splitter. Like... It's still faster to get the rock splitter. Um, and cheaper as well, which obviously is very important considering, you know, <laughs> yeah. 100 million IDL to pay off at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Diego. Diego's gonna be important later on. This guy is a right. jackass. Uh, so this time... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, at this time, we should be able to do the rest of this. And I do believe, I do believe we are coming up to the first round of Cabaret time. Cabaret in the run is going to be split up into three places. Mostly because Cabaret, like, obviously in other RGG Cabaret, you want to hold off for your, like, better units anyway, your better hostesses. But especially in this game. It gets really hard to use some of your, like, lower-ranked uh, hostesses. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attempting to go from my rank C hostesses all the way to rank A. And then we're going to get the rank A hostesses. So we're just going to bypass the B hostesses completely, if possible. Which is going to be a bit rough. There's a couple of missions that get very, very tight in terms of timing. Uh, this one is just Casino. Yeah, Casino. Actually, can I hand over the arcade machine? Because this is the issue. There's a man stalking me outside my house. This guy. <laughs> you can't do sub-story stuff when you're with Ray. And we're going to be with Ray until the end of the chapter because we're going after Jaggy now. Ooh. When's the next time I come up to the top left part of the map? Uh... Ow. That's a great question. Is it chapter 11? 
Might be. Hmm. <laughs> because left behind, it's true. Very true. Again, we're just going to be churning our perfect seven. So we're going to be getting one of those perfect moments into just... Hopefully exploding, everybody. Perfect. Before this fight ends, we want to make sure we grab obviously the seven that fell. If it's glowing with blue stars like that, it is a guaranteed fall, and that's because I got the perfect moment. I can also just attack them with normal attacks. Ideally, I would have hit this guy with the perfect channel, but... You just yelled about Hokuto Shinkai. That's a good point. When is my next? When is my next level up? I think it's Rao, right? I'm pretty confident it's Rao. Because it's a little. I did it a little differently in sub stories. Because I have like, I wait until I have way more. Because at the minute I can't get that many attack ups in my in my actual tree. Yeah, okay, guy's not here. He should be right here, but because we're with Ray. All right. Uh, that's a slight issue. Um, I just need to remember going forward that I have to go back to the arcade guy at some point so I can get more arcade machines. It should be fine as long as I remember it the next time I'm up in this part of the world. Which, again, should be chapter 10 or 11. Seven. Right, so take care of these guys first. I should probably have a key field at this point. Where are you going, buddy? Come in. I should also consider using Hidebu in this fight, honestly. Like, you have this one enemy here that gives you Hidebu, like, guaranteed every time. And, like, the full the full charge Hidebu obviously takes care of enemies in one hit. It's really good. Okay, so this should be the one... This one doesn't give you the mark on the map. This should be the one that is south of the seed shot. And then at that point, Ray disappears. So if there's any time to do sub-story stuff, it's now. And I don't... Actually, yeah, because we have to. Hope the fighting isn't too Ow. bad tomorrow. We have to go to Rob's bar. One who's gonna win. This is the wrong road. I should have gone down one more. Uh, we have to go to Rob's bar. So, yeah, this is where I'm going up to the top left, and I can hand over the arcade machine. Ow. Yeah, this works. This works. This works. Ow. Yeah, this very much works. This fight sucks. Like. This fight is weirdly aggressive in any percent. This fight actually really, really hurts. A couple of, like, larger enemies. Like, you can take care of them quickly, but if they, like, start stunlocking you, it's really bad. You messed a bit. Yeah, it's been five and a half hours. You've got a lot left to go, though. And there's, like, six hours of cabaret coming up. There's a lot. I'm actually a bit scared. Okay, thanks, game. I want this guy dead. This guy sucks. That's why I got him first. Oh, you feel healed. That's why I'm glad I actually got the 7 with the other guy. I appreciate the heal for Jack. Oh, I have kill. Again, I should use the Hidibu there. Uh, if you're wondering, we will be using the Hidibu at least one point in this run. Uh, we will need it for a certain Emon at the end of this. <clears throat> That's a jackass in this. He actually hits me. He actually kills me in free hits. It's really bad. Oh, excuse me. He does actually kill me in free hits. <laughs> I'm actually a bit worried. I'm going to be very tired when we get to that bit. And I have a strat for, I have a strat for Emon, but it requires me to bait his attack out. And I don't like that. Alright, so, this is where we have to figure out the real Jaggy. It's always the same one each time, thankfully. Um, you get to ask a series of questions. If you have a little bit of helpful, if you have, like, knowledge of, like, Fist and Little Star, you have, like, a little bit of extra help. 
Jaggy always lies, just but there are a couple of questions that are pretty much, you know, hey, this is the guy. Looks like how he's lying there. Like everyone, like we ask if everyone's ready, and Jaggy's like, no. But he says yes because he's lying. Let's so, begin. Are you the real Jaggy? Your... It's obviously gonna get no across the board because the real Jaggy's question. lying. Are you a citizen of Eden? Jaggy's gonna say yes because he's lying, so it's gonna get a yes across the board. Starting to narrow it down. Man to your left, a citizen of Eden. It... Hmm. Hmm. That's curious. Think you're getting <laughs> close? Next. Do you like swimming? That that requires a bit of inside knowledge. No, Jaggy doesn't. One more ought to do it. Do you have a little brother? Of course he does. Ken. What? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It is obviously the one on the right. Have you figured out which? Jaggy Some of the other ones real? are obviously a little better to figure out who Jaggy yeah. is, but obviously for speed we just go with the top <laughs> options. The one about the citizen is like one of the biggest kind of like tip-offs that hey, it's this guy. No. Again. If we were playing with the Japanese dub, this would be uh, Majibus VA. I haven't done a run with the Japanese dub for ages. There's no differences speedrun-wise between stupid? English dub and Japanese dub. Uh, but I thought for 15 hours Every of this, it would be good to the have the English dub. I like the English dub in this game. Hold on, Ken. Everyone's like, RGG's <laughs> dub's got really good with judgment. But honestly, the English dub for this is good. The English Look dub for this is very, you. very good. There's Targa being a pain in the backside again. He's he's gonna be like this for a while. We'll finish dealing with him in like or like nine hours from now. I'm at this <laughs> God. It's just you all sick. it's just Come on. all of the What's the hold up? Aren't you gonna send me to hell? It's just all of the it's just all of the cabaret. That's probably the bit I'm looking forward to the least, is just like doing all the cabaret and staying awake. Like, but the cabaret in this I actually really like. Like, I didn't use to like the cabaret in this, but it's different to the cabaret that's in Zero and Cave 2. And I really respect it for that. And it actually doesn't stop the timer when you do it. Cabaret in this is fast paced. And it's different. Like, they tried something different, and I actually do think it worked. I actually do like it a lot. I'll prove I should have been chosen. PCF in LED, you Settle your affairs. <laughs> yeah, well, reminder, we're less than one month away from Gaiden. I'm excited. Hope you're all excited. I do, yeah, I think K2 Cabaret is my favorite just for the quality of life stuff that they did over Zero's where, you know, you can speak to multiple hostesses. Like, Zero's Cabaret, if you're doing all sub-stories, requires 36 times minimum because you can only talk to one hostess at a time. Whereas, obviously... Obviously, with K2, you can speak to multiple at the same time. So, you can really, really lower it down, which is nice. So, you actually can't interact with the Colosseum this side. But you have to, to put the story upon. So, we do that, and then we go top left. So, I do want to go to Rob's Bar for the bounty. But first, before that, as we said, we're going to hand over our first arcade machine. Very nice. Good. Very good. So, yeah. This is what I was hoping for, was us to have a job of opportunity to just hand this over here. It is. I, I do think they are releasing yeah. the both of them back to back a little too close to each other. And I also think, you know, having LED before Persona 3 Reload, like a week before, is a bit... A bit weird, but... Yeah. Their fiscal report this year ain't gonna be too hot because of hyenas. Yeah. So, it's obviously, you know, because of that. I was really hoping and banking on Infinite Wealth being April. Because, like, like, February and January are already too packed as is. Like, Infinite infinite Wealth into Grand Blue Fantasy Relink six days later into Sona Free Reload the day after into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the end. Are you kidding me? There's a hell? This is a random fight spawn. This, even though we have the thing that gets rid of random fight spawns, yes, you can get random fight spawns. <clears throat> They're just a part of the establishments. Go away. Go away. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> yeah, Hyenas was the cancel creative assembly FPS. It was done as Thank well. Very much. Um, Fred, I do need that. Damn it. Yeah. All right. Um, that bread is going to be useful for Lin's shop. You're going to hear me say that a lot. 
Uh, for Lin's shop, I haven't found, like, because Lin's sh list, like, changes every single time, there's no consecutiveness to it. It is literally just RNG. I'm going to be speaking to Lin every so often. I'm just going to wait until, like, we get to the finale and just run back and forth. It's the qu it's not the, like, quickest way, I don't think, but it is the most consecutive. Your opponent. That was not perfect. That's not the problem. There we go. Okay, I need to make sure I don't kill all of them. Pick up my full seven for the Jangy fight. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, Tekken 8, Infinite Wealth on the same day. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth at the end of February. The Tomb Raider Remaster Collection in the middle of February. Like, there is so much in January and February. It's absurd. Like, and obviously, you know, I'm going to be playing, obviously, and I think most of you are going to be playing the heck out of Gaiden and, like, Infinite Wealth. And even though Gaiden is a shorter game, hey. there are a lot of people that like to take a break after an RGG yeah. game. Like... Asking what? people to get two RGG games in the space of, like, two months is a bit... It's a lot. Hey, Iska turns up. He's all like, yep, yeah, that's that bounty done. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, we should be heading back to the nightclub. And we're going to be picking up a substory on the way, because we actually start here. Uh, this substory, because this... Remember when I said earlier about the Kisana substory? This would have been the place to do it, because the next part of it is in the uh, nightclub, which we're going to, but we're picking up one substory on the way. This substory is infinitely useful in any percent for getting rid of fight spawns. Uh, we're actually going to be doing it today for the obvious reasons of all substories. Uh, this is one of my favorite substories in this game. This is the seven second burger sub story. This is a good one. So, what? this kid wants a burger. <sighs> three second gorgon. God, it was three second. I thought it was seven. So, yeah, this kid wants a burger. So, we're going to speak to him again just to accept this so we can move this on. So, we've now been told where to get some, like, really rare meat for said burgers. Hello, Hina. And this, this is going to be round one of After I go and pick up a teddy, I'm going to go inside. This also pushed the he, uh, Lyra inside as well, which is good. Teddy. <laughs> so this is the guy that stole from Kisana. This is Kisana's teddy bear that Lyra actually gave to Kisana. You owe me one. I'm about to yeah. do a hundred million IDLs worth of work. You don't owe me shit. No, you owe me shit. I know you shit. Hmm. But don't forget, remember that the only time, there's only five times in the game we can actually interact with Kasana to give her the teddy bear. This is one of those times, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait till the finale. Alright. Here we fucking go. No, I don't want you to go over everything again. Leave me alone. So. We're gonna... Actually, am I gonna hypercharge Hina? I don't think I need to. Okay, so that should be all our floor clue for now. So, make 50k in profit. It's actually not too bad. Get ready to cat jam. You're gonna hear this a lot. So, this is manager Ken. It's a little different to your well, usual cat break. So, geez. see the timer at the top? It's not gonna stop. They're gonna want specific girls. Uh, I'm gonna put on Judy. Hina and... Actually, no, because I need all four here, don't I? And here's the thing. You'll see at the bottom, there's a lot of UI. Hina has a skill. Take your time. At the top left is the skill bar filling up. Oh, yeah. These guys don't actually have like a re like preferred hostess, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, but Hina gets three times seals from a seated guest. I'm not going to use Hina just yet, because we're going to want to have somebody with a bit more deeper pockets like this. Use immediately and just get rid of him. Because Hina actually works best on this guy walking in. It's a bit of a problem, because, uh, yeah, I need, need Hina for you. I should be using the skill on this guy as soon as it's available. I actually should have... I'll tell you what, I should have actually used the Kangool or the Kangmeal on Hina. Just to make her a bit stronger at the start here. The is, we're getting a lot of people here that, you know, want Hina. And the issue is, can't get Hina off quick enough. 
Now, I can put other hostesses on at the same time. You can put two per. Uh, this can help them if you don't have anyone that's, you know, one of their favorites. At this point, we have the money that we need. We're good at this point. I don't need to go too hard on see everything. You, you're seated. You're three times from seated, which would actually help here. And you are healed, which would also help. I don't need to make them satisfied. I just want the sales to take your time. Look at You're my type. You're my type. I wouldn't mind healing Hina here just in case, but it's fine. Welcome. Are you seriously still unhappy, my dude? It's like Angela. Got a whole bunch more money. Before the end. Hey, Cubs! Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the luck. I am gonna need it. Alright, so. We got ourselves a new hostess. We're gonna put her in immediately. So, the plan here is to get to rank C. Yes. That's the important part. So, we are gonna assign Olivia. She comes after you finish one mission. Assign four crew. Olivia. I'm actually gonna train. I'm gonna train Hina with this canned meal. That's gonna make her level 34. <laughs> Satisfy at least four guests. Satisfy means get rid of all of their money. Good evening. <laughs> I do that with Hina, so it's a supercharger. Wonderful. This guy likes Rebecca. You want to match them up as best they can. Pink well, is good. You can see below at the bottom there what they really like. That guy likes power. Good for you, bud. You're cute. This guy likes sexy. So, skills are super important in this. Skills are super, super important. This guy's going to be satisfied. Like, he's gone on the next turn, so even if I was level 1, not going to well, use it. Healing skills are very good as well. Healing skills can keep you safe in this bit. Cute. Nice to meet you. So I'm going to hit this guy immediately with Hina's skill. Because Hina is leveled up. She's demolishing. Good evening. Take your time. I'm not going to bother heal, like, raising up the, uh, the squad of, like, C ranks. They're only going to last until we get to next rank. Go ahead. So all hostess is seated around you does also mean these to the left and the right. It's mostly the, like, also the one next to you here. You do, do remember that. It's going to heal just in case. Oh, it doesn't actually mean the one above. Sorry, that's the all around one. That's right. What the fuck? You. Hey, buddy, you fuck off. Got my clock. You shut the fuck up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, chat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, chat. I was gonna get these guys out of here and just blast them with Hina like immediately. This is also getting me a lot more money for my sales, so it'll give me more money at the end. Uh, if you can't read the uh, UI at the end, don't worry about it. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to pass in terms of hey, like you're getting this much put back towards the loan. This is what you're getting. This is so fun. Yeah. There's a lot. I am going through it rather quickly. Oh? Yes. Skill, Lobo. Good evening. Good evening. These guys suck. These guys are like monks. They don't particularly care about anyone in particular. So I'm just gonna give him these two. I remember. Thank you for waiting. Because that way I still have, yeah. You know, left, which is important. You, you're just an ass. I'm just gonna like let him go. Now, what I do want to do, and I should have done this a bit earlier, uh, I want to change the service style. This one is only one skill used. All these early missions, as you can probably guess, super easy. You should be using skills to get rid of these guys, to be honest. As it says, use skills to deal with them. Go ahead. Pretty cute. Good to see Until next time. Go. 
For these early missions, the money really doesn't matter that much. Take your time. It's been a while. I'm getting wasted. Oh, I'm getting wasted. Oh, you do not like anybody, huh? I'm gonna get rid of Mikina. Take your time. If I don't have anyone that they like, I just hit them with a skill to try and get rid of them quicker. Hina should be able to demolish that guy. Uh, I might do that for HP purposes. This guy is kind of suck. It's fine. Are there any other no, it's, it's just over at this point. You only have to use one skill. Again, some of these are really, really simple. Skill Panacea. Very good. Gives me a green orb. Just three orbs. So do I have the thing yet? No, I don't. It's enough. I can't remember when I get it is the issue. Now, the whiskey as well. Uh, that we have. Yes. That can be given to hostesses as well. That can improve their stats. Or I can have it for seven star for myself. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sign for Alright, we now have strength, which is great. Prepared for trouble. A little crisis. Okay, so here's what I want to do. So this is super important. We are going to put on uh, Hot Turbo and Crusher Strike. We are going to change you to... Actually, I'm going to change the discount to you. So this is important for later. Uh, you want specifically four skills to get rid of customers. It's not going to come up until later. Also, we only have to deal with the crisis if they occur. We can make it so that the crisis doesn't occur. Alrighty. Let's Isn't that Tori? Although Tori is actually very good for these guys. So I probably should have waited on Tori for obviously the Wasteland guys. These guys love Pal. All sex. Some of them like Pal. Some like Sex. So as long as he stays happy, it's only these thugs that are an issue that need to be dealt with. So if they're happy like this, okay. So I want to keep at least one skill bar just in case I have to deal with trouble. So now that I am skill level 2, I can demolish with Hina. He is not happy, so I'm going to give him a second hostess to try and make him happy. There you go. That's the other point of putting on multiple hostesses, is to try and also make your customer happy. It stops a m bit more of the HP loss that you would get from your singular, like, hostess on duty. Take your time. Yep. No need to worry about the crisises if you just deal with the crisis. Take your time. What I'm actually going to do is put you on because that way I can use my heal skill. Just make sure you're okay. She would have been fine anyway, but this is a bit of an issue. Take your time. You're beautiful. Nice yes. If I get brakes for my car, you'd probably think, hey, you should probably have used those earlier, but... <laughs> oh? Who needs brakes yes. for their car, am I right? Haha. <laughs> Alright, this is the rank B sub-story. Tenkina. <laughs> so, at this point, we do actually have... Um... We do actually have uh, rank B. Hey. A good leave at this point. Uh, which actually, do I do the Junkina now? Yes. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I leave for now. Pretty confident I leave for now. Jayba, thank you for gifting sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. So this is Hida's substory, or her first substory. Everybody has two, but the rest don't unlock until we've got to like the their specific missions later on. 
I shouldn't sleep off this. Same. I have fun. That's the answer. I have fun. What about Hokuto Shinken? Yes. <laughs> Teacher Hokuto Shinken. <laughs> What is this? Fun. Your chapter 9 really is Rallo, isn't it? I'm leaving. That might seem weird. I'm leaving. Bye. Lyra. What's that? Oh, that's just what I wanted to get up to. Trust me on this one. Because that will get me a couple of hostesses that I do want to get. That's the whole reason why I want to get to rank 2. Or rank B. We'll see. God, I hope I did that right. I'll know soon if I didn't. Anyway. Time for Jaggy. This is one of the more unique boss fights in an RGG game. Because if we move from this spot, he will kill Ray's sister Irie. So instead, let's go sit here. So we're not going to. We're going to do a nice first person fight. Super cool. It's actually super cool. We do this right without damage. We're going to have a lot of damage right now. Could be doing more. Go straight into this one. So again, we're waiting until the perfect time for this because these do more damage that way and get us more seven. The seven is an issue right now. Hee <laughs> hee. Good job, brother. So nice to be able to do jab this fight just instantly. <laughs> Kick him in the foot. Alright, there you go. Now for the actual fight. There is an actual, actual fight. Uh, this fight should be pretty tough, but uh, we're about to demolish Jaggy. We have two things at our disposal. And obviously, Seven Star is one of them. Just to hit his timer a little bit. Oh, he actually high armored that. I'm upset. Said he wouldn't. Come on, buddy. Phantom Shadow missed somehow. That would usually be an issue, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have to use Toki at this point. So, Toki's Destiny Talisman is off uh, cooldown, and it's very good. Don't get to see the power of it just yet. I'm just still standing there. <laughs> <laughs> that body orb is useful. That gets us more damage. Yeah, this game's QTEs are very, very good. I like a lot of what this game does. I really like a lot of what this game does. It's definitely not my favorite RGG game, but I do like what it brings to the table. It tries to be different, and it tries to be first than All-Star, and I think it succeeds. Like, I think it very much succeeds. And it's also really cool that, obviously, like for a, a crossover game, you would have, you know... Fights against the big enemies like Jaggy. And the next, the However, next chapter's guy. I am going to suspend your sentence. Eden will never bend the knee, nor will we withdraw our hand. Extend. Sir, might come back to bite you in the Fuck ass, you. Kisana. Lucky had nothing to do with it. It's Kisana. <laughs> it's all right, Jaggy. <laughs> And now the grind come out super great. Yeah, the grind is definitely there. And again, the, the issue with the, the speed run, for like the help. 80% and all sub-stories, it, it shows off like how big of a grind you have to do in this, which is a shame. This is Ray leaving, by the way. That's why we did Ray's sub-story earlier. Otherwise, we have to wait till premium adventure. Um, 
Okay, we should be good at this point. Oh, hey! It's Daddy Dearest. I like how it says, my how strong you've grown. You'd think he'd be talking about his daughter, but the camera just pans on to Ken. <laughs> but doesn't care about his daughter. He's just like, man, Ken, you've grown strong. <laughs> mm. I remember what Jaggy's talisman actually does. What? Remember to split this chapter? <laughs> I actually remember to split this chapter. Oh my god. <laughs> Christmas miracle. Alright, so. There's a couple of things we need to do here. Uh, we need to do here, actually, at the bazaar. Uh, there's a couple of items that we want. And a hostess. And hostesses. We're gonna go to Ksana, we're gonna go by the bazaar. Again, the nice thing is we don't have any, obviously, fight spawns because of the uh, accessory we got. Might need to make some space in my inventory, actually. Actually, might need to. Hey, Lynn. Oh, Lynn's not around, it's nighttime. Awesome. <clears throat> also, you might get to see the devil herself sat outside of our house now. A lady right there. She's the one we're paying the debt back to. Actually. Hey. Hey, Lynn. Anything I can hand over to you? Again, I'm just gonna come see Lynn every single time we're like back here, just trying like to push this. Lynn along in the run. <sighs> Alright, fine. Take the withered grass. Shut up. Is that everything? Shut up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> um... Welcome. Thank you. Why? Thank you, Ken. That's interesting. I'll listen to my notes. My notes say decline, I'll decline. <laughs> about your list now. Is there anything good now? Something like this. No. Come back later. Come back later when I have an inventory that can hold stuff. Uh, I need to go to you, don't I? Uh, and I need to. I'm gonna dump my bland jerkies at this point. Welcome. Uh, wait, actually, it's not you I want, is it? No, I'll need you later. Where is... where is... where is... where is... Hey, I might have messed up, and I'm not happy Welcome. about this. Uh, Bizarre Croquet, and I want the Prime Jerky for later. Uh, these are important to get hostesses. I swear there's supposed to be a, a hostess in this bit, and I don't see her. Be back here. I know there's one that appears here later. Ooh, this might be bad. Should have done better notes. Not here, are you? No. Whoa. Alright, I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on, and then if I don't see the next hostess, who I will be getting in a second, then I've done something wrong. Which, if so, that's fine. Oh yeah, these guys asked me to pay back like with like uh, like a million or like ten million or something. Mm. Yeah, decline. Then we fight. I'm giving you my money. Interesting. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh to bartender. Alright. I do get some. You can give them the ten million, I believe. But I would lose ten million. And I have to pay back a loan of one hundred million. So I'd rather not. There really no there really no post S here. Frustrating. Take a look. Hey, Very frustrating. All right. If I'm missing, if I'm missing one of my hostesses, this is gonna be bad. You're not here. 
Have I... Did I not get to rank B? Did I not actually get to rank B? That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really, really bad. Uh... Uh, I think I've got to go do it. I'm like one mission off. I have to do like the sub story mission. That's really bad. It's really, really bad. Ugh. Should have done this earlier. Hi, Hina. Uh, let's work in the nightclub even though it's yes. the middle of the day. God, it allows you to do that. I should have done this earlier. Uh, I think I've got everyone I can put on to duty right yeah. yeah i'm still rank d that's why oh my god then now she gets rank c Good evening. sucks well yeah that's why take your time uh hina needs all the sales if anyone asks for hina put her out uh i can put her out for like this guy but this is the guy that he like really likes hina so we just put her out and then use her skill when it's available obviously this is so fun yeah, this would this should get me to rank C. That's a big mistake on my part. I need the hostesses that I'm trying to get. It's super important. Like Hina's already at 40k, by the way. We've already finished the mission. Hina is very strong. Hina is exceedingly strong. And we have Womanizer. Now, the issue with wo Womanizers is that they actually uh, do damage to your hostesses a lot quicker. And so I'm going to use Hina to demolish the guy. It wouldn't be an issue with Hina because Hina is obviously very high level, thanks to what we've done. Uh, you can have these two. Like, even though they're not, like, ones that he really wants, it's still fine because they're good enough that he will just accept two of them together and still have a good time. Wow, this is great! This is great! This is great. He's got taste. This man's got taste. Exactly. Mm, you're Thanks so much. We could use Rebecca as well to get free time sales if this was earlier. So dull. Go ahead. You mean so dull? Oh, baby. Thank you. Cute, huh? <laughs> you mean. I know that Hina's not good here, but I have three levels of skill. I'm just gonna abuse Hina. Hina's just gonna get rid of every single customer. But I can just get these, get these out, like immediately. That was so much fun. Just use Hina. Hina wins. Can I switch? Can I switch? No, it's the end of the day. Get out. Now, we just got given something very, very good. The thing that we just got given is the best item that you will ever see for a cabaret minigame. Yeah. I'm going to go back in to check that I am the right rank at this point because I will show you exactly what it does. It is very, very good. It is the Vogue Confection. It's going to make Fist of the North Stars cabaret exceedingly overpowered. Um... Wasn't Hokuto Shinken. Nope. <laughs> I did not teach her how to blow up people's heads. That should be rank C. If that's not rank C, I'll be fucking stunned. I can use it now oh. as well to get it out of my inventory, which is good. Yes. So. Every single one of your hostesses has a condition rating. When that condition drops too low, they do not come back in for the next shift. One of them is probably going to do that right now. Yep, absent. However, if you train cast, go to Hina and use the Vogue Confection. Look at her condition. Back to being happy again. I'm rank D still? Bro, what happened? What actually happened? This is weird. Something is wrong. I guess to satisfied. Something is very wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Why can't I remove you? There we go. Something is very, very wrong. Good evening. Welcome. Hmm. Go ahead. I mean, 
no, nope, something has gone wrong since my since my uh, routing is all. Let's see how quickly. Yeah, she'll get him. He'll be happy. Will she? She might not. Take her back as well. Again, they'll also get more money out of him if there's two of them. See? We just need to make sure no one is unhappy. This guy usually likes either sexy or power. In this case, sexy. Fortunately, Angela is not in good condition right now. Oh, he's happy. I can't complain. Good for him. And the nice thing is, you can use skills like this to get rid of customers faster. But if they're not too happy, you can do something like, say, do a Hina on someone, use her skill, and get them the fuck out. Just my type. Good evening. Like right here, I don't have anyone that's super great for this guy, but if I just use Hina's skill, he's gone. Can't be dissatisfied if I get rid of him literally instantly. Take your time. That was so much fun. Welcome. Thanks for waiting. Should take everybody on that guy. Not what I expected. Thanks for waiting. Good evening. You expected? It's fine by me. Go ahead. That was awesome. Can I switch? Welcome. Oh, you cannot Take switch. It is the Hina show. Hina is the best. Also, by making everybody satisfied, that is filling our skill bar up uh, quicker. There are dissatisfied customers every time. Go ahead. Task me rank C, right? Is my store still rank D? What the fuck? I'm doing more cabaret than I yes. should do. <clears throat> it's fine. This is going to work. How did this go so differently last time? Uh, we have three hostesses that aren't too excited right now. Uh, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, we'll have to keep Olivia with us. That's fine for now. Yeah. Do I have space for one more? They do, but they do need... They do need to be rested, so I'm going to rest them. It's fine. Four should be fine. But, four crises. If it happens. We don't, we, we can stop the crisis from happening. Go ahead. Oh, exquisite. He likes cute. Good for him. Unfortunately, this one is mainly a, someone, some of these are mainly, you know, troublemakers. Like this one. Take your time. This guy should like power climb him rightly, so yep, yeah, he gets Tori. Tori's gonna carry us early on. Actually, was my notes... My notes was to get to rank C. I'm stupid. I only got to rank D. Yep, I, I know what I've done wrong. I know what I've done wrong. It's fine. It's fine. Hey. I will bring Hina in. This will also get some sales extra so I can stop him from... I won't have a skill. That's bad. This guy's going through bouts of he's happy to he's sad. I, I can't get it. I don't understand him. <laughs> I just need to stop any crises from happening. We're going to need Hina for this one. Take your time. Oh, baby. Because I can't, I can't find anybody else that will, uh, that this guy will like something out for hostesses. So I'll just use Hina to get rid of him. Again. Sometimes we just gotta demolish with Hina. Can I try again? Try again. No, no, you can't. No thanks. an issue. That was the shit. Amazing. You're pretty hot. You're You're happy. Right. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, Wolf? No, thanks. She's my best girl. Okay. My best girl. Shut your face. Thank you. As long as the guy at the bottom left uh, doesn't, you know, start to yell, we should be fine. We're out. Take your time. Still 
Roxy! Whiskey! Need that for Lynn. Don't ask me why I just said I need that for the eight-year-old. She has very peculiar tastes. I'm not working again. Piss off. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Now the hostesses that we want should be appearing. So I'm going to go to the uh, right-hand side of the bazaar. Don't turn up. I'm going to be fucking sad, I'm telling you. There we go. Hello there. All right. Want to welcome a nightclub? Sometimes they just turn around. Wait, what do you want? I used my Vogue Confection. Fuck. I forgot. It's fine. I can get one right here. It's fine. I'm supposed to not use it on here. Damn it. I've already put that in my notes to not use that. Uh, I'm just going to use my last bland jerky. I'm in a bland jerky around here. I should have cleaned my inventory up and used some Welcome. stuff from Hina, to be honest, because Hina is going to be our number one. Uh, this Vogue Convection, you can buy it here at Imori. Uh, as you can see with the Bizarre Bell, it also lowers the price, which makes this obviously really, really good. We're going to be able to stop all of our top hostesses from ever getting tired. Hey! So sometimes you uh, want to give them items. Sometimes they'll just say, fuck it, I'll come work with you. I had to bartender for hostess. Zoop. This way. Ow. Ow. Also, chat. Do you like cameos? And by cameos, I don't mean the, you know, the audio from celebrities. Um. Where's your bizarre croquet? That's why I got the bizarre croquet. Um. I mean cameos as in, you know, cameos from other games and stuff. Uh, as you all know, uh, this is an RGG Studios game. And all of a sudden, as we walk in here, and I speak to Jagra, hey. he's like, I've got a message for you. Some dude who's called Kamaki has turned up and challenged you to a fight. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's our Kamaki. Also, while I'm here, next bounty hunter mission, please. Again, it's obvious which one's the ones you, you have to do. already dead. It's crushed. Because he's in here. Oh, he is. He yeah, should no, be a hard no. fight. He's not. Anyway. Uh, what do I want my orbs for? Uh, not you. Not you. I would like you at some point, but not yet. Uh, if I go here, I get attack 20. Uh, then we go down by one. We get health. Health isn't what we're here for. We're here for attack 20 and 40, 90, as you can see down here. So this is the rest of our big attack ups at this point. Uh, that health we don't care about. Burst defense, I will take that because that's actually kind of useful. What was the one below? Uh, no, that is a good one, to be fair. We'll get that later, not just yet. Uh, I would like some more of those, but... Ah, I went to the wrong one. I don't want to go this one. Ew, leave me alone. Uh, we have one mind orb. Uh, burst power plus two. And I'm going to go get myself a key field. Keyfield is actually surprisingly good for the cost of one orb uh, from your um, cost of one orb from your um, seven star. You can actually should I be doing this one here? No, I should be going to green actually. At this point, should we go to green or should we be going down? Mm, I wouldn't mind triple finisher honestly. I also wouldn't mind getting down here for the rest of this stuff. It's fine. I need to work on blue anyway. I actually needed a blue orb, so that's fucked me up a little bit. Went the wrong way. It's fine. Uh, fast. Don't care. Do yeah, I should have gone down bottom path of orange. Uh, actually, I'll hold off for now. Get the rest later. Uh, the attack up stuff is just the important stuff for now. I really wanted to work on the left-hand side of my blue because that gets me more secret technique and one more burst, which is obviously useful. Uh, at this point, north and west of Seed Shop. Oh, yeah, right. She's in the middle of the road. All right, right. Yeah, she's like right here. She's actually hiding. If you run down this way, you might miss her because she's right here. So sometimes you just ask if they want to work at the nightclub. And she has a headache, so we're going to do the hook to her. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. These hostesses are going to carry us up all the way up until we get to rank A. They're very, very good. 
They're very good. Anyway, let's run through this way. We see that guy. All the way over there by that tree, that sapling. We're going to deal with this guy's substory quite a bit later on. <laughs> uh, he's hoping this tree will grow up nice and big and strong. Huh? He's going to get interested as well. Yeah. <laughs> I love my notes. Go to what? Burger Kid. Good. <laughs> I, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Tree of Hope. Deal with this tree of hope in a couple of chapters. Because he's going to disappear. We have to actually move away to get him to spawn back in. I tried going in and out of the clinic and that doesn't respawn it. But here he is! Oh, correct. Yeah. It's him! It's Kamaki. He is really fast, actually. Uh, it has not that much HP. That's a bad miss. I could do my seven, which honestly might be a good idea. He's fast. He's not that strong at the minute. Remember, I don't have any armor at the moment. I will be in this chapter. I just need to get to the point where I can, you know, channel him. Sorry, old man. This is gonna this is gonna be bad for you. <laughs> this is gonna be very bad for the old man. I did not want him to go into green, which is a bit of an issue, but he's dead now. This is why we get our attack up before the fight. Kamaki he really ain't much in this. <laughs> Take this by way of thanks. The bloody bandage. Bloody bandage is a wild thing. Very wild thing, actually. Uh, the bloody bandage. I don't actually have anything else equipped right now, so I might as well. Uh, the bloody bandage. Uh, Sounds like builds faster than Star of Death grows. But, yeah. I'm going to do bizarre, obviously, stuff. I will obviously put the bell back on at this point. Burger Kid. Burger Kid. Burger Kid. That was Death Animation here, too. Yeah. It's like, it's this game has, like, a lot of, like, weird, nice nods. It's really good. For those of you who don't know, you can actually get uh, K uh, Kiryu as a skin. Uh, it was a pre-order bonus and then was like... I think it's like... I think it's on the PSN store for like two quid, I think. Hey, right, this man gives you 50,000 yen. Steak time. Excuse me. Mr. Beef. I'm Mr. Beef. Not Mr. Beast, I'm Mr. Beef. Mr. Beast gives out money, I give out beef. Mr. Beast did that as well. <laughs> We're woefully short on knives. We won't need one. Ooh. It's such a bit of a waste with how much meat is coming off there, but you know what? You do, you can. <laughs> good. Look at, those, look at those burger patties. Those actually do look really good. So here's the issue. How do we cook it, we say? Yay. Well, how ironic that the man with the flamethrower decides to turn up. Huh? Remember me, meat man? Ah. This is the guy who was like wanting 10 million for the beef. He's decided that he can kill me with a flamethrower, which actually, to be fair, flamethrower enemies in this game are annoying. They're actually really strong, especially like the later you get in the game. Uh, unfortunately for him, I have Hokuto Shinken. <gasps> Oh, you fell. That sucks. Surprised I'm only being three levels lower than me. I'm still doing a lot of damage. <laughs> I've got pretty much all the major attack orbs hey. that I need at this point. The this point, all I want to work on is my mind stuff. Uh, so blue. And of course, now that we have the flamethrower, we can cook the meat. <laughs> Of course we can. <laughs> yeah, they are in the shape of the Big Dipper. Yep. <laughs> it kind of looks like... Ken will just hit that guy in the back. It kind of looks like, you know, Ken's kind of <laughs> char grilling them. But he controls the fire with such deafness. And of course... Look at that. Well, that makes me hungry. Well, that looks good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't eaten in like seven hours. 
That is the ignition orgo I was talking about earlier that you can use to get the uh, Dusty Talisman to set fire to people. Hey. Um, necessary for a trophy with Towser. No. Easier to do New Game Plus. What? If you do it on uh, New Game, you have to either grind uh, buggy races or Coliseum. Actually, I'm not sure if the Coliseum one is available. Anyway. Story time. You already grilled, yes. Alright, story time. We're now going to push on the story. We're going to go see Brother Dearest. Oh boy. Oh boy. I never said how much I hate stairs in this game. There's no RGG game that has made me hate stairs more than this game. Why does Ken slow down on stairs? My dude, you could jump them. <laughs> They're gonna jump them. I'm pretty sure Ken could probably jump this as well. <laughs> Story purposes, we don't. Chat, time's half out. Kisana. So at this point, I'm a nice, lovely conversation with Kisana. See, he's reverting to his true form. This door will open. Nuclear missiles. Oh yeah, there's nuclear missiles back there, by the way. Forgot to tell you. forgot to mention that. <laughs> to prevent. Is that Alan says in Zero and Crummy? You do, unless you are sprinting. This game does not have a sprint button. This is just Kenjiro's speed. But if you are sprinting on stairs in Zero and Kiwami 1, you do not slow down. Unfortunately, Jagra says we've got trouble. Rao is here. <laughs> Rao is actually here. That is trouble. Oh, Ken don't run. Ken skip leg day. They did model Ken's ass kind of nicely, though. It's a little flat, but it's, it's, got, it's got some shape. Not too bad. Got some cheeks. Anyway, I need to uh, I need to go to the Cursed oh, Village. I thought you'd be going back there. We're actually going to be going back there one last time for a sub-story. Uh, in uh, in a chapter coming up with uh, Ray again, actually. Oh, that's a sprint button. Especially if you consider this game came out after, you know... OG Ishin and Zero and Kiwami and they all had sprint buttons. Um, great RGG butts, uh, don't tempt me. I'd rather do that than this. I'm actually enjoying this so far. We haven't got to the big grind part yet. That is coming. That's actually coming in like two chapters. <laughs> so we're actually getting there. We're actually making like relatively decent progress. I'm kind of surprised. I thought this would be like the 8 hour mark at this point. We're actually not doing too bad. I still think this is going to be like 15 hours, but I'm hoping that I've overestimated. God, I'm hoping I overestimated. We have a lot of sub-stories. In the next chapter, we are going to be doing the entirety of like the driving around the wasteland sub-stories. So it's just going to take a long time. It's just going to take such a long time. Also, I need to make some room in my inventory. So, because Rao is here, the game is like, alright, Rao is a much stronger opponent. Yeah. And it gives you a letter from Toki saying, you should probably come and train with me, brother. No. <laughs> Toki has actually good moves. Toki blocks off the entirety of the top part of the, um, of the green skill tree. But Toki does have some good moves. Toki has a dodge in particular that just gets you behind the enemy. It's really good. Really, really good. Fortunately, we're not going to get it. It's going to take me time if I do go and get it. <laughs> because we're with Jagra, we can't get treasure maps. So don't try. And the quickest way to get there is to just drive. <laughs> so I come in. So here's the issue that we've got at the minute. Uh, with 
Normally in any percent, we would have no armor on at this point, and we would literally die in free hits to Rallo. Thankfully, there is somebody that does sell armor uh, coming up, which is good. We also have a very cheeky hidden little secret. I didn't actually find this what? guy until I was writing all sub stories, so I'm actually really happy yeah, about this. Good. Because this guy has. There's somebody hiding here that's going to give us something very, very good. But again, I am going to have to clear up my inventory a little bit. Uh, I need one more space. And I do need to heal, so you know what? Perfect. That works out very well. Considering this is all sub stories, I can afford to use Toki in this next fight. Start with Toki. If I go down here, here's this dude. I speak to this dude. He gives us a canned feast, which is one of the best healing items in the game. Thanks. <clears throat> Appreciate it. If I give that to one of my hostesses, they are going to level up like an absolute metric ton. Alright, also importantly, thanks for the premium whiskey. Never sell that. We want the warrior's jackets and the warrior's pants. That's our armor. We would also get uh, shoulder blades if this was any percent, uh, but we already obviously have some. Done my level up, so I don't need to do my level up anymore. There you go. Full seven, which is good. We're going to start this fight with full seven. We'll use Toki's second phase. Skippable? No. I keep forgetting which one of these is skippable. It's like the one after this one. I will say, this coming up is one of my favorite RGG fights. I love this fight. What? I think it helps that in the speedrun, we are, like, severely underleveled against Rao. So this is, like, an actual dangerous fight. Also, Rao's theme is just beautiful. Really good. Really imposing. It, like, it genuinely makes you think you are fighting a conqueror. Oh, we do have to do backstory first, I forgot. So, Nadai. Lord Keno. OC, please do not steal. Uh, he used to be with Rao. They find what eventually becomes Eden. Uh, they find Sphere City These here. Seem to be the doors, Lord this Kenno. is supposed to be before Eden is like built, so they're not going to show you like too far behind. You so can see the seems. cathedral isn't there. And of course, in true Rao fashion, he's like, I'm just going to force of this power, the door. We may be because Rao wants to go inside and get his hands on some nuclear missiles. Nadai, what are you planning? And the die has a grand idea. I don't know how he got this idea. Uh, remember earlier when I said that electricity can open this door? Remember that really cool little bit in the second part of the die fight when he goes into his uh, EX phase, where he actually has electricity? That's such a small little nod to that. So good when you see it back, like, then you know, you know, he actually uses electricity. After Kasana says, you know, the city is powered by electricity. Probably the door, too. Uh, the next time you see this bit will be the finale. Because this is this is our finale part. I like the finale set piece of this game. It's like one big long gauntlet. It can actually get really hard, especially if you're playing on like harder difficulties. Some of the some of the enemy like actual like groups of enemies and like the types you can get are just genuinely nasty. Lord the cannot. two normal enemies with the flamethrower guys my and the ranged enemies is just horrible. It's great. It's actually genuinely great. It's a good challenge. Yeah, this is uh this is the launch system for the nuclear payload. Um if it looks like it can carry a person. It can. You're wondering where Yuria is. Use the Yeah. <laughs> you can probably see that. Probably see that coming a mile away, but yes, Yuria is uh, currently there. That's CG. I love this fight. It's also one of the only instances in this game where you actually go hey. into seven star in the middle of the fight Don't in a QTE, and you actually have to press the button to do it. <sighs> really sick. 
I wish more RGG games would do that, like Extreme Heat. Yeah. Oh, this way. Must be to Kasana. You forgetting that here every time. Really unforgiving? Yeah. Yeah, it really, really can be. Excuse yeah. me. we do next time here we go i love this fight beam is so good i still like Bowser's beam a bit more but like in terms of like fitting beams this just fits around so well i'm gonna intend to get punched <laughs> no buddy Look at that hyper armor he gets. That's bad. Wants to dodge to the side for that. That's good. This. Not doing a good job in the first phase. Now this is cool because it will refill my seven star. Even if you're already in your seven star going into this cutscene. Again, that one time you use R2. That's a refill. <laughs> one of the quickest QTs in the game coming up right here. Get ready for that, because that does a lot of damage. I was going to get real mad when he gets up, so I wind up fast. Nice, actually, I've done enough damage. That's good. A little bit stronger in all sub stories to the extra levels, which is nice. They also have to demolish Rao, which is good. This fight on harder difficulties is amazing. Like, really amazing. Can't say that would kill. No, he turned. Thankfully, that gives me the win. <laughs> There's that mind all I'm after. Excuse me from Zerd instead of dodging around the giving side. Yup. You think these weak attacks are enough to beat me? Yes. <laughs> I am Keno. That's why Raz like, yeah, alright, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna get on his very giant horse and just ride off. Did that look easy? We're very, very strong at this point, which is nice. Later stuff is not going to be as easy as this. Right, that's the end of that chapter. Actually, that's the end of that chapter. So this is upsetting as well, because Rao's Destiny Talisman is really good. And would be really, really good in the run. But the issue is you need the Conqueror's Orgite. And this is one of those that doesn't actually give you the Conqueror's Orgite. Or the Orgite that you need after the fight. Which really sucks. Like, really, really sucks. Because, again, it is good. It is very, very good. Chat. Wait a you see Finale in our splits right now. It is happening. Except it's a good couple of hours out. <laughs> we have a lot of sub-stories to do. And we have been holding off from doing all of the wasteland sub stories father is still alive time to go do them kisana it's time to go uh, do them what if i could so no. we should have currently a bounty yeah. mission on the top part of the map what? Uh, what? 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 Uh, this chapter also is 
probably the biggest issue I have with this North Solos Paradise. I think, and is the the speedrun really emphasizes the issues of this game, and that's just the grind and just how there's so much nothing in it. There's a portion of this chapter, which isn't going to happen for like a good 30 minutes to 45 minutes, where we're supposed to now find where, um, where, uh, bloody, not Killer, um, Killer, it's, uh, we're supposed to go find Nadai's lot, and essentially, we do this long back and forth to get a buggy part, go and see this guy in the middle of the city, and then we come back and the game gives you the answer, which isn't the first time it does it, and it's just... It's just, it's really rough because you just, you do like a 15 minute segment that just masses to nothing. And it's such a shame. It's like genuinely such a shame. Hello. You want to work at the nightclub? She has a migraine. Now she doesn't. Now she joined the nightclub. Yeah, a lot of backtracking. Oh, wait. Got the bounty. Got the bounty. Very important. We don't have any uh, treasure maps for you at the moment. So it's good. This is also one of those points where getting a treasure map is good. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of... Uh, we're actually going to, at this point, we're going to be unlocking pretty much every single uh, point in the wasteland that we don't have. Interestingly enough, for the next bat racing mission, we are not supposed to have access to it. At least not yet. Let's see you. You need access to a engine uh, that allows you to go up quicksand. But thankfully, you don't actually need to. That's not a good Hideboo sound. Okay, you need to stop, buddy. Oh, they don't even Hideboo. They don't even give you the actual stuff. I missed my opportunity. Sometimes with these enemy attacks, they actually, like, leave themselves open to being, like, perfect channel. Fight. Okay, so I think this, this easily, this hey, easily, this very much easily. I don't like Lost Judgments because the whole, you know, they're still in the same place they were originally, you didn't look there, and also, you know the character assassination of Hoshino, but this is worse. <laughs> this is worse, like, for time. It's worse, like, feeling-wise in terms of playing. This is the rank A hostess, right? Yeah, so there's going to be a hostess that turns up there later, not just yet. So we're going to be running home for substory number 18. Is this... This is coming up to the point where I need the casino, isn't it? Yes. Not just yet, though. Okay. So, we're gonna move the story on a little bit. But if we go home, this is a... This is one of those time sub-stories that you kind of have to figure out the right time to do. When we come back from... When we're supposed to come back later on the story, this is when you would usually get this one. Bat's gonna turn up and be all like, Yuri is alive! He's in the haunted city! Yeah. Alright. And so at the same time, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's a shame. I like this a lot. And I again, as I've said, I think the combat is fantastic. I think some of the boss fights in this game are some of RGG's best. And just, yeah, it's just like, bits like this chapter just last too long. I'd had a little more respect for the game if it had a bit more respect for our time. It is a shame, because like, again, this game is great. Like, when this game gets going, it has so many good highs. Like, so many good highs. Uh, we just pay this guy to get the info off him as to where, obviously, the army of ruin is. Oh. And then we are going to go back into uh, the bounty place and get our next bounty on the list. <laughs> okay, so I want to run outside, talk to guard, then go oh, to story trigger. What story is this? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so we want to get the bounty list first. Was it it's a killer I have to speak to here? Might be that one time that I have to. No, it isn't. It's a killer. You are already dead. Ooh. It's the end of the junk district. 
Which we do okay. later, I believe. We're right next to the Jung District, which is nice. I think most... Oh, yeah. I think we oh, yeah. save most of the bounty yeah. stuff now until near the end of the run. I think. I mean, by character assassination, yes. I'm not talking agile assassination. Character assassination means, like, taking a character and, like, like completely destroying what their character was built up to at that point. Uh, story trigger, story trigger, story trigger. Story trigger. Story trigger. It's important to do this now. Like, we don't mean a literal assassination. Unless we do. Uh, mm. we, we do like RGG do like to kill off the characters. And bring them back. <laughs> Still uh not gonna talk about it, but like yeah, running bars. <laughs> Let's leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on board. I'm, I'm at the point where it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Go wild. Fuck it. Go wild. Go all out. Just fuck it. Just, just go. Anyway. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, I need to get more gas. Actually, good shout. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, NPC. Appreciate it. I do need more gas. Uh, wasteland is what we're after. Okay. So hopefully, if things have gone right, there should be a child in the middle of the road. If not, balls. I do not see child. There he is. Ah! <laughs> Try, drive fast to child. <laughs> yeah, because I tied out, right? I, it, it, it's going to be Nishki. <laughs> it's just going to be Nishki at this point. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, because I didn't... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to lose a bit of time here because I didn't get this when I was supposed to earlier with the bounty mission. That's the one thing that I messed up in the route earlier. Uh, I was supposed to have unlocked a hitch a ride. We're actually going to do the bit that I was complaining oh. about um, in terms of just a waste of your time. It's a shame. Yeah, infinite wealth mm. is eight. No. <laughs> and yeah, guidance is 6.5 because it's literally set between six and LAD. Which is seven. Like it, it literally is. In in Japan, it is literally Ryuga Gosuku's six side story. Which has very much confused people somehow. People think that Gaiden is the mainline game and Infinite Wealth is not. I think the issue stems from LED. I don't think they should have dropped the number. I think they should have just called it like Dragon Seven, which yeah, that would have been a bit awkward, but man, people are confused. When, when when it gets revealed and you have to say yes, you have to tweet out that yes, this is LED8, it's like, hmm. 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 That might be DLC. Yeah, honestly, I thought, like, especially with Kaito, because, like, I think we can all agree, and yeah, it's not exactly, like, you know, the biggest bar to fill. Kaito DLC is phenomenal. Like, Kaito's DLC is actually amazing. Like, it's a great, it's got great pacing, it's got a great story, it sticks to what it is. Is it missing a few side features? Yeah, you could have got a few sub-stories in there, that would have been nice. Don't hit him. I want to go back towards him. Um, but in terms of, like, the actual content you get for DLC, it's really good. But clearly RGG went a lot more in terms of content for Gaiden, especially side content. Like... It's, it's some of those things, like, I've been saying for ages. I've not been this excited about the arcade side content for such a long time. I have not been this excited for, like, just the side content in such a long, long time. Like, we'll never get a full refresh of, like, the arcade. But the sheer amount of new stuff we're getting, and the fact that it's exciting stuff, like, you know, first-time model free stuff, is amazing. Like, oh, it's so exciting. I'm going to get into that as well. Actually, that's not too bad, because it could be treasure map in this area. 
Listen, I'm not stopping you from getting into a fight with me. And now. I'm gonna go to these rocks. I'm gonna boost for after this. So this is the issue. We get to this bit and Ken's like, hey, I can't get past this bit with my buggy as it is, which means we have to go back to the city and speak to Bat. Hold on to this. This is like not even halfway through this. Get your ride to Highland for Mark. <laughs> yeah, trust me, Knights. And let's say good take, hitch a ride for Marco. I'm gonna go hitch a ride for Marco. There's the hitch ride I wanted earlier. Uh. Oh, wait, Highland Village? Uh, yeah. Oh, right, because we also get the hostess here. Right, 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 right. Try to baseball and go to. Ghost Village. Yep, no, I'm gonna trust my thing. Tr oh yeah, the kid that we just picked up. Right, 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 right. This guy. Hey. You can tell it's his father because he has a charm around his neck. Huh? The most unique of uh, unique NPCs. I'm gonna deal with these guys. Uh, <sighs> the lady next to the well that you saw huh? when we walked in here. Uh, she's a hostess. We're gonna get her for a hostess minigame. And then we go to Ghost Village. And it was in sight. Hey. Ah, the issue is we still have cabaret to do. <laughs> we still have the big part of the run to do. Perfect. I was hoping to actually hit him there. That's fine. I just wanted to fill up my seven. And I can now chain it. <sighs> huh? Yep. Cabaret oh, is gonna be the longest fun. part, unfortunately. Uh speak to you. I wanna look at my nightclub. She just says yes. Cool. Nothing to do. Let's get your ride to baseball. Second option? This K2S? I did a couple of K2S runs. We would be more than finished with K2S at this point, by the way. <laughs> K2S is... I think Alder got it to like a 630, if not sub 630. Super impressive, actually. Especially if you consider that half of that is Cabaret. Like, super, super impressive. Yeah, I do too. I, again, I've said this multiple times. I don't mind them bringing back, like, Kiryu in side games like Gaiden. Like, you can do whatever you want with side games. Like, even if they are comical to the plot, like, I've been saying a couple of times, like, and I think everybody else would... Oh my. I think everybody else would also like, you know, having a Majima Saijima action game in the Dragon Engine. Um... <sighs> Obviously, we're going to get them playable in Gaiden, which is amazing. That's exciting. Huh. No. Huh? Are you 200% huh? coming close to this at all? Not sure. Oh, what I say. Give me, yeah, give me playable what I say. Hey. I love that. Huh? Three new bartenders. Yup. <laughs> all the bartenders they want. They're building up to a bartender battle royale. <laughs> Hey, this sub story. Uh, this is our uh, quotation marks Yuria. She's actually a character from the manga. Uh, she doesn't have like a giant, huge, like actual like role in it. But she's here. I thought they throw her in the game. Huh? No. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and this bit. If I had an arcade, I would go hand it in, which I don't. That's the unfortunate part. So, at this point, we're probably holding out our arcade machines until, uh, Dream Adventure. 
Because we do have to do premium adventure at some point in the run. There is one sub story that requires premium adventure, and it is the Nadai refight, and that is unfortunately also blocking Amo. So we are gonna be we're gonna be leaving free sub stories until premium adventure. Yeah. One paying the loan, although we will be getting the loan done in the finale. Uh two, Nadai, free Amo. You can actually get the money and pay back the loan in the adventure. I should actually just be doing this. Oh, why I'm not. Please. Do you mind? I will kick you in a second. I gotta get my second back. That's good, Blue. Alright, you're 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 gonna get dealt with. Yeah, you're getting dealt with. Right, I need you to stop killing people so fast. That's alright, fine. Let's get my like, seven later. It's whatever. Let's kill the enemies. Let's get out of this fight. <laughs> Got plenty of fights coming up. Canonical raise these pauldrons. Uh, fashion. <laughs> huh? Red headed, yeah. There. Hey. Huh? Yeah, these two are going back to her village. <laughs> like if you came to. No. So, this is Sora. This is uh, Mamia's talisman. I think it's actually pretty decent. I can't remember. And this is the farming part, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. I could try and get an arcade machine here, it wouldn't be too bad, but I would lose time if I don't get an arcade machine. So, we are going to get an arcade machine. But well, we're not going to get an arcade machine. Uh, this way? Yeah, this way. <laughs> I keep forgetting where the exit is in this place. Lots of fog. Can't tell where I am. Okay, so we're heading west. We need to go back to Eden at this point. It's quicker to drive to than to obviously fast travel anywhere. And when we also get to Eden, it will finish off the story with the kid, who is Marco. Uh, it just automatically throws us back to the start of the city, which is a pain in the ass. We have a lot of driving this bit. We'll be rotating for our three songs. Again, you can get more songs if you get treasure maps, like, across the different parts of the wasteland. There's, like, one song in each place. Uh, there's a Fantasy Star Online 2 song. There's Receive You from Yak as a surprise. Uh, that's in the, the hardest part of the wasteland, where I will be avoiding fight spawns. <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this ends this sub story. Those itches are fun. Okay, uh, my notes are a little off here because it says I should do the central mountain race, but we've done the central mountain race, so we don't need to. <laughs> I explore the charm. I don't remember what the charm does. Alright, got it. So, head to back. This will carry on the story. So, this is the this is the first bit where, in the run, we can get a essentially a rock splitter for our car. Uh, you, as I said earlier, you can buy it off of you can buy a different one off the bat with um with the battle points or the buggy points, but you still have to make it. The issue is that both of these require materials that need grinding up. And this sucks. This is what we're going to do. This is why we're going to get the Rock Splitter, is because the Rock Splitter is actually a lot easier to farm up than the other one. going to hit you, right? This will also save me a lot of money. Now we're going to go to North Central. So, at this point in the game, you will not have anything, like, in the main story. You won't have anything to be able to break these rocks. So, this is... 
as, as much of a pain in the ass as this bit is, the game does actually do something kind of nice here. Okay, if I do get into a fight for a treasure map, I'll try and get it. It's worth doing at the very least. We go past top left in the finale anyway, so... But as we go along, you'll notice that there's a lot of big, glowing, white objects. These are the parts needed. So, the game does at least farm you up the bits. And just enough of that. As long as you're able to get everything. As much of a pain in the backside this is to, like, you know, keep going back and forth, this could have been worse and didn't give you, like, the extra spawn rate for these items. So, thank God they did. Last one. Oh, I hope that's the last one. <laughs> it's going to be bad if it's not. And if I get attacked by the enemies, get attacked by the enemies, like, I'll obviously do their thing. Okay, so. So my notes don't have a thing in here, uh, which I'm glad I'm paying attention because I need to make sure the rock splitter is equipped to the car. Otherwise, I'm going to lose about three minutes. Bad memories? Yep. Oh, God. All of the all of the parts farming. Not even just for, like, the buggy parts, but getting material stuff for the Destiny Talismans. Ugh. Worst part of the Platinum, by far. Can't say, well, no. No, we have an accessory that reduces the aggression rate on you, so they like, like, they let you go a lot earlier than that. But there's nothing that unfortunately gets rid of them. Which, that sucks. Hello, bat. Cat. So, customize buggy. Uh, got my bumper. Dark splitter. Everything. Make sure it's equipped. Uh, fuel up, because we're about to go for a long drive. Yo. <laughs> and go the way, Sam. So this is going to be the cool part of all sub-stories. This is stuff that you don't get to see in any percent speedrun because we just don't go down to this part of the world. Like, there's no reason to. There's no story down here. So, most people don't actually see what's down this bottom part of the wasteland in the first place. But you'll get to see what... You'll get to see the entire map. Like, I'm not even kidding. With all sub-stories, you will get to see the entire map. Uh, we want the central. Yeah, central. That's a double check there. We want central. To go to a place called Canyon Village, which is going to have two sub stories. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the, you know, all sub stories. It's important. Also gives us access to a trader who trades for rarer materials, which is nice. We do want to grab some of the materials in this place if possible for Lynn later on, and also for sub stories. We do not want to get into fights because these fights do not give you treasure maps. Whilst I'm actually driving around, I probably should have the. Accessory on. Bad. This is gonna be a fight. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the fight spawns in this game are aggressive. The wasteland stuff sucks. This can't be a treasure map. The only tre place you can get the treasure maps are, or the ones that we need, are in the northern, uh, the northern highlands. Well, basically the places you just can't read. Okay, bye. That's full seven. I just want to use my seven at this point. You are. I'm making good use of my seven so far. Alright. So, as you can tell, this is like quite a way down here. You need items for sub stories down here. And you go a little faster on the road, which is why I'm staying on the road.
Way to skip animations. If there was, I'd be doing it. <laughs> that withered branch is good. That's one of uh, the things Lynn can ask for, I believe. You'll also notice as we go around this way, the first sighting of, I believe, purple enemies on the map. They should be over to the left. The further in the wasteland we go, the different colours the enemies are going to be. Just let's have a little bit of boost because, hey, guess what? There are rocks in the way. Although, we do have to get through the dialogue of, oh, I need to build up speed for this. Even if you're actually boosting, you need to do that. And we're out. Time for Canyon Village. Purple enemies. I'm going to be a bit careful on these ones. Go this way. I would like to go to the right, actually, because there is good items down this way that I need. Truly. Yeah, most people don't see this part of the map. This is like a whole other part of the wasteland. If over there that looks like a racetrack, you'd be right. Kerosene, that's the one, that's the stuff I'm after. Cool. Good. Alright. So, we want to go and speak to this man. This is the mayor. He has a sub story for us. A uh, couple of people who were trying to help yes. transport stuff have been stopped because we're trying to build, rebuild this bridge to get yeah. to the bottom part of the map. And it is hyper important before we leave that we speak to the hitch a ride guy. Otherwise, we have to drive all the way back here. Which, as you can probably guess, that sucks. Hi. But we are going to leave by driving out. And we're going to be heading into that. Uh, we're going to be heading this way. You'll see there's a there's, there's a little bit of a line to the right-hand side. That's going to be super important. We're going to be going down that path right now to go and obviously save the people with the materials that are down there. We are also going to want to grab uh, the save, the hitch a ride that's in. Very, very important. I can't in this game. If only. <laughs> if only. I would, I would kill to have a, a red shell in some of these races, that's for sure. Actually, I wouldn't, because I'm very much going to be in front of everybody. Here's one item I would like to grab here, because it's funny. It's on the block of gold. I needed those like 10 minutes ago. Actually, Lynn takes those. There's like a synthetic material you can pick up. When we do, look at the icon of it. It's pretty hilarious. If we get it, why not? This is making me hope that Lynn asks for a lot of blocks of gold, because this would actually... Blocks of gold do pretty well for Lynn when she asks for them for a request. The rarer the item, the better. is a little bit of a maze, as you can probably tell by like the, the little bit of the map you can see right now. It's not too bad. That's what I want. Down here is a bunch of dudes. There they are. Yep, just all the way out here. In the middle of the ass end of nowhere. Get the hitcher right afterwards. It's fine. At least I hope I can. God, I hope I can. Otherwise, I've just hey. got two minutes. The hell? I think we drive back. Are you surprised we don't? Leave some for me. I'll kill there you. is something I do need to check as well, and it's in regards to uh, Jean, the Grampy Racer. Uh, 
Thank you. Is that full? That's full. So you're gonna die. Chain seven. Oh, I hope this allows me to get the save point, or I'm gonna be in trouble because I need to come back here in a little bit. It's a little weird. Please don't. Oh no. I messed up. Oh, I've messed up. I lost like two minutes. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. My notes have a question mark. Yes. That's why I didn't do it. But yeah. Oh, that yes. sucks. Oh, that really sucks. It was only for one thing. It'll be fine. We'll just have to drive back. It's fine. That loses me two minutes. <sighs> Spend as little time with this game as possible. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go to the bottom part of the map where the level 90 enemies live. <clears throat> gonna go over there. Uh, we're actually gonna turn around because uh, we want to speak to this guy. Remember the guy who was checking yes. out a buggy before and said it was pretty crap? Yeah, same. So he's gonna suggest. Uh, and he's gonna be a sub story. He's gonna allow. He's gonna be the second uh, sub story yes. that allows Bat to fix everything in the game at this point. Yes. <sighs> the legendary mechanic. Yes. There is no record. I am the record. Nobody's been stupid enough to do this run. And I'm certainly never doing this run again. <laughs> God, I hope I have enough fuel. Should do. This isn't too far. So this is actually another... Yeah, I got enough. This is actually another sub-story that's actually really nice because the thing that we want is going to be spawned in for us. We're going to be avoiding all fights in this area, but we are going to be getting items, because again, these are hyper rare. Meteorite pieces are what I need. I can buy those, thankfully. Uh, we've gotten, obviously, enough friendships with the... Enough friendships with the Bartender Ken stuff that we can actually just buy some of these stuff that we need. Oh, I'm not putting it back on again. No, 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 no. I'm done with fist ass. Hit this in six ass last night. I would like to know your secrets. Very much like to know your secrets. Hey, look. I'm one light. So sorry, marker on it. I end balanced engine. And that right there is the thing that I rerouted synthetic fiber. It's a wig. That is the thing that I completely rerouted bat missions for. Because that's the only upgrade we need for the races. We need a little bit of luck, but that is the only thing. Cheat engine on PS4, goddamn. Grabbing a couple of these, these are good. Uh, there is definitely something that I want to try and do while I'm here. Those yellow enemies are bad. I want to stay as far away from them as possible. They are coming right at me. Yeah, they're boost. They don't see me. They saw me. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. I'm going to get to the hitch a ride guy first. Get rid of them. I don't want to do anything to do with them. Hey, bro. However, there's something I need to check for real quick. They might not even be here because I might have to do this in order. And this is the last Grand Prix. So he might not be here. I'm just going to double check. So it's only going to take me two seconds here. He's not here. Yeah. John's not here. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Hitch a ride to the canyon. Oh, oh my fucking no, it's a uh, high end dance. Yes, no, yes, uh, yes. Oh yeah. my <laughs> fucking notes right now. Uh, my next notes are hitch a ride to farm rocks and go get sage shit heal. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can already see a better a better way to do this part uh, than I am currently doing. Yeah, 
Yeah, the management of everywhere run shouldn't be that bad. It's also not exactly high on the priority list, considering, you know, other charity stuff to do first. Also, the zero to seven at the end of this month. I'm probably gonna split that up over two days. If I'm being honest. If I'm not being stupid. <laughs> So the first day will probably be 0 through 4, and the second day will be 5 through 7. Doesn't sound like a lot, but instead of 5 is, you know, a good old beautiful 6 hours long. I did not split it up last time. I did. The reason why the VOD is split up is because my PC blue screened. Which at the time we didn't know was because of my capture card. Not an issue anymore. Jesus Christ. This shit heal. So remember when we went back to farm the pieces for the part of our car? The reason was because we wanted to come and meet this guy. This guy is called the Sage of the Desert. He is supposed to tell us where the Dai's army is. The army of ruin. He is going to say that he doesn't right. fucking know. He's going to say even better that we should go back and listen to the people of the city instead. Say so shit heal here basically just tells us that everything we just did for the last 15 minutes was pointless. This is the part of the game I vehemently hate the most. Because we go back home and Jagra tells us the answer. Couldn't have just done that in the first place. The reason why they do that is so that, that you make the piece for your car so you can bust through the rocks in the next chapter. But like... You could have just not included them in that place. I hate this game. Very vehemently. Slight issue. <laughs> it's a game over if that happens. It's fine. I'm obviously going back now. Do race sub story. I was supposed to do it here! Aha! Yeah, yeah, I don't have the Eastern Mountain. Fuck my life. I'm gonna have to drive all the way back. Oh, well, it's fine. That's fine. As long as I refuel before we uh, go on a big expedition. Alright, so I should have done a little bit of shopping earlier, but I forgot to move it up my notes, which is an unfortunate issue. Uh, getting some fuel, my dude. Whoop. Note that 3 million still needs to become 100 million at some point. I hope you like Cabaret because we are. <laughs> We're going to be doing a whole bunch real soon. Also, here's something weird. There is, an, there is an accessory that I am currently missing that I do not have that I did in my practice file. I have no idea where the fuck I got it. It must have been a random fight in the uh, wasteland. Uh, I'm missing the perfume uh, that stops the, uh, or low lowers the um, amount of HP you lose from your uh, cabaret hostesses. If anyone could look up where that is, that'd be fantastic. Because I thought it was a sub-story and, uh, doesn't seem to be. Unless it's just a sub-story I haven't done yet. I'm gonna explode your ass! Get outside! What? Great, Ken. He's all mine. I have a thing that despawns fight spawns here, and it's just like, now. Nah. Oh right, you're level 42 now. Just gonna press circle, and I guess I'll just punch instead. Hey, so because we are friends with the junk shop, Thank you. Uh, we can get a whole bunch of stuff that we need. So, welcome. Bye. Uh, process metal by 12. Uh, plastic by 50. Wow, we only had enough for uh, the guy earlier. That's a real lucky. Uh, and rusted spring by 50. You're wondering. Yes, this is going to be worth it, even though I'm using a lot of my funds. Thank you, Kai. Oh, thank you, Kai. Thank you for being friends. I'm sorry, 33. Oh, shit, that's the Diego one. Yo, okay, I know where we get that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's coming up. That is coming up in this chapter. That's good. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. No, that's good. That's very good. That's very good. We're all fine. Uh, it's you I want, isn't it? Uh, I would like some silver, please. I would like, like, uh, you know. Where are we? Uh, 24 of these. We didn't manage to get any in the wasteland. Okay. Thank you. See, this is where I was supposed to do the previous race substory that we already did. So, one, oops, two. I guess it was easier than I expected. But yeah, that is, that is the one. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a bunch. Stop worrying now. But... The one upgrade. Give me my energy. The high balanced engine. Here's the high balanced engine, right? Yes, because everything. Look at everything else. Everything else is so fucking expensive with rare stuff. But if you look at that, we get a whole bunch of extra stuff. How does this bumper do? Because actually, the rock splitter, right? Okay, no, the other one is better. Like, look at how much that takes off of my cornering and my durability. I'm going to leave it on, but, like, I shouldn't. Okay, so, right, I'm going to have to do the long, I'm going to have to do the long uh, drive of shame, because uh, this is what I needed to hitch a ride for. Yeah, Xerxes' guide really helped me get through this as well. If it wasn't for Xerxes' guide, I would not be surviving this right now. Right, so at this point, I would have hitched a ride back to the inside of that big, long canyon that we were doing earlier. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So now I'm going to have to drive all the way, and that sucks. I've made a mistake. A big mistake. So. We've refueled. So I don't have to refuel again. But you'll also see that now around the wasteland, I can actually go a bit faster myself. Uh, and you'll also see in the bottom right, I have a bit more boost as well, which really helps. We're going about 30 kilometers an hour faster on rough road. On road that isn't rough, like the race stuff, we're going even more than that, which is great. Yeah, there's the driver's shame, sadly. So, let's talk about the next Grand Prix. We are not supposed to have access to the next Grand Prix. The next Grand Prix is actually at the top right part of the map. You are supposed to use a different engine uh, that can enable you to go up quicksand to be able to get up there. However, there's actually a second way. You should probably guess it's this way. I need to be very careful not to go too far. Otherwise, I'm going to accidentally bypass it and then I'm going to have to do the drive again. I would rather not have to do that. One drive of shame is enough for me. Thank you. We've been on this for a while. That's a binary to me. Reflects my current state of mind. <laughs> we will be doing binary domain speedrun soon, by the way. Uh, if you're wondering what the plans are for coming up, uh, one, we're going to finish off Fate Samurai Remnant. Um, I'll admit. I got real curious after seeing, you know, the percentage left and, like, having, like, a lot to do at the moment. So I went and had a look and saw how many chapters there are in the game. Uh, put it this way. The PS5 is lying to us. Very heavily, actually. So we're going to get through uh, Fate Samurai Remnant. Uh, and then, obviously, after that, we're going to start uh, Shenmue 1. Uh, I want to do the full Shenmue 1 playthrough before Gaiden. Uh, and then we will probably do Shenmue 2 in December. But I don't think we're going to get the chance to do it now. Now I'm looking to buy domain runs. Funnily enough, as I was about to mention, uh, that is going to be one of our next things. So, we're at a little, we're at a little position here where we've got a month till Gaiden. And I have a shit ton that I still owe from charity rewards. Some shorter stuff that I can do in the very, very quick meantime, which is... Binary Domain, Catherine, uh, Sonic 1 through Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I mean, if this looks like a race course, it's because it is. Obviously. John! There you are. If you go past John, you go down the quicksand. So don't miss John. Um, so, yeah, Binary Domain is on the docket for this month. Uh, I still owe other stuff that's going to take a while to do, like 
a Grand Theft Auto run. That's going to be 2024. That's going to be early 2024. It kind of needs to be because obviously Infinite Wealth is going to eat all my time. The Grand Theft Auto, I am aiming for January. It will be Vice City, by the way. Uh, can I drive a little better, please? My driving is kind of bad. Handling in this car ain't great still. Oh yeah, by the way, you can go over these rocks, by the way. Woo! Go on, hit the explosives. I did in practice. What's this music? Just rocks. I think Cat Jam in the chat. In the race, when we get to the race for this bit, this entire part is covered in explosive barrels. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, there's only, like, one small little way through. It's great. But with all of these repair no modules, you get half, like, get over that. Holy wow. You can actually go, like, really far down here. Like, at this point, I can't lose this race unless I blow up. I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, Persona, Persona 5 Royal, we still owe the run for that. I would like that. I'd like that. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I have a date in mind for Persona 5 Royal speedrun. You might like this one. New Year's Day. I'm just gonna try New Year's Day. I can go over this rock, but I'm a bit worried because of uh, these boxes. If I ram into those, those boxes, I can lose this race at this point. <gasps> it's off on the fucking accelerator. I think I'm taking this ramp. Fuck you. Is that all? Shut your face, Ken. I need that spoon risky, by the way. Now here's the nice thing about being on this bit. Remember I said not to go down the quicksand because we can't get back up? That's the point. Here's the thing. We can just do this. That's the quicksand right there that we just went over. And remember that hitch a ride at the top of the map that we get coming back in the finale? that we could really do with when we go to find the army of ruin in this chapter. I was supposed to jump down. I was like, no, I wasn't. Uh, it's right in front of me. Useful. Hello, sir. I'm coming in like a rocket. <laughs> so, yeah, there's... There's a couple of things that we can do in terms of, like, runs coming up this month, ahead of, obviously, uh, Gaiden next month. Uh, reminder, obviously, we are going to be doing a full casual playthrough of Gaiden before we do runs of it. I will never, ever ruin a, like, first playthrough of an RGG game by speedrunning it first. I want to savor it. Infinite Wealth's gonna take us, like, two to three goddamn weeks. <clears throat> I am scared. Uh, we're gonna run into Bat. This actually, we're doing this to get the perfume actually right now. All of this. All this is leading to it. <laughs> like, you just have to walk towards him to get the next part of the substory going. And this is why we got the hitcher right at the bottom of the map as well. There's actually, there's multiple reasons. The race is one of them. Excuse me. So remember with the practice lap there. Oh, all of those yes. rocks hey. and jumps that we did. What? Uh, it's actually super what? important that we yes. go via those routes in this race because the rest of it is just going to be blocked Excuse off. Me. What? They can't manage to route anyway. Hey. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the yeah. speedrun of it. Um, again, I am fingers crossed that the greats who actually helped route LED, uh, the likes of Meta Meta, yeah. Tom, Mew, Pierce Caller, I'm really hoping that they will, you know, get stuck into Infinite Wealth because. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be much use. I went with my first LED route. That thing was bad. And it's actually kind of nice because like, even though Metsa's was the first big like LED route that was consistent and really fast, Metsa's route is still the end game of the current route. Like Metsa's route still lives on. Like yeah, Metsa's route is still good. Very good. Remember what I said about the boxes? Look at this. Like that. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't worth picking up at all. 
Yeah, as you can drive over that rock to the left as well. I wonder how to give the person behind me a little bit of a chance to catch up so can boost up to this. This is also you have to take the rocks, because like, yeah. <laughs> nice boxes. Whee! I'm driving badly today, so I'm going a bit slower. And a bit more, you know, less aggressive. I want to check out RGG Twitter. Uh, I'm in the middle of a 15-hour speedrun. Maybe you want to sum it up for me. If you think that I can stop this run right now, no. I'm assuming they're confirming his presence. He is actually right behind me, and I don't like this. I forgot the movement. I tap here instead of hold, because, oh god, this car doesn't drive very well. Come here, camera guide Yep, already know. Yep, already know. Can <laughs> pause my spear and check them? Cat pictures? Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually. X5 schema build physics? <laughs> no. Yeah. Worse. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, we've known about the Kaito sub story for like a week now. I can now finally stop tiptoeing around it because, like, yeah. you know. Hmm? Like, as much as, like, uh, the issue is, right? Like, hmm? it is definitely, you know, <laughs> DJ Khaled suffering from success album cover. The issue is with how, like, you know, with how big I am. Like, people are going to come in here and talk about it and be excited for it. It's kind of the reason why I can't avoid, like, the story trailers. It's like, um, I was watching Ray, uh, where, oh look, Diego's in the background, by the way. Uh, Ray even said, you know, yeah. how am I supposed to avoid this stuff in, like, three months, you know? Which, yeah. Uh, but when, you know, when RGG's Twitter themselves is showing it off, that counts as the pre-release material in my mind. That's not spoilers. That's RGG are promoting that. I wonder why they revealed so much already. I have no idea. I do think they have revealed too much. I, I will, I will, I, like, if we're having a conversation on has RGG revealed too much? Yes. I do think so. Like, not only have the story trailers been really spoilery, but they have shown off a lot of gameplay stuff. And I do think we're still missing some gameplay stuff. I don't think that list of arcade stuff in Infinite Wealth is everything. I do think they're going to split the Model 5 games up between Gaiden and Infinite Wealth, because it gives you a reason to, you know, buy both, obviously. I'd like to hit you right to the bottom of the map. Thank you. I think I'm driving over there. Fuck that. So Jean will be here now. This is the last Grand Prix race, and it's the last thing we need for the end of Bat sub-stories. Thank God. Uh, this is also the hardest one, and also it changes the rules. Quite significantly. Well, I'm going to demonstrate. Hey, John. Hey, buddy. He gets a real big hard-on for this racetrack. Look at this. It's just fantastic. Cool. It's rude. This is one is again one of those that we're gonna have a lot of our opponents just go way ahead of us, but that's because there's now eight of them. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all about like like trying to catch up here. Because these guys love to smash their car into the obstacles. And me. There is lots of boost points. There is also a repair point on the right. Oh, this is bad. I'm actually playing pretty badly in terms of these races. The, my tiredness is definitely kicking in. But don't worry about my position. We'll catch up. I need this. I need this. Fuck. It is very important I don't mess up too much. Like, with this one engine upgrade, look, I'm just fastening them already. Like, you already see first ahead of me. And we're not even halfway through this very long godforsaken track. Goodbye! I would have liked that. This is the only person that can catch up to us, but even then, you can't. I broke too early there because I knew the shot turn was coming.
careful here because that boost will send you into the barrels. Okay. Uh, Ken! Say Ken as if I'm not driving. <laughs> I'll boost again, don't you worry, but just not yet. The HP doesn't come back, so I'm going to do it at the uh, correct timing. Timing where I'm not going to fucking explode. I could have done that as well. Whee! Oh my god. <sighs> Forgot that happens. I thought that was the end of the race. <laughs> I'm still so far ahead that, you know, I'm not in trouble, which is good. I love the Yuria! <laughs> Explosives. Well, you don't run out of HP, you're all grand. Only enough, there is one race that we will be doing in all sub stories where you can actually lose all your HP. I'd be surprised at who it is. I want this. Uh, I'm gonna put my. Uh, I'll put something in anyway. No, the water whiskey's gonna be for later. Now, that princess dress is important. We're gonna use that to get a A rank hostess later on. Uh, excuse me. You. This game life rubber banding has a little bit. You're gonna see it in uh, in the next sub story. <sighs> this is going well. I actually do need to clear my inventory out in a little bit. This is where I wish, this is where I wish uh, I had a bit more detailed notes, because uh, Cadbury Round 2 is coming up, folks. It's going to be a lot longer. You know the drill. <laughs> We've been doing this for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, Tekken Andrew. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're not in the big, long grind yet. We're getting there. <laughs> Now, the nice thing is, I can see in my notes, finale. We're getting there. Huh. Anyway, unfortunately, <laughs> Kana, who was yeah. racing us, uh, has been taken by Diego. Okay, so, head to top left of the map and fight. We want to do the fights now. I'm going this way, isn't it? Long way. Hurry up! Ow. Hurry up! <laughs> Whoa. Hey? Oh, the fighting well, so unfortunately, unlike my obviously practice, I don't have the pre war arc, which sucks. Uh, if we had a arcade machine, we would also hand it over here, obviously. But we do. So we're going to have to carry on. This place is also a little weird, because it doesn't look like there's anything here, but the place you want to go to is the blue door right there. So, fun fact. we The only things remaining in terms of sub-stories are that sub-stories, which we're doing right now, uh, one of which is also locked by Lin. Lin sub-stories, which are locked by Lin. <laughs> and Cabaret. The hell? That's pretty much the list. There's some odd ones here and there, like obviously the 100 million, the Diane Am Amon. That's the list. Oh, right, they didn't give it back, I forgot. It's fine. I could absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Get it back at the bar next to me. Yeah. Bad idea. The hell? Alright, so we get given an engine. Again, I've got all the parts I need. So we're now get we're now gonna get given an ultimatum by Diego that he's gonna beat us in a race because he's right behind us. Huh? 
This is the last of Bat's no. sub-stories in terms of the yeah. racing ones. Bat's final sub-story is going to be locked behind Lynn. I could take off the rock splitter off my car, which I probably should do, but it's fine. It definitely makes my turning a little worse. So, once again, same track as before. It's always been a sub-story on the same one we've had a Grand Prix on. This one is actually a little trickier. Diego is fast. I will also be trying to go fast. I really, really need to make sure I get the repair modules. Nice and bad. Right inside after we take this one. He looks like he's quite far ahead. He's not. Don't you worry. We want to make sure we get as many of the boosts as we can. He looks like he's far ahead. He's not. He hits these, which also I did. I was hoping not to, honestly. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I might actually crash out. The next repair is coming up at least, but I have to be careful now. Which big deal I didn't want to be. This rock splitter is causing my cornering to be kind of bad. Oh god. Hey buddy. Now, there is extra explosive barrels at the end of this one, but we do have to be a bit careful. Unfortunately. Shit, you just boosted all the way. Are you kidding? I didn't realize he did that. Wow. I didn't actually realize he actually did that. That's bad. That's actually really bad. I was too slow. This is like the hardest race by far. I can't believe I messed that up. That's two minutes down the drain. Again. Drive of shame. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, how classed I am. I'm not actually, but... Fuck you. Huh? I'll take the rock splitter off. I need to remember later on to put the rock splitter back on. A little bit of yeah. handling is going to help out a whole bunch. About. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Nice box, dude. Those boxes are random. Uh, go again. Go again. <laughs> Fuck you, Diego. Ugh. Oh, this is where the time this is kicking in. When we get to when we get to the finale, I might uh, take that break and go grab a cup of tea. is going to take a hot minute. Yeah. <laughs>
really? Diego. Get right on the backside. Yikes. Yeah, that's bad. I'm gonna hit this one, that'll be fine. A little more durability to work with this time. Whee. Really? That hit that? Alright. The boost for the end. He is actually catching up. This is a bit of a worry. Might be another loss. Have to hit all the boosts here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, okay, we're good. Fuck you, Diego! <laughs> Give me my perfume. Honk. <laughs> so yeah, this will get me the perfume that I need. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to head to... No, because that yeah. is part of the bouncy, so I can wait for that one. The hell? Jaeger's a piece of shit, so we're going to punch these guys. Gonna watch me explode people's heads and we'll see if that changes his mind. <laughs> Guess what? It won't, because I'm gonna explode his head. Hi Diego. That's a perfect seven. That's a second. Hi Diego. Meet you halfway in the sky, my dude. Okay. Yeah. That's the end of that. I literally made him explode. So we get the miracle perfume. This is gonna be so useful for our hostess stuff. Which, funnily enough, guess what's <laughs> happening real soon. Yeah. It's not going to be happening real, real soon. I'm going to head back this way. We're going to head back uh, and go home. Go home at this point. Uh, yeah, head on. That's all of Bat's long sub-stories, at the very least, so he's he's pretty much done now. Ow! Ow. mean to, but you know what? Sure. <laughs> Just in case, I suppose. But again, if I lose like 30 minutes of progress, I'm not rolling back. Good luck with the run and enjoy the well-earned break from Fist after this. Point Shadow in the Prime game for 28 months.
20 months of the fuck you, Jeffrey Bezos. Yeah, no, I'm not coming back to this for a long while. <laughs> I refuse. Very much vehemently refuse. I hope you all have been enjoying the run and my suffering either way. I don't actually think it's been too bad other than obviously my tiredness in the last like 20, 30 minutes. We're getting there. Now, the, the biggest thing left is cavalry at this point. It's just going to take a while. Now we're into the right hand side of the map. Take a walk. Ow. Ow. Here our next bounty. This is why I'm glad I got my seven. <laughs> the hell? Lost that too. Yep, yeah, this one, as I said, had all the driving stuff. Bastard. <laughs> Cabaret is going to take hours. Cabaret is just going to take hours. You can now also understand why I split it up into multiple parts. Level 25. That guy actually hits hard. That guy actually, like, can mess you up. Not at the stage we were at. <laughs> yes. Because our 950,000. Oh, correct. So we find Iska, Jagra, and unfortunately the remains of the Ripper. Jump cuts for Whoa. you know that effect. Yeah. Don't mess yeah. with me. But the person who has been dismantling bodies is still out there. Where could they be? Anyway, uh, do I? No. So here's a fun fact. You might think, why am I not going up to do that sub story? Uh, we're gonna go up there in the finale. Gives me a sec there's a second reason I want to go up there in the finale, so we're gonna go up there in the finale. Now I need to do a whole bunch of <sighs> this sucks. I'm gonna have to dump uh I am actually gonna have to get rid of my aid Athlon orange, unfortunately. Should do. Welcome! Oh boy. Rude stocking up on Vogue Confection. Uh Oh boy, Welcome. Drew's locking up on Vogue Confection again. That can only mean one thing. It can very much only mean one thing. <laughs> yep, we're going back. We are going very much back. Actually, do I do it in... I might do it in this one. I mean, this one goes to respite, I believe. One million idea. Trash. As I said, you get a lot of money from this. You get a heck of a lot of money from this. This is still the chapter where we have to go after Kyoho, by the way. <laughs> it's just, it's just taking a while. He can wait. Yeah, we got a cavalry to do. Is our next bounce. We're actually getting close to the end of the bounty hunter mission and stuff as well. I'm kicking this thug. Who's this guy? Hey. This guy's Kurga. Yeah. What? He is killing people. I'm gonna stop. Him. 
This guy actually can move around a whole bunch. Oops. Two into this. Back to channeling point. Chat in a nutshell. Yup. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. I could do that now. It'd be weird to do now, but I definitely could do that. Hmm. Mm, I want some I want some inventory space is the issue. Yeah. No. Yeah. But this also drags us back. Which it doesn't. Oh, right. I go and get this one manually, don't I? Because it, it, we're basically going back and forth at this point. Ugh. Oh, I already yawned a couple of hours. Ugh. Here we go. You are already dead. Yeah. There are some masked madmen that are making yeah. trouble up at the clinic. Yes. Go and deal with them now. Yeah. And that said, you get a metric ton of money from these bounty missions. They are genuinely nice. Peoples, now nah, they'll be there, and then they're just normal. Like, they're not that strong. They don't take that much to take down. They're just kind of, you know, you want a little bit of extra money? Here you go. Oh, those ones loop, do they? I had no idea. Oh well. Ow. Ow. Make sure you come straight home. Ugh, you can see the guy up top, unfortunately being harassed by two dudes with flamethrowers. <laughs> we'll save him eventually. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This guy like grafted this iron mask onto his face or something. Hey! Remember fully, but he's bad news. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch these guys here as well. This guy from a variety actually hits hard. Oh, yeah, there's a flamethrower guy. Take care of him first. <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> right. I think there's two bounty hunter missions left. There's two yeah, or three. You're right. Yeah. And sure is brooding on Iska a fair bit there, huh? Anyway, 1.5 million. It's back up to 5.7. Getting there. Okay, so when I said there weren't that many opportunities to go and finish off the substory with Kisana, this is one of those times. I'm gonna go do that right now. <laughs> that poor guy at the top of the map is gonna be there for a little while longer. Don't worry about him. <laughs> he'll be fine. His tree might not be, but he'll be fine. Whoa! We gotta go hand in Xana's teddy bear that we started all the way back in chapter six. Such a long time ago at this point.
This is where cavalry starts getting hard. Time to do lots of cavalry. Uh -huh. Found a doll, hand it over. Huh? Yeah. She likes it because it smells like cigarettes, like Lyra. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. That's a third part. Uh, not really sure. <laughs> Uh, it all depends on Kimutaku, and, uh... Yeah, he, uh, his agency is, uh... It's in the shit. His agency have done, uh, very horrific and bad things. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe that means he will take the project, because nobody else will give him any projects being with his, uh, with that agency. I assume Kimutaku is still with them. Like, despite the contro controversy. I have no idea if he is or not. I assume, I assume he's not. So move the story along, and then outside for Cabaret. Oh, welcome, Kenshiro. Oh, we you up this, for a battle in the bloody Zoom in on Lyra. No. Topic, chance of a third judgment game. <laughs> Lyra's like, hey, you should partake in, you know, the Colosseum. We actually will do. Not yet. Uh, this is important. Yes. So this should be Emma's... Is this Emma's bodyguard? No, it's not. It shouldn't be. Or is it? Actually, it is. Yeah, because we, uh, we need a new new hostess. I have a list of cabaret girls I'm taking. Um. I'm fucking stupid. I didn't put the perfume on. Need to put the perfume on. Yes. At least I don't have to sit through this again. Need to put the perfume on. Yeah. Put the goddamn perfume on. Oops, my hostess is getting exhausted. Mostly. And it feels like we're missing sexiness as the camera zooms in on the breasts. What? I was like, if she wasn't so busy, she would also help out around here, which I would be kick ass in this, not gonna lie. Oh, that's yes. right. And the girl said they saw a really sexy girl yes. at the casino. So, this is us scouting, as you'll see. At this point, we need to get to rank A. Um. Uh. List of uh, list of hostesses that I need to take for this mission. Hopefully, they're not out uh, absent because <laughs> that would be bad. This is Princess yeah. Emma. She's the sexiness that Hina wants. These are these are Emma's bodyguards who are kind of not great at their job. So essentially, Emma's gonna be all like, "Hey, why don't you show my bodyguards a good time?" And then if you can show them a good time, I'll go and join your cabaret. Why not? She wants to be sexy too. Poor Hina. Mm -hmm. Then do it. Gotta show these guys a really good time. Which actually amounts to like four or five people. But it's fine. Avina. You beat them up. Uh, afterwards. <laughs>